go. Okay. Wait. Wait for it. Okay. Wait for it. Four hours. What was that? No, no. <sighs> All right, looks like we're live. Welcome, everyone. I always have to start it. I always have to say that first thing. You know what? Well, let me see. I get in trouble if I try to talk. No, you don't. I don't get you in trouble. So. No one's in trouble. I'm in trouble then. Okay then. Okay. Welcome everyone. Hopefully everyone is doing good here today. Welcome to Main Street USA. Matt is here with me. Yeah. He's celebrating the 50th anniversary even though it's over, which mm -hmm. we'll discuss later. But um, welcome everyone. Hopefully everyone is doing good. Hopefully everyone is having a good day so far. Hopefully everyone is doing good. Yeah, today's going to be awesome. Today we have a very, very ambitious stream planned. We have lots of fun. We have lots of shopping. We have some parks, maybe resorts. It's, it's kind of a mystery, so yeah. we'll kind of talk through a little bit once we kind of get started here. We're going to have to wait, uh, wait oh. even longer, so we have it'll be good. A giant egg. There it is. There's it's our like the egg from um, Willy Wonka. <laughs> um, yeah. And they had the giant golden goose egg. Yeah. And the lady wanted it, and yeah. then she fell in the thing. So am I going to fall in the thing? Probably. Yeah. Okay. Well, welcome everyone. Hopefully everyone is doing good. Hopefully everyone's ready for Easter. And um, yeah, today we're just going to celebrate Easter very festively. So I think it will be pretty good. It's a good thing we brought the bag because this thing doesn't close very good. Yeah, it's probably good. I, I originally opened it up. Open it up. Are these good enough? Yeah. I originally um, put them in a Ziploc bag. Yeah. But it didn't feel as like yeah. genuine. I felt like yeah, they were this good. This is good. The Easter Bunny just gave me the egg. And I guess I thought he was going to give me the pieces too, but he gave me just the egg. Which is kind of disappointing. I think he got it from like party sitter or something. Probably, so. yeah. For yeah. like eight bucks. Yeah, probably. So either way, if you guys are coming in, please do not forget. Spread some Easter cheer. Hit that like button. That would be great. Yeah. Other than that, feel free. Stay tuned. We have a day full of Easter fun ahead of us, and um, yeah, we're just gonna genuinely have a good time here today. Oh, I should have put on on the eggs. I should have put the Easter balloon. Oh, nice. I want the Easter balloon. See, I wanted them. We didn't plan enough. I wanted to make them like pastel colored. Yeah, well. We didn't have the guard stock for it. So originally, the, the Easter bunny was going to do all that. Mm -hmm. And then he came, gave me the egg, and the egg was empty. And I was nice. like, oh, I don't have all the materials. What am I supposed to do? I didn't even have card stock, so I had to use like stickers. Mm -hmm. So I think what we do is like once we draw an egg, we use the sticker. We stick and we it to your forehead. No. And then once the mission is complete, we can peel it off. No. You, you, we're going to stick it to the egg so we can, like, at the end, like, showcase everything we did. I guess so. I think that's pretty fun. Sky, welcome, Sky. Yeah, the Easter Bunny is a very busy bunny. Yeah. So sometimes the Easter Bunny isn't very cooperative. So don't hold anything against him. He's going to um, bring us lots of candy, which is nice. Yeah, so. yeah. I'm not mad at him. I don't have anything against the Easter Bunny. 
Ernie, welcome, Ernie. Ernie welcome. has changed his name to Ernie's Excellent das. Employment. Welcome, Ernie. Hopefully you're doing good. Hopefully you're, you're enjoying all the Easter festivities. It's me. Welcome. It's me. Also, welcome to Lisa, Brian, Emily, <laughs> NBA Gamers here. Welcome, NBA Gamers. Yeah. I should have kept the... Um, oh, I forgot to do the Easter emoji. Oh, nice. I should have... Um, we have Oswald. Oswald's a rabbit, right? Yeah, close enough. Yeah, close enough. Yeah. Also, welcome to um, JC. JC, welcome, and JC. Stein. Um, Mara, hopefully Jerry. you guys are doing good. Or Jeff is here. Greg as well. Jeff says Matt has brilliant ideas. See, there you Listen go. Listen to him. I'm not, we're not putting stickers on my forehead. Why not? Because I'm not doing that. Also, welcome to Emily. Emily, welcome, and Emily. More, uh, Kenny D. Oh, hey, Kenny. If we welcome anybody tw twice, I think we welcome one of you all. Probably. I don't know. Um, Alyssa, welcome, Alyssa. Hopefully you're doing good. Yeah, today is really just an Easter extravaganza. Yep. I'm going to steal it from Epcot. It's an egg extravaganza, mm -hmm. which will be pretty great. So if you guys are coming in, be sure, grab your Easter candy, grab your jelly beans. What else do you eat during Easter? A carrot. Yeah. The Easter money eats carrots, so it'll be good. We'll have a lot of fun. Welcome to um, John Cosimano. Oh, hey, John. And Becky. Becky, Sarah... Zippity doo dog, welcome dog. Oh, Hopefully you're having a good day. Going back a little bit to see if we missed yeah. anyone. I don't think we. Diana, welcome Diana. Oh, hey, welcome. And the gaming ham, welcome gaming oh, ham. Welcome. Hopefully also you're doing Zach. good. Zach, M, Ralph, and Ed, welcome Ed. Hopefully you guys are all doing good. So once everyone kind of gets in here, once we get a little bit more settled, we'll kind of explain exactly what we're gonna do here today. But basically, what we're gonna be doing is we have an egg. I think we're pretty settled. I'm okay, gonna... we're set. Hold on. Let me readjust myself. Okay. <laughs> what? There's Goo with his festive... Oh, yeah, I forgot. ...necklace. So, thing. this thing lights up, so assuming yeah. we go late enough, this will probably be bursting with Easter cheer. Yeah. So we'll see how long we go, but it'll be fun. I didn't have an Easter hat, so I just wore my cheese hat because I feel like, I don't know, is cheese spring-like maybe? I, I guess so. I, I don't, don't know. know. Who knows? We'll see. All right, let's bust this bad boy out. We'll coconuts, welcome, so coconuts. Also, happening. welcome to Grant. And Liz, welcome, Liz. Hopefully oh, welcome. you're doing good. Also, Hopefully. I'm Jeff Davis. Oh, Jeff. Welcome, Jeff. And Albert and Jane, Sandra. Welcome, everyone. Thanks so much for being here with oh, us. Oh, hey, today. Randy. Welcome to this stream. Yeah, so we are here, and we have a very festive thing yeah. going on. So you It's like reflecting the sun onto my eyes, yeah. and I, I didn't bring my sunglasses. So the Easter Bunny gave us this golden egg. With it nothing opens. In it. it opens. And we made little eggs. Little okay. eggs. You want to show one of the little eggs? Yeah, they all have different yeah. things on them, so let me choose one randomly. Well, there's this is, this is 50 test. of them it's in here. No, it's 100. Oh, 100? You yeah. said 50. I doubled it because... Oh, so there's two of they each. They were so little. It looked so small with the, the uh, big eggs. Right. So well, let's see. More. So I chose one, and it says, buy Easter candy. Oh. So, there you go. I know that's kind of more of a simpler one, but in there you have some very extreme ones. There's, like, snacks. There's, there's all kinds of, of go here, do yeah. this. Ra look at the rabbit topiary in the UK. Oh, so Lots yeah, everything's, everything's themed great. Pooh Bear, welcome Pooh Bear. Hopefully oh, welcome. you're doing good. So here we do have our egg, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be drawing missions and things to do mm -hmm. for the egg. So it'll be pretty good. We're going to do this. We're going to go all over the place. Pretty much we, we'll leave this all up to the egg. So like, I guess if we take a step the egg has to tell us we do that, so mm -hmm. we can't even get up until the egg has told us to. So, if you're coming in, feel free, prepare, or we'll have a great time here today. Yeah. Well, should we draw one? Oh, is it back on me? Yeah. You need to you need to learn about headroom. Why? That's the thing they teach well, but you in it's like school. Far enough away, or okay. it's like close here. enough. Let me move no, on this side. Is that good? Yeah. There's not enough space here for headroom. Okay. Flip it here. CJL, welcome CJL. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're doing good. Oh, you're making Crystal want to watch Willy Wonka. Gosh. Because of the egg. Okay. So, yes, I'm wearing my cheese hat. 
we're here. I have my Easter thing. Yeah, I have and my I 50th shirt on. We're going to start off pretty good here. I think we're going to start off with our first drawing before we do anything else with a giant thing in the way, which is even better. Close enough. Yeah. Huh. Well, I'll go on this side. So let's shake it. Let's give it a good shake okay. first. Okay. Okay, there you go. Now I'm going to let you draw because I feel like you always draw the good ones. Yeah, I'm so. better at drawing usually. Sometimes we'll see about this one. Brownsburg oh, Kevin, God. welcome, Brownsburg Kevin. Oh, before you draw, we are allowed vetoes, but we have to make upper vetoes. With five shots. Five shots of Beverly. Yeah. Each. So, and with that, with that in mind, we can't veto. Yeah. Okay. So, you want to tell us what you got? The first one. It's going to be reversed because it's. Well, then I'll reverse it. You can, I can see it. Okay. Ride a boat. Oh. And there you go. Okay. That That's a very, like, generic it's, one. Like, it's we could ride, too. like, the boat to Wilderness Lodge. We could ride the ferry boat. We could go on Pirates. I wonder how we could go on Living with the Land. I'm going to take this out and I'm going to stick it. Eh, I guess so. Here? I don't care. Okay. There we go. Our first mission of the day. Okay. Let me look at wait times. Oh! NBA Gamer changed his name. Gosh. NBA Easter Gamer. Gosh. <laughs> That's great. Very festive. Welcome, Kathy. Hopefully you're doing good today. Also, welcome to Steve. Hopefully you guys are all doing good. We are here celebrating Easter all around Walt Disney World. So if you're coming in, do not forget, make sure you do hit that like button. And we're going to start off by riding a boat. So there you go. Let's see the... Shortest boat ride in Magic Kingdom is Small World at 30 minutes. <coughs> oh, okay. So, Pirates is 40. Andy, welcome, Andy. Hopefully you're doing good. Oh, welcome. Okay, so what, should we go to, like, take a boat somewhere else? Yeah, we like could do that. A resort or something? We could either take a boat to a resort or the ferry boat. Oh, Kenny wants you to do the river boat. That is true. I forgot yeah. about that. Let me check the river boat and see what times... I think it goes every half hour. Oh, Buffalo Crew. Welcome, Buffalo Crew. Happy Easter. Yeah, so the plan is tonight is going to be a very extreme night. So we're going to do, go all over the place. We have our egg, which is going to be pretty cool. So it's going to be one of those streams, kind of like the St. Patrick's Day stream and kind of like the, um, what was it, the Valentine's Day, I think yeah, we, we did. Yeah, we did a Valentine's yeah. Day one. Yeah. Where it's all going to be kind of a mystery, kind of like a wheel stream where we really don't know where anything is going to take us, where we're going to end up. So it'll be good. I think it'll be a good night here tonight. I think it'll be good. i put this away because I don't want it to rub against the microphone and make weird noises. Gosh. Okay. Are you good? Yep. Okay. Or if we walk around for a little bit yeah, that's and fine. we can decide what we'll do. Push this in. Fold that. Take that. Okay. We're good. Wrong way. There we go. Get the chat back to the top. I can see it. There we go. Okay. Okay. We're good. Oh, welcome, Heidi. Hopefully you're doing good oh, today. And WWE fan. Yeah, so today we're just celebrating Easter very festively. We're yeah. here at the Magic Kingdom. So since you drew that one, uh -huh. which boat do you choose to go on? Uh... I'm tempted to just choose the ferry boat because I feel okay. like that's the less, the least, like the least production. Well, keep in mind the monorails are down, so it's that's gonna be true. pretty busy. Well, let's go investigate the boats and see what um, see what it looks like. Okay, and we can always get on to Wilderness Lodge or Fort Wilderness or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I hope we get some snacks. I can go for some good Easter snacks. Mm -hmm. Oh, is there a visit to Sunny Eclipse? There is, yeah. Gosh, maybe we'll end up at Sunny Eclipse. Maybe we should go and try and throw the Easter necklace on Sunny Eclipse. Gosh. So he's like wearing it. Mm-hmm. I watched a, um, a video earlier. This lady was talking about why they don't um, 
redo the Stitch of Great Escape. And she said that it's because um, it's in the same building as Sunny Eclipse, and the building was built at a time when they were using asbestos. And so if they were to renovate part of the building, they would have to renovate the whole thing, including, and it's in the same building as um, Cosmic Rays. Oh. And it all has asbestos. So well, if I mean, they ever the do anything to Stitch's Great rays. Escape, they'll have to redo Cosmic Rays too. Cosmic Rays is going to need an update at some point. I hope, I really hope they don't get rid of Sunny Eclipse, mm -hmm. but I mean, it's definitely showing its age. Yeah. I, I love it because it's like, it reminds me of Electric Umbrella over at Epcot where it's like, oh, yeah, yeah. it's like classic. Electric Umbrella really needed a update. I guess so. It was very much showing its age. Welcome, Bryce. Bryce. Welcome, welcome, Bryce. And um, Chomps. Chomps. Welcome, Chomps. Hopefully you're doing good. Hopefully you and Sunshine are having a great day today. Yeah. It's also, awesome. um, Mike Beachman is here. I think Thank you. Hi, right right, Mike Beachman. Hopefully, you're doing good. Okay, right. so it's your whatever you want to do. Your call. Let's go to Wilderness Lodge. Okay. Well, it's just getting here too, so. Oh, perfect. Okay, hello. Thank you. Thank you. Got the boat. There it comes. So essentially, if you guys are joining us, our plan for today is a very ambitious and very festive plan. Mm -hmm. Today we're starting off here at the Magic Kingdom and we have an egg filled with different eggs for Easter. And each one has a different thing we have to do in it. So we're pretty much drawing eggs. Different Easter snacks. Go to different places, ride this ride. A lot of them are really thing. goofy and like Easter inspired. Matt doesn't even know most of them. Mm -hmm. So it'll be kind of a mystery for all of us. Matt probably threw one in there that. Probably, you never know. Yeah. I might have one up my sleeve so I can just like. <laughs> yeah. April, welcome I April. <laughs> yeah, we should we should have like jelly beans on there. Like get jelly beans. We thought Don't they have like com um confectionery? Like Probably. The, with the wall of M&Ms, I think you can get like jelly beans. Mm -hmm. That would be fun. You like um, root beer? Oh, I do root like root beer jelly, jelly beans. Oh, they probably they might have my wilderness lodge. We'll see. That would be good. Well, if you guys are joining us, we're gonna get a nice, relaxing boat ride. We'll see where that goes. We'll see where we go afterwards. But feel free, stay tuned, enjoy the fun. It'll be a pretty good day yeah. so far. I don't have my sunglasses. Nice. <laughs> oh, you should have put yeah, the devil legs. Yeah, that would have been fun. Yeah. yeah. We could have gone to the bar and got them. I never really thought of, like, like egg, like, non-Easter stuff like that, like eggs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That could have been Oh, fun. the gaming ham has changed his name as well <laughs> to the gaming Easter bunny. Oh. There you go. That's awesome. Let's see. I don't know why Goo keeps spreading rumors that I don't like doing stuff like this. What? Cutstown Comet said that you said that I don't like doing stuff like this. Oh, you don't like doing scavenger hunts? When did like I say that? Like that scavenger hunts? I don't remember ever Because every time I want to do it, you're like, oh, do it when I'm out there. I don't remember that. Yeah, I do. Goo is making stuff no, up. I'm not. Oh, welcome, Caitlin. Oh, Caitlin. Welcome, Caitlin. Chomps likes chocolate for Easter. Gosh. Can you get some for me, please? I'd appreciate that. 
Maybe. We should get some chocolate. Well, the problem is we can only do what the egg wills That's us to true. do. Yeah. So if the egg says get some you chocolate for chomps. Before we made the little mm -hmm. egg so we could have put that on one of the eggs. But unfortunately, it's a little too late. Well, thanks so much, everyone, for being with us. We are heading to Great. Wilderness Thank Lodge. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be taking a boat over there because that's what the first egg said. It said take a boat ride. Are you going to make me put the eggs on my hat or my head? Yeah. There should have been an egg that said that. Stick this to Goo's forehead. I'm spreading rumors. Put the bug on me. Thank you. All right, thank you. Where should we go? I guess inside. Oh, so that's yeah. This looks nice. You're good here? Yep. I don't want to go outside because I didn't want the bones to overheat. Yeah, that's true. And you can still get a nice view. Mm -hmm. One day I took this boat to Wilderness Lodge on a stream and it looked like I was outside. Gosh. And you can open that window a little bit more if you need to. It's hard to open. Oh, NBA Gamer put a carrot and two bunnies. Gosh. And he said, where is it? Goo, I sent you a carrot with two bunnies. Wow. There you go. That's a... Easter miracle right yeah, there. Thank you so much, NBA Gamer. Very nice of you. Well, welcome to this family. You might have already welcomed you, but welcome from me as well. And uh, Margaret's here. Welcome, Margaret. Goo should balance an egg on his head. If he can't, then mission space. I like that idea. Yeah. No, we don't need to do that. Wilderness Lodge is one of our favorites. Oh, June. Welcome, June. Hopefully you're doing good today. Oh, welcome. Hopefully everyone is doing good. We're going to start off our stream with a very nice and very relaxing boat ride. So if you're coming in, please do not forget. Enjoy the boat ride. Are we going to talk during it, or are we just going to make it peaceful? It's up to you. I don't care. I mean, the boat's already kind of loud. So That's true. It's not going to be the most peaceful. We'll see how it is when we yep. there. Um, what's your favorite drink over there? I don't really know. I, don't, I haven't gotten a ton of drinks at the Wilderness Lodge. Um, Diet Coke, I guess. They have the... Um, what's the inside? The... Oh, the, the um, side. yeah. The problem with me is I don't really like any, like, alcoholic drinks. I'm very picky. Like, I don't really like anything. Yeah. It's too strong. It's too horrifying. Where is that bar where they have the popcorn? Um, territory. Yeah. Yeah. Kathy, welcome, Kathy. And Katie's here. Welcome, Katie. Hopefully you're doing good. And Vanessa, welcome, Vanessa. Hopefully you're having a good day so far. So glad you could join. Do you feel like you have bugs on you? There was some kind of bug on my neck, I think. I felt like I did too. I thought there was a tag for but then I reached back there and it was some kind of little gnat or something. <laughs> oh, you can fill the egg with Beverly at the end. No, we don't Drink need it. No. I think it has a hole on it, so like, probably like, I guess I could put my mouth under it and like it could go through the hole and look at like, yeah. yeah. Well, it looks like Jeff has changed his name to not only a very Easter name, but also a very nice and mighty name. Mighty name. Mm -hmm. Nice guy. Nice guy. Oh, 
Oh, welcome, Ted. <laughs> Francois, welcome, Francois. Oh, welcome. Francois has a new name as well. Frick. How do you say that? Francois. Francois. That's awesome. Well, happy Easter, everyone. We're so glad everyone else is in the Easter spirit. If you're coming in, feel free. Grab your jelly beans. We'll be off to Wilderness Lodge here very soon. Minnie, welcome, Minnie. Also, welcome to Super Mickey. And they are welcome, they are hopefully you're doing good. Oh, hello. The boat is loading up. People all excited with Western cheer. Easter cheer. We should have an Easter celebration tomorrow. Maybe. Tomorrow we'll be live tomorrow morning. Yeah. Not sure when we're going to start yet, but...
is a free floating vessel and docking can be located. For your safety, if you're seated, remain seated and keep your hand along the handle. Please keep your hand, arms, feet, and legs inside the hole to get out. These buildings here are the um, the cabins. I think Copper Creek cabins. They are DVC. They sleep eight people. They cost quite a bit if you want to get it for um, cash for the night, but they seem pretty nice. Similar to the um, bungalows at the Polynesian, if you've seen those. Same layout inside, but they have the screened-in porch. Well, the bungalows do not. I think it got undone. I don't think it looks bad now, but okay, we're good. Because of that, like I was all the shuffle, kind of like all over the place. But okay, we're good now, though, which is good. Let's get out of here. We'll kind of discuss more. Please take your time and watch your step. Well, we've got the crew starting to leave. Thanks for sailing with us. Is that okay? Yeah. We'll kind of talk a little bit. We'll explain for those coming in now. It seems like a lot of people are coming in now, kind yeah. of confused of what's happening. Last Slipper. Welcome, Last Slipper. Also, oh, welcome. welcome to Daisy, Dave, Tabasco, Tyler. Hopefully, you guys are all doing good. Yeah. If you guys are joining us, essentially what we're doing here today is the Easter Bunny has given us a gift. If I can get it out of this bag. Here. Put this on. Put that on. Yeah, for a second. We have a giant egg here, and each inside there's a bunch of little mini eggs, and we're drawing eggs to tell us what to do. That being said, our first thing was to ride a boat. You can see it's a sticker, so we yeah. stuck it to. Yeah, we stuck it to this. He wanted to stick it to my forehead. Well, you want me to? It's okay. Okay. So I'm gonna draw the next one. We'll give it a good shake. The first one said ride a boat. So we will We'll oh, enjoy a little bit more sludge before we leave here. Oh, dropping them. Nice. All right, okay. I have my microphone back. Okay. okay. All right. Uh oh. Carrot fudge. Where's that at? I don't know. We'll have to look. I have it on my list. But there you go. Our second destination is to go and try this carrot fudge, wherever it is. And, um, yeah, it's kind of funny. You never know where this is going to take us, so it's going to kind of be a mystery, which I think will be pretty good. But luckily, 
Every single egg we have here, every single mini egg, is a sticker. So we can stick it on our egg. So we can kind of document all the places and all the things we do here today. So that's pretty fun. I took my Easter necklace off because it was, I think it was going to go with my microphone. Oops. And I thought I was going to make like a noise, but we're good. We'll go find out where that fudge is. We'll walk around the winter lodge a little bit. That rocking chair was disappointing. Well, disappointingly not as comfortable as I would have liked it to be. Nice. So. Paula, welcome, Paula. Also, welcome to Rose. Hopefully, you're doing good. And Courtney, welcome, Courtney. Courtney welcome. has changed her name to Courtney Easter. There you go. Which is great. So the egg itself here. was from the Easter Bunny? That being said, I think the Easter Bunny just got it from like Party City or something. It had a tag on it that said Party City. So the okay. fudge I'm guessing is like in some of the gift shops. Like they normally have fudge in the store or like, I don't know, like the confectionery has it. I'm gonna look. Or I mean the contemporary as fudge. Watch out. Luke, welcome Luke. And Maria, welcome Maria. Hopefully you guys are all welcome. having a good day so far. So when I made the eggs that mm -hmm. go inside here, I made a list of like where all the things are. Ah. So the carrot fudge is gonna be over at Beach Club Marketplace. Uh, okay, oh, yeah. that's not a bad so, um. I was like, yeah, no. <laughs> so what's the best way? Should we take a bus to Hollywood Studios maybe? I would say that'll work. Because Hollywood Studios, it's right along all the Epcot resorts. Yeah. So you can like easily walk or boat. There's not or Skyline. There's no bus like between resorts. So we can't take a bus from here to um, Beach Club. And if we take it to Epcot, we'll have to walk through Epcot. So the easiest way is just um take it to Hollywood Studios and then walk from there or boat oh, from Liam's there. Oh, Liam's here. Welcome, Liam. Oh, welcome. Liam beat me to it. He said it's at the Beach Club. I was oh, looking at the chat go. when he found it. So thank you, Liam. We appreciate that. Pixie Dust. Welcome, Pixie Dust. Also, welcome to Ashley. Okay, good. I think we're good. So a reminder, if you guys are coming in, please do not forget, make sure you do hit that like button. Every single like will be a huge help. Other than that, we're gonna walk through Old Winter's Lodge, maybe stop in the gift shop and yeah. get some Easter stuff. And then afterwards, we're gonna head on a bus over to Hollywood Studios. Yeah, make our way over to Beach Club to get some carrot fudge. I don't know how that's gonna be. Yeah. I hope it doesn't have like, um pieces of carrots in it? I don't think it will. That would be... <laughs> how would you even do that? Oh, look. Happy Easter at Wilderness Lodge. Oh, they're playing Mary Poppins. That's fun. So they play it like each each resort is playing like a different movie. Mm -hmm. That's kind of... I, I don't know how Mary Poppins is Easter, but... I don't know. Yeah. Most of this... Look, I, I guess it really must be Easter because they're having chimney sweep s'mores <laughs> at the campfire. So I don't know how Mary Poppins relates to Easter, but I guess so. And fly a kite scavenger hunt. I guess it's kind of like... full of sugar and practically kind of perfect poolside. It's kind of like a spring movie, I guess. I guess so. I don't know. Well, if you guys are watching, let us know if you think Mary Poppins is considered an Easter movie. Or if it actually is, yeah, like, maybe tell it us is. Yeah. why. Tony, welcome, Tony. Oh, welcome. Hopefully you're having a good Friday. I want to come back to Arthur's Point sometime. We came when they reopened. And I think we came one time after that with Mama Goo, maybe, or did we not? No, I think we only came once. I think we talked about coming with her, and then we never did. Yeah, so as of September, I think at that point, mm -hmm. 
most of the cabins you'll be staying at are going to be purely DVC. Not like, what I mean is like every cabin on Disney property, whether it's a Copper Creek cabin, whether it's a cabin at Fort Wilderness, they will be all DVC. Yeah, the cabin, the... So, yeah, I guess by September, I don't know, because they're doing it in phases. And the first ones will open July 1st. And then um, September 27th is the first time that non-DVC can book. So I'm guessing a good bit of them will be done by then. Oh, Steph is here. Welcome, Steph. Hopefully you're doing good today. Oh, welcome. Oh, which is better? Animal Kingdom Lodge or Wilderness Lodge? Um, I like Animal Kingdom Lodge better, but it's more out of the way. So it's... I yeah, I think when it comes down to it, Wilderness is great because it has a location. And I think that's what makes it kind of mm -hmm. unique enough. Oh, here, custom Easter baskets available. You choose and purchase the items you would like in the basket. And then we assemble it $7 for the basket and supplies. Oh, that's a cool one, though. Like, that is that. a really cool one, yeah. Like, that's a pre-made one, but I would almost buy that. We're I don't know. One. We could do it and then um, give away the ears. Yeah. Oh, look, they have all kinds of Easter candy to put in them, too. Oh, that's fun. Bill, welcome, Bill. And Traveling Around Disney. Welcome, Traveling oh, Around Disney. Hopefully you guys are doing good today. Look, they have all kinds of pre-made ones. Or is this just a display, like, I think it's what you could? I know they have pre-made ones yeah. at other resorts. I so, I did a little bit of investigation. I came, I went to Contemporary, and I went to um, Fort Wilderness yesterday to see mm -hmm. if they had, like, ones you can make like this. Mm -hmm. Neither of them had it. So, oh, interesting. As of now, I think this is the only resort where they're actually, like, you can choose your stuff, mm -hmm. and you can make it from there, so... I remember they had a lot of places last year. They even had it at the All Stars last year. Look at these plates. I like those plates. They're $35. It's not bad for yeah. a set Order. of four. Yeah. yeah. And look at this pitcher. I like the cups inside. They have Mickey on them. That's a cool collection. Well, it looks like we got a PayPal. Um, Richard actually sent a $50 PayPal, which is actually extremely generous. Yeah. Saying, from Rich, nice guy fund, happy Easter. Well, thank, oh, thank you, you so much, Richard. Rich. We're having a great time here today, and thanks to you, we can do more put towards the nice guy fund. Yeah. And um, it's been good. We're just going where we're going. We're seeing where the egg sends us. We're just going all over the place. So thank you so much, Rich. We're having such a good time. And as you always say, like, super chance and PayPal's. They're never required, so thank you so much. Yeah, always very much appreciated, so thank you. What are you pointing at? Oh, the Oswald one? That is pretty cool. It's like film reels. $30. Oh, there's some, oh, it's that paper. They always put the paper in there warning you that it too. causes cancer or something like that. This? I think. This is probably part of that um, summer collection that's been everywhere. That's fun. I like the summer collection. Oh, look at this um, princess one. It's pretty cool. Like, you could literally make a really cool basket if you really wanted to here. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of fun to see all the different, like, things you can make. Maybe we should make one. Should we? I don't know. I like the keychains of Chip and Dale. Those are really oh, cool. Oh, that is pretty cool, yeah. Oh, we saw these the other day at um, Magic Kingdom. Oh, I didn't see them. Oh, welcome, Julia. Terry. Oh, Terry's here? Terry's here, yeah. Welcome, Terry. Also, welcome to Julia. Oh, welcome. And um, Anthony. Anthony, welcome, Anthony. Hopefully, you guys are all doing good. Oh, and um, Holly is here as well. Hi, hey, Holly. Good afternoon. Yeah, so today we're literally just letting this egg decide everything we do. Should we show the egg one more yep. time? As people are coming in, we'll try to keep um, explaining what we're doing. Yeah. Okay. Here's Goo's festive necklace. Here's and there's our egg. egg. So, so you can see it's a giant golden Easter egg. And every single, it's full of, I think about a hundred mm -hmm. of these little eggs. And each one has like a different place for yeah. us to go, a different snack for so us to we, go. So if he grabbed oh. that one, that would say, 
we would go to Epcot or we would go watch Sunny Eclipse. And then there's a lot of like Easter exclusive food mm -hmm. items. Yeah. So like, like Easter snacks and different we're things. We're actually going right now to the beach club or we're to gonna get try the carrot some fudge. Carrot fudge. Mm -hmm. So it could really send us anywhere, which is kind of a little bit of a mystery. Kind of adds some thrill to everything, which yeah. is pretty cool. Should we go this way to the bus stop? Sounds good. Oh, Ashley, welcome. And um, Debbie as well. Hi, Debbie. Hopefully you're doing good. Thanks so much, everyone, for joining us today for this very festive Easter stream. The um, cupcake at Contemporary looked good. Oh, yeah. I don't remember what it was, but... So I think Matt's going to get kind of weird because he doesn't like carrot cake. Oh, yeah. So it's going to be a little I'll bit I'll just a, make goo try yeah. all the carrot cake. What? Well, you like carrot cake. I don't mind carrot cake. I'm not going to eat everything that's carrot cake. You will if the egg tells you to, unless you want to drink some Beverly. Yeah, so the only way we can get out of one of the eggs is if we drink five shots of Beverly. Mm -hmm. Looks like Animal Kingdom is there. I don't see any other buses, so I don't think we need to rush. Oh, V, welcome. Hi, V. And um, Disney is my happy places here as well. And Sean, welcome, Sean. Glad you could join us here at the Wilderness Lodge. Yeah. We're glad you could come along. It's really just kind of a mystery. We're hopping on a bus right now to Hollywood Studios so we can eventually make our way over to um, the beach club. You see that Lynx bus right there? Yeah, 303. That's the one that'll go to Universal. Ah, interesting. <laughs> uh, so we have like 14 minutes. Uh, nice. Nice. Let's go in the lobby of um, Boulder Ridge. Is that Boulder Ridge? Yep. We got a couple minutes. I don't think it'll come that early. I like carrot cake, but I feel like you can only eat so much of it, you know what I mean? I don't like things that have, cake, like, shaved carrots in them. And some carrot cakes do. So, I'm leery of all carrot cakes. It doesn't matter what it is. I don't like shaved carrots in, like, stir-fry, salad. It's certainly not cake. They put carrot cake, or carrots, shaved carrots, like that. Oh, there's Epcot. They put carrots like that at, um, on the flatbread. They used to, I don't know if they still do, I haven't gotten it since then. On the flatbread at Trader Sam's, they put it under the cheese. And so there's just like hidden, like it's <laughs> carrot roulette. And like at that point, like if you want to order without the carrots, you can't really because, mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's like under, it's not like a topping they add on yeah, top. Yeah. It's like something inside of everything. Yeah, Starbucks has the um, carrot cake, like um, whoopie pie or whatever it is. Oh, over at Hollywood Studios? Mm -hmm. Everyone always says it's good. I don't think I ever tried it. It used to be really good, apparently, when they had the Starring Rolls Cafe, and then they closed that. Mm -hmm. it looks like we got another PayPal. Uh oh. Uh, Christopher actually sent a $5 PayPal saying thanks for a fun stream. Oh, well, thank you so, well, thank much. You so much, Christopher. It's been a good day. We're literally just going around. The egg is telling us to you go know. different places. So thank you so much. It's been a great time here today. Thank you so much. Yeah, for that. we very much appreciate it. Thank you. Let's go over here. I feel like we never go. Oh, look, here's a map of all the Boulder Ridge. Oh, welcome, Sue Dog. That's cool, though. It's really cool though, if you look around all the art here, they, they did, I know this is kind of like a DVC extension, but it also has, it has a lot of different theming and depth mm -hmm. everything. I was here yesterday after I finished the stream, I came over here. I love these carvings of the different animals like along here. Those are really cool. This makes me want to, I don't know why, it just makes me it gives me the feeling of the Grand California. Makes me want to stay there. I do like the Grand California. Oh, Nate, 
Nate. Welcome, Nate. Oh, welcome. Hopefully you're doing good. So it's actually a popular myth that carrots are good for your eyes. It's not true. It's not true. It's not true. Um, the British made that up during World War yeah. II because they had um, radar technology for their planes and they didn't want um, the Germans to figure out that they had this radar technology. So they said, oh, like carrots are good for your eyes. So the Germans would just think that they're eating a lot of carrots. But in actuality, they had specialty radar technology. So that's where that comes from. What? Yeah. That's real? Yeah. Where did you hear that? I don't know. Oh, welcome Strictly Disney. Oh, hi Strictly Disney, welcome to the stream. It's been good, we're, we're kind of just roaming around enjoying some different resorts. Our next stop will be over at the beach club. So we're really just gonna go from place to place to location to location. And um, yeah, we're just letting the egg tell us what to do, so it's kind of a bit of a mystery. Oh, there's four wilderness. Gosh. I heard that um, somebody said they were building the cabin. Yeah, and some of the I, did they see that or like? Somebody saw it. Wow. In the 100 loop or the 1000 loop or something, they saw them constructing them, which is interesting. Magic Kingdom. Oh, Epcot's still there. We could jump on Epcot. If you want to? I'd do it. It's up I'm, to you. Let's do it. Okay. We'll jump on Epcot instead of um, Hollywood Studios. And we'll just cut through oh, Epcot hey, to get me. to... Matt's probably going to welcome you again because he probably can't Beach hear Club. me. But hopefully you're doing good today. We're also watching out for the new buses. Hello. Thank you. Oh, these are the new seats. Yeah. We're well, watching out for the new bus art because there's new ones that have um, Ratatouille. There's going to the be Ratatouille, there's going to be Orange Bird, Zootopia. Ratatouille is already, I've seen pictures of it already. Yeah, yeah there's already some of them out. Oh, welcome, Joey. And um, no one as well. Oh, and Hatbox Ghost is here. Welcome, Hatbox oh, Ghost. Hopefully, you're, you're giving a break from her spookiness. Yeah. And are ready to be festive for um, Easter too. We're celebrating Easter here today, so feel free, enjoy. It looks like we got another PayPal. Oh. Um, Margaret actually sent ten dollars towards the carrot fudge. Well, thank you so much, Margaret. Thank you so much, Margaret. You guys have been so generous. Like seriously, as we always say, these streams are always one hundred percent free. We're just having fun with these things. Um, I know we, we go around, we do all the different things, but we're just having a lot of fun. But thanks to you guys, we can do more. We can try the carrot fudge. We can do other things. And I know especially as we're doing things, we're like going to D23, doing a couple other things. Yeah. Uh, you guys help us do those things as well. So yeah, And bring you guys along to show you yeah. new, different, exciting things all around Streams, the country. Streams, videos, all kinds of fun Maybe things. eventually all around the world. That would be awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much, Margaret, though. We really appreciate that. And, um, yeah, enjoy the stream. It's been great today. I believe um, Sue Dog did gift five memberships as well. Oh, so thank yeah. you so much, Sue Thank Dog. you so much, Sue Dog. Congratulations to all the new members. That's very generous of you. Thank you. Also, welcome to um, A. I knew it. What? I knew it. What? I welcomed A when you were far away from me, and I said, oh, A, you're going to be welcomed twice. Well, why do you do that? I don't know. Well, twice the welcoming, twice the fun. Yeah, twice the good enjoyment. Yeah. Twice the festivities. Yeah. I'll say, uh, I'm, I'm really like into it. Everyone has all their Easter names. Yeah. I have my Easter necklace. It's a pretty pretty festive day here. It's been great. Oh, 
Oh, good afternoon, Harry. Looks like we're going. We won't talk a whole lot while we're on the bus ride. Just to have a nice, relaxing ride. Yeah, we'll make a comment every so often, but whenever it's kind of like fuller, but also not full, we kind of try and keep it a little bit silent. But enjoy the ride. We'll be heading over towards Epcot. It won't we'll go from there. Yeah, I'll say for those of you who did get memberships, tomorrow's our big member day. Oh, yeah. So, tomorrow's wow. our member stream. So, we're going to rope drop magic in them tomorrow. And that's for and everyone. And that'll be open to everyone, member or not member. You're all more than welcome to join. But then after that is over, we will be going over to the um, mini golf course over by Epcot, the Fantasia Gardens, where we will be doing our first ever monthly member member of mini golf face off you and i will be battling dueling to the death to see who wins to the death yeah what death i don't know the death of your while we are on the bus we may have some slight lag here or there just bear with us not a whole lot we can do as we're going down the road, but it should clear up once we arrive at our destination. Should we buffer it, or do you think we should? I think we're probably fine. Okay. Sometimes, yeah. So we just we just have fun. A lot of things change around here, so we just like to go and like check out all the new stuff. So it's just fun. We just have fun. With it. Um, it's called Goo to You. What is it? Uh, G O O T O Y O U. So like Goo to You. I don't know if yeah. I have a thing. Uh, I don't think I do. Yeah, but we have a lot of fun with it. It's always fun to go. Um, eight thousand. So, yeah, we just have fun with it, go around so, about two or three years. Yeah, closer to three. Yeah, so yeah. it's just fun. I just love to. Yeah. Um, yeah. Once you get to a thousand, I think, you can start making money. Because the way YouTube does it, they put um, ads on everything, whether you monetize or not. But then once you get to a thousand, they say, okay, we know that we can trust you more. So then they start giving you a share of um, what the ad record is here. So, yeah, it fluctuates depending on what kind of content you're making. But, so you guys like 24 seven streaming? Not usually, we try to do five days a week, usually about four to six hours at a time, but sometimes longer. We've done as long as 23 hours without stopping. So, yeah. so that's a real job. It's something we more do on the side. Like, I work at Magic Kingdom, so, yeah. So it's just something I do when I'm not working. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of fun. Oh, 
Yeah. Rich, oh. Rich made a good point. Epcot is home of creations and the orange juicer mug. I think that's kind of Easter themed. What? Th that's kind of Easter themed. Did you put it in the egg? No. I put useless junk in the egg, but... We'll see. I guess we'll see. Clary, welcome Clary. So we are currently headed to Epcot. Huh. Epcot. We're going to Epcot. We are going to Epcot, yeah. And we eventually to the beach club. We're like spending a ton of time in Epcot right now because our ultimate destination is beach club. I keep forgetting that. So we're going to beach club because the egg did tell us to go try the carrot fudge. Which, I don't know what to think of the carrot fudge. Yeah. I mean, I'm intrigued. It could be good. It could be bad. Yeah. It's kind of a mystery. I like carrots. Yeah. Don, Happy welcome, Easter. Don. Happy Easter. Jennifer, hopefully you guys are all doing good. Green Giant. Oh, that's a good point. We could go thank the Mighty Buffalo. Do what? We could go thank the Mighty Buffalo. We probably should. I mean, it's kind of like I a know. required thing. Is it going to be too much of a disobey of the egg? Well, let's go get the fudge first. Okay. And then we'll see what the egg tells us to do after that. We should have done that for the boat ride. Oh, that's true. Yeah. We should have just started at Epcot. That would have been better. Yeah. Because we could have gone, said boat ride, go to land. Well, it was weird and then when we were um, coming to the park because we started off at the transportation and ticket center and the monorail was down. Yeah. So, um, and all the monorails were down, I believe. I'm just going to put this on. So we had to be kind of strategic with where we went. Let me know, like, if you guys, if there's audio confusion because this necklace is kind of noisy. Hey Richard, welcome to the stream. We're glad you could join us. We're glad you could come along on our adventure. And we're just getting started, so it's going to be a pretty good day here today. Yeah, there's Spaceship Earth itself. Off in the distance. Oh, welcome to Salt Life as well. Hi, Salt Life. Welcome. Yeah, that's a new emoji Goo is experimenting with. It's hard to make the emojis because sometimes you just can't. Like, they they have... They if I would have showed you the emoji full size on my phone, you could tell what it is. Yeah. But if I shrink it down that small, it's kind of hard to know what it is. The emojis can't have, like, a ton of detail because they're just so small. You can't always tell what they are, but that is, in fact, the Mighty Buffalo. You know how, like, um, if you're a member for, like, 20-something months, yeah. you can change the little goo crew by you? Yeah, we can. Maybe we should put the Mighty Buffalo yeah, that's if true. you've been 24 months. We could, yeah. Because that's kind of like a badge of honor, mm -hmm. I think. So when I originally made the memberships, it was, I didn't know what to do past a year because I really didn't think, oh, we don't need to worry about a year yet. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, a year has passed. Yeah. And if you're over a year, you just have the same one as everyone else that has a year. Well, two years have passed. Yeah. So maybe we'll have to add it. That would be fun. We'll have to do something. Like a distinguishing medal of honor. So right now they're all just the same thing, just different colors, right? Yeah. Which that's just what like YouTube's default is. Just to yeah, I feel like it works for the most part. Like it's uh, blue, kind of gold. What? I think it kind of works. Yeah. I love the music they're playing here. This is the Ellen's Energy Adventure music. It is, yeah. Oh, hi, 
Nick. Oh, Nick. Welcome, Nick. It was great to meet you guys. Yeah, it was good. Thank you. Go this way. Thank you. Thank you. Also, thank you so much to um, Steph for being a member for 23 months. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much, Steph. So, let me take a poll here. Okay. I'm wearing this necklace. Uh huh. Do you hear like a bunch of like shaky noise? Yeah, do you hear like rough, rough, like. Because Is there I, any interference? I don't want to bring down the festiveness. Like, we need to be festive for Easter. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I don't want to sacrifice Ooh, audio. Oh, that was weird. Falling. That, like, stepped down. It has, like, this grass, like, this fake grass. Yeah. And so, Speaking if it of causes Easter, a rustle. One of my nemesis is in life. whatever. Mm -hmm. One of my nemesis is in life is the grass that you put in Easter baskets. Yeah, it gets, it gets everywhere. It gets everywhere and, like, in order, you can't just sweep it up. It's just, you have to like pick up every single one individually. Uh -huh. It's like, it's horrifying. Well, when we do get up here, um, we're not able to film security. So I'm going to put the do, the be oh. right back screen on. Right. What? They say nothing. Oh, okay, perfect. Well, if it does start to yeah, interfere, let us know. if it starts to get annoying, let me know. It is kind of itchy too, like it's not a very yeah. comfortable necklace, but I just want to make sure everything's very festive. Mm -hmm. I saw some somebody on the boat, there were two kids and they both had the Zazu shoulder pals. Gosh. And it was, it was nice to see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so up here we cannot film security, so I'm gonna put the, do, the Be Right Back screen on. Um, so you'll see that for a little while, but once we are through, I'll turn it off and we will be back and we'll go into Epcot. I'm gonna turn it on right now. Okay, here we go. Thanks everyone, we will be right back. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we should be good. Okay, we're good. Thank you so much everyone for your patience. It looks like we are back. Yeah. Awesome. being said if you guys are coming in i have a couple things to tell you number one if you guys could help us out don't forget make sure you do hit that like button every single like will be a huge help um, especially as we're streaming here today so um by hitting the like button actually shares that our stream gets more people in here so if you do hit that like button that's a huge help to us so we really appreciate that other than that we're at epcot yeah which is pretty incredible i know coming into epcot you're probably wondering hmm how can I visit Epcot myself? I'd like it very much if you told me. I do need Maybe to once you. we'll get through the entrance, you can yeah, tell let's, me. Let's go scan in really quick. We'll talk through how you can plan your trip. Hello. Thank you. Kurt, thank you. If you guys want to book your trip to Epcot or anywhere else you might want to go, make sure you check out Steph. Steph from Ricky Guru is a travel agent who is trained to take you to Disney World, Universal, SeaWorld, wherever you might want to go. So whether you're trying to get to Disney World, whether you're trying to get to Disneyland, Adventures by Disney, Disney Cruise Line, Disney Around the World, Steph is an expert travel advisor. And the best part is her services are completely 100% free so by booking with her, you're going to make your trip a lot easier and you're going to help a small business. Which is incredible. Yeah. So if you guys want to check out Steph, she can help you. Another thing I do want to talk about, 
they have officially announced or kind of went in detail of the first land of Epic Universe. Yeah, yeah. So the um, How to Turn Your Dragon Isle of Burke area has officially been announced. So if you're wanting to kind of start planning your trips for Epic Universe or want to kind of have a travel agent in mind before mm -hmm. everything gets officially announced. Because this is going to be a wholly new thing. Like even I'm going to be confused. A lot yeah. of the time when we plan these trips, I feel like I'm kind of an expert, but I'm going to be going in completely in the dark on this one. Yeah. So if you feel the same way, you're going to need a travel expert to help you plan your trip. So if you want to check out Steph, we'll get a link for her in the chat. If not, there's a link in our description. Yeah. Thanks, Steph. You want to go in here for anything? I need to use the restroom real quick. Okay, yeah, I'll take over for a minute. Should I clip yeah, this clip here? It. Yeah, okay. clip it there. There we go. Interesting. They have a new Marvel hat. That's kind of funny. It has like cartoons of all the different Marvel characters. You also have a Captain America hat, which I think is pretty cool. It's kind of a classic. That's pretty cool. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's pretty cool. So, we have been in Epcot for like three days in a row. And every single day we've been in Epcot, it's been very busy. Like, the shortest wait time I ever find is living with the land, and it still has a queue which is kind of concerning. So, I don't know, coming into these parks, it's kind of horrifying. You just have to be ready for everything, especially during these spring break times as we're getting closer to Easter. But um, Space of Earth isn't very long. It's only 15 minutes. That's not bad. Disney, welcome Disney. Those are wonderful attractions. Okay, I think I'm gonna take this necklace off. It's making me itchy. Well, if you guys are joining us, basically what we're doing here today, in celebration of Easter, we have brought with us a giant Easter egg. The Easter egg is filled with a bunch of mini Easter eggs, and each Easter egg that we draw essentially has a different challenge, a different thing, a different thing for us to do throughout the day. So for instance, we could draw one that says, oh, go drink Beverly. We could draw one that says, oh, go try the goofy new snack over at Riviera. So basically, whatever the egg tells us, it's gonna pretty much form our stream, basically send us wherever we're going. So if you guys are coming in, feel free. Join us in our adventure here today. Looks like Matt's coming back. What do you have to say for yourself? I have my microphone back. Yeah. Well, I'm do we thirsty. want to draw an egg? Yeah, we might as well like, draw one just in case, like... Like, for instance, what if it says, go on living with the land? Yeah. And we're already in the park, so we can get it done with, kind of break things a little bit. There's so the for those itself. of you that do not know, this is our egg. This is the golden... I call it the Willy Wonka egg, because yeah. it looks like the golden egg. And inside... Ryan, welcome, Ryan. Oh, welcome. And Tiki Man fan. Welcome, Tiki Man fan. Oh, hello. See, there's a bunch of little eggs. Mm -hmm. And they each say something different on it. A different snack, a different ride, a different somewhere to go, something to do, something to see, something to try. So these ones on the egg itself. Those are things that we've Look already pulled. Look at the pulled. reflection. That's pretty cool. It's Space of Earth. Yeah. That's a really cool picture. But so we're gonna open it up. You're gonna draw the next egg. Oh, and Jeff is here. Welcome, Jeff. Oh, welcome. How are you doing? Hollywood Studios. Oh. That works. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. yeah, we can go. We'll go to um, go through. What here. you call it? We'll go to Beach Club and then we'll continue on to all. Well, should we here. just not do Loon with the Land then for now? Yeah, let's wait on it for we now. Always come back. Yeah. Okay. It's still early. We got plenty it's so of time. It's so weird. To... Like every single time we do these goofy things, like these goofy egg or wheel things. We get lucky. It takes us. Well, I feel like every single time it's legitimately, legitimately different. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like. Well, that's one nice thing. It's always different. 
but I feel like at least the past few times we've done it, it's been like a really nice like natural progression. Yeah. Like yeah, it's like, not places that are hard. Like what if it, what if I would have pulled then and it just told us go, go to Wilderness Lodge. Oh yeah. Oh that's true. Yeah. I think there is a Wilderness Lodge one. So. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take this goofy necklace off because it's that's itching fine. me. Yeah. So yeah, I'll take, take it. Take it. Oh. I'm thirsty. Me too. You want a water? I brought one with me. Do you have a? Uh, I have a liquid IV. I had one when we left. I oh, need Kimmy! To... Welcome, Kimmy. Oh, welcome. Hopefully you're doing good today. Welcome to our Easter celebration. We're glad you could join us here today. It's been pretty good. I need to get one of those folding water bottles. I know. Yeah, me too. The hydro flasks are nice, but they just weigh so much, and they're bulky. And the thing is, like, especially now, there's water refill stations everywhere. So it's not like I need to keep stocked on cold water. Like I can get more water whenever I want. There is officially like one in every park or like at least a couple at this point, like a handful Yeah. at each park. You have one in Cosmic Rays, you have one by Tron and they're adding them, which is kind of something nice. No, you're good, Kimmy. Hopefully you've been doing good. Yeah, thanks for being here. We're glad you could join us. We're glad you could come along on our adventure here today. Well, should we go in Creations? I want to look at Communicore. Okay. We'll investigate Communicore. I noticed we'll something go in really, really strange the other day. I want to see if it's still there. Oh, did you see the sign was up? The Mickey and Friends? Yeah, it looks really good. Like, it's I haven't like seen almost it. done. Oh, Kenny's eating carrot cake. Oh, that's great. Oh, wow. That's probably like the best accompaniment to this stream. Carrot cake. Um, I don't know what else. Somebody said they Jelly used to have beans. a good carrot cake at Primo Piano. Oh. Is that what it's called? Whatever yeah. it is at Rivera. Look at all this, like all the paneling is done. Like yeah, it looks, it looks like it's very close. So go over here. I imagine there's maybe some more work on the inside. So let me go right here for a second. This is where the mural is going to be and it says Mickey and Friends. So that's where you're going to go in to meet Mickey. Mm -hmm. So this is where the Mickey mean be right now. They kind of have them in the corner of the Imagination Theater. It's a weird spot. It's a very weird spot. It doesn't really work. And then over here, here, let me see if this works. I found the best angle the other day. Okay, you can't see it now, but look up right there. So that's gonna be the sign for yeah. like the hall, I think. So that's oh, okay. gonna where the gallery is. That's where we're gonna be like the, the kitchens, uh -huh. the bar. And under um, this covered area here is where the stage will be, yeah. where they'll have different shows. But it was really weird. So the other day I looked and uh -huh. like, I was able to zoom in inside mm -hmm. and there was a, t yeah, it's still there. Here, look at my, look at the phone. There's oh, a TV yeah. and it says Connections Cafe Hours on it. Wow. So I don't know if it's meant to be like, oh, you're gonna go in there, all the hours are posted, you know, like a lounge yeah, type yeah. thing, like, oh, this is your center of Epcot. Or if that's just something they're just putting on the TV for like construction it workers. It could be like resort TV yeah. type thing. Or yeah, maybe the construction workers can get lunch at yeah. um, Connections. So that. it's kind of a little bit of a mystery. All this area is where like main of the construction kind of is left. Yeah. But you should have seen it other day, those like panels right there are all lighting up. Yeah. So like everything's all sinking, which maybe is Maybe we'll come cool. back by here at night yeah. and it'll do it again. I was thinking of adding living with the land to like the eggs, mm -hmm. but I can't. I don't think there's any like rabbits or anything in the ride. I can't think. I don't know. Yeah. Rabbits eat like. That's true. They plants. eat off the land. <laughs> oh, Forest Paws! Welcome, Forest Paws. Oh, hello. Good afternoon. Glad you could join us here today. Hopefully, you're having a good day so far. So when we went to Turf Club, did they have the salad with the stuff from Living with the Lamb? We went somewhere that they did. Um, Tiffin's. Tiffin's, maybe. Yeah. I think they have one now. Because I didn't, um, I didn't get to watch it yet, but I saw Todd and Michelle went to um, Turf Club. And um, it came up like as the, when I clicked on it. Hello, thank you. The, like the comment that was highlighted was somebody saying something about it's cool that you can eat. Yeah. From living with the land at this restaurant. I love that they're doing that more. Or like at least more than I'm seeing it. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe they've been doing it all the time, and I just haven't seen it before. Yeah, here's this cup again. Yeah. It's not Tervis or oh. anything. Rich has a question. What's that? Are they gonna fill the panels on Communicore Hall? Or are they gonna, where it looks like it was hit by a storm? So those- They're gonna be open. The place where the panels aren't right now, those are intentionally left like that. So that it, to symbolize that Epcot is never complete. Yeah. That it's so, always changing. Look at the spirit jersey. Oh, it's not a spirit jersey, but. Do you, do you like how it looks? Do you like it incomplete like that? I think it works. That? We'll have to see it when it's like when the walls are down to see for sure. But I, from what you can tell right now, look, I think it works. Yeah, I don't know. Some people like are like violently. Oh, that's. Mm -hmm. I don't really care too much. I don't think. Well, it looks it's that not bad. like they're like walls leading to inside either. Like it's yeah. open air area already. I don't know. We'll see. Dave, welcome, Dave. Hopefully oh, you're doing good. Oh, well, this is new. Which one? The steer jersey. Oh. Oh, this right here. This like tie-dye almost. That's fun. Wow. I saw a hat in the hat or in the front of the park that store I went in. Uh-huh. And it was so they have like two new Marvel hats. One of them looked like Captain America. Gosh. I think I don't know if Chomps is watching, but he likes Captain America. Mm -hmm. Oh, have you been watching for the um visor? Oh no. Oh, no, it's Mike. No. Excuse me. Oh, Ryan. Welcome, Ryan. So as of now, we will definitely be live tomorrow morning. Um, undecided for Saturday. We might go... You mean Sunday. Or Sunday, yeah. I On work Easter, Sunday night. I'm still figuring out. I, I might do something with some family members. I don't know for sure yet. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be a little bit last minute, whether we do something or not. But then Monday will probably be live. We'll probably be Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday because we'll be out of town. Oh, that's true. That's coming soon. Yeah. Thursday, we leave for Ohio to go see the um, solar eclipse. Oh, Trump's is always watching. Yeah. Hopefully, you saw the hat. I do like I'm the sure water we'll bottle. I'm sure we'll run into it again. It's pretty this cool. This is cool. I, have, I really don't care much about Star Wars. So, that's but the, like, the original it's lightsaber. It's a water bottle. There's another one that's Darth Vader's mm -hmm. lightsaber. And the strap is cool. Yeah. I think if you pull the tab, when you open it, it makes and lightsaber up, sounds yeah. and lights so. up, yeah. That's pretty cool. That's fun. If I cared about Star Wars, I would get that. Yeah, I like this mug thing here. This is pretty cool. Oh yeah. It kind of looks like, it's like frosted almost. Mm -hmm. Like if you ever been to like a um, root beer stand. Yeah, an A&W. Like, yeah, A&W and they bring you like, the root beer in the cup, it's like all frosted. We're gonna have to go to a root beer stand when we're... Oh, we should, yeah. I assume they're open for the... They close usually, they open seasonally. So I assume good. they're this already is... reopened. I haven't really seen much of this collection before. You have this, which we saw at Wilderness. Yeah, I like that. The plates. Oh, look at that. That's like the wine or yeah. whatever drink mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. Okay. $25, wow. That's a little much, but... And I think one of the big things, especially as we're getting towards the spring season, one of the things you have to figure out, and one of the more essential things for the spring season, is orange juice. So I one of the so. things you'll have to buy is one of these, which I feel like is something we'll have to pick up on this stream. This stream? Yeah. Well, if the egg wills it so. You have the egg, right? Yeah, I have the egg. Okay, yeah. It's only $25. That's, that's good quality merchandise. I was trying. I was going to go. I was so close to doing a stream this morning mm -hmm. at Universal. Because um, what they've been doing is every single announcement they're making for Epic Universe, as soon as they make that announcement, there's a line of merchandise that's going to release per land or like per announcement they make. And it's going to or it's going to release from what I understand. They, they haven't like said that officially, but it's been happening every time they make mm -hmm. an announcement. Kind of like when they do the Horror Night announcements, when they put out a shirt. So, yesterday they released one for the new area that they released. We've been watching and for the just general... Um, it's back there. Uh, oh, it's back, the yeah. Epic Universe shirt? Nice. And it's online too, I just don't want to pay for shipping. 
Might be worth it at this point. What? It might be worth it at this point. Yeah, I guess so. I thought I would bring my popcorn bucket with me today. Popcorn smells good. Yeah, it does. But I want to get a drink somewhere. Oh, somebody wants, or Adam wants, a solar eclipse live stream where I do cooking and then we go out and watch the solar eclipse. Yeah, we talked about doing cooking while we're there. I was wishing we were going before Easter because I would do cooking and um, dye Easter eggs. Oh, yeah. But. Oh, yeah, that's, I forgot. I was going to do that on my um, Epcot stream the other day and I mm -hmm. forgot to do it. David D. loves Disney. Welcome, David D. loves Disney. Hopefully oh, you're having a good Friday so far. Hopefully we can start the weekend off right. Yeah. With some good enjoyment, some park comping. We've, we've made it to like two parks so far. We're going to make it to our third, so you never know. Animal Kingdom is not in the egg mm -hmm. because I didn't want to have to go all the way over there. And they've closed yeah. soon. So, But um, we do have like a filter that we can put over the camera of our phone. So if we wanted to, we could live stream the um, eclipse, depending on where we are and how the cloud coverage is. You won't be able to see anything, but... Well, yeah, if, um, if there's no clouds, and if we just focus it on the... Well, you'll just see a black screen, right? Won't it be like... Yeah, but like, that's what the eclipse is. Like, people watch that on, like, like I think NASA live streams are like that. So we'll be we'll be competing with NASA. I guess so. Yeah. That's fun. Joe, welcome, Joe. Oh, welcome. What land at Epic University do you want to see most? What lands are there gonna? Well, I'm excited for the Mario, the yeah, Super the, Nintendo. Yeah, the Nintendo World. looks great. I'm really. I. I'm glad we're getting the bigger one. I hope I fit on the Donkey Kong. That's yeah. I don't. I need to fit on that ride. Yeah. Like I need to get on that. I need to go on a that's diet. Like, that's like when, it, like, the engineering with that to make it look like you're jumping over the tracks. If you guys haven't seen it, it's like in Donkey Kong, like when you jump over in like the minecart. Basically, jump over it's the track. two tracks. There's a lower track that's the actual track, and then there's an upper track that looks like the Donkey Kong track, and so that way they can make it look like you're jumping over a track because they just put yeah. gaps in the top one, which is just a facade. Which I mean, like. That's great. Yeah. Like, that's incredible. <coughs> that's so cool, though. Like, that would be such a fun ride to get on. I hope they somehow, like, um, engineer it. It would be cool if they could somehow fix it so it, it feels like you're actually in the air instead yeah. of feeling like you're on a I don't know. Track. It might give that feeling because you're going to be, I think, I don't know. Well, what I'm saying, wait. I feel like they could somehow put, like, some sort of I don't know, they could have it like jolt you either up or down or something to yeah. give you like the feeling of, I don't know, someone smarter than me would have to figure that yeah. out. But but um, as far as FQ Universe goes, Nintendo looks good. The Monsters area looks really cool. Oh, I'm excited for the Monsters because, area. Because like it's, um, it's like original Frankenstein. So like think mm -hmm. of the original Frankenstein, like old buildings. Yeah, yeah. I think that has potential to be really cool if done well. I think I'm gonna save up some money because the first year, from what I'm hearing, the first six months to a year, they won't have annual passes for Epic Universe. So we just need to save up money and buy yeah. like, like go twice a month or something. Maybe we should just go like the first week of opening and just yeah, like every day. stream every single day. And like, because the thing is when it comes down to, you can't film most of the rides there. Yeah. But when it comes down to it at the end, this is going to be a really, I think it's going to be a good walkthrough park. I, I think that's the thing. I feel like, and I keep saying, I feel like Disney's theme parks are more theme parks and Universal's parks are more amusement parks. And I feel like this is the park that's going to bridge the gap for Universal between theme park and amusement park. This is going to be, based on what I've seen of Super Nintendo World and Hollywood, this did is going to be the park that will bridge. Concept art of the new land. Yeah, I don't look at concept art because yeah. you never know. Well, concept art doesn't mean anything. I looked at it, but seems pretty fun though. Yeah. For the new, they're going to have a show, like a stage show mm -hmm. inside. 
Yeah, yeah. And from yeah. what I understand, it's the same show they have in a different park. Ah. So, like, we know what that's going to look like. Mm -hmm. And supposedly they, like, they said there's, a, like, there might be a potential of, like, a dragon flying over you. Oh, wow. So if they're able cool. to pull that off, that'll mm -hmm. be... Kind of like the way Baymax flies around the castle at um, Disneyland, yeah, maybe. Yeah, but, like, remember when... Oh, that was so annoying. When Galaxy's Edge opened... Yeah, they had the they had, drone. For the media event, they had a drone of, like, one of the ships flying over. A TIE fighter or something, a uh, X-Wing, I, I think. I mean, I get that that's hard to do every day, but if they could eventually get to that point, yeah. that'd be, like, the immersion you'd need for this kind of thing. Disney fan, welcome, Disney fan. Oh, welcome. And don't make me welcome. Hopefully you're doing good. Thanks so much for being here with us today. What? Oh, have you ever streamed Gatorland? We haven't. I'd oh, like to. I've never fun. been to Gatorland. Goo went one time without me. I would go there someday. There's a lot of things around Orlando we need to get to. Before the stream started, we were making a list of all the things we wanted to. Well, I was making a list of things I wanted to go see in um, California when we're there that we haven't seen yet. I want to try to do as many new things as possible, so not too many repeats of what we've done before. Yeah. I want to go to the El Capitan Theater and see a movie. Yeah, that would be cool. I think that would be cool because they have popcorn buckets that are really cool. Mm -hmm. And they have events like year round. Yeah. Like even if nothing's in theaters, you can like. They replay older classics. Mm -hmm. Plus, the gift shop's great. You have the um, Ghirardelli Fountain. Oh, yeah. Fountain. They have special pins that they release periodically. And when you buy the pin, you get a Sunday with it. And it was a great deal. Like, it was a good Sunday. Yeah, it was like watched? $17. We had a video where we went, and it was it was wonderful. I you got, got a pin. pin. You got the Sunday, and I feel like it was a Sunday that if you went to Disney Springs, it would have been $17. Yeah. So. So, which one did I get? Was it like, wasn't it was it a like, Phineas and Ferb one, Yeah, I think. that was fun, yeah. Apparently, people like line up early to yeah, get Yeah, they pins. sell out. You got lucky that they still yeah. had one. That's a good point, Noel. The concept art mixed with like the actual construction photos look pretty accurate. Yeah. But I'll say, yeah, for, for sure, concept art sometimes is made to look more grander. And, and you need to actually be there yeah. to... But it looks pretty cool. I feel like can, if done well. Journey's out loud. Welcome. Oh, welcome. Hopefully you're doing good. Should we hey, cut Chris through here. Welcome, Chris. Oh, hi, Chris. I don't know. One day I walked in here uh -huh. and like my phone just like shut down with connection. Well, should we not Usually go it's there? good. Like usually it's completely fine. Mm -hmm. I guess we can go fast. Let's just go this way. Okay. It's, at this point we're already almost through. We'll go in the store at the resort. are joining us here today. Thank you guys so much for coming along. Get through here for a second. Thank you. I'd be curious to see how much Gatorland has changed. Kimmy says, I remember going there as a kid with my parents, Oh. but that was a long time ago. I feel like Disney and like all these other parks have changed so much. I wonder if Gatorland has... Maybe you could like, um, I don't know, like FaceTime us or something. Yeah. Like we could show and say, oh, this is what it looks like now. Is it different? Yeah, I do need to get something to drink, but I'll get it at the resort. Yeah. Oh, the tar pits. I'm going to take oh, a picture Figment. of that. Figment fan. Welcome, Figment fan. Hopefully you're doing good today. I remember somebody mentioned the tar pits in the last stream, and I forgot we were in the middle of something. But I remember um, that was something that I wanted to do. Yeah, there's a lot to do over in California, so we have a lot of... We just have a lot to figure out, especially if we consider, oh, I saw something. What's that? If anyone here is from California or is familiar in depth of Knott's Berry Farm. Oh, yeah. I saw a video. <laughs> this was the most incredible thing I ever seen in my so life. So they have Snoopy, Camp Snoopy rooms at the Knott's That's, Berry yeah. Farm Hotel. 
There's only 18 of them, apparently. I don't know how you'd get one if you somehow specifically reserved that. So apparently, Snoopy will come and tuck you in at night. If you're in a camp Snoopy room. Yeah. At 8 p.m., Snoopy comes to your room every night. Which I don't know, probably only for kids, but like, huh, it's Snoopy. Like, that's Let's incredible. Go And it was so fun, like the video, Snoopy literally walked into your room mm -hmm. and like said good night and did all these things. Like what more could you want? Three times a week. We have a reservation right now for um for Knott's Berry Farm Hotel for a regular I'll room. I'll say one thing else. The article I saw. Mm -hmm. The rooms looked a little bit dated. Oh yeah, so, so maybe it was... I don't know if that's before the refurbishment. I don't it know if they been. still have it. But I need I need a Knott's Berry Farm expert here. Yeah, to give me the information because I would like to know. Right now, we all know for sure if we're gonna stay there, but we have a reservation the fifth through the eighth for Knott's Berry Farm Hotel, um, and then the eighth through the twelfth. We have the Villas at Disneyland Hotel, which is the fairly new tower. I don't know, somebody tell me if I'm wrong. I'm not a big fan of SeaWorld. I like SeaWorld during the special festivals. I've heard it's very cool during Christmas time, so yeah. I really want to make it there, but it's not enough. I don't like it enough to want to get it any old fast right now. Well, I'd be tempted to go to their, um, but I don't know, maybe I just like one of the recently. summer nights too. They have special yeah. things and they have fireworks too. James, welcome, James. Oh, welcome. Oh, Hooves of the Mighty Buffalo has been to the tar pits. Before. Gosh. Yeah, I think that'll be, I'll put it on the list. We're only gonna be there for not super long because, so the fifth, sixth, and seventh, we just do whatever we want. The eighth is the D23 day at Disneyland which means it's the first ever one. Um, they're gonna have special festivities all day for D23 members at Disneyland, <coughs> so we'll probably go to that. And then the 9th, 10th, and 11th is the D23 Expo, or the D23 Fan Event, or whatever you call it. I don't think we're gonna spend all day, all three of those days there, but we will be going to the um, events like the nighttime things at the Honda, Honda Center. Yeah, I'm gonna try and stay for some of the daytime things. Like if there's something intriguing enough, I'm gonna try and fight the crowds. I'm thinking we'll probably spend a good portion of the day on Friday there. Yeah, because I wanna do shopping. I think you have to reserve shopping on the first day, so we'll have to do that and we'll see the different exhibits. And then I think probably a good portion of the day is Saturday. Uh, maybe like half a day on Saturday. Yeah, that's what happened to me. I, I had an annual pass for SeaWorld. I went like three times mm -hmm. and like... Well, three times, I mean, they're not very expensive. I mean, that's true. I had like the lowest pass. Yeah. But like still, like I wasn't... I didn't really particularly like to enjoy going, so maybe I'll have to go back and give it another try. <laughs> I don't really go for the rides. I don't feel on most of them. I get sick on roller coasters. But when they have the special festivals going, Seems like that's kind of the thing to do. Yeah, it's like um, Legoland. Oh, Legoland like, is fun. But the thing is, if there's not something special going on, they there's close, not enough they for close me to go by myself. Yeah. So there's got to be it's got to be either Halloween or Christmas or, or Ninja Weekends. Or yeah, whatever they have. some kind of special weekend. Otherwise, they close half of it and there's nothing to do. Papa Wolf Four, welcome. Oh, welcome. Good afternoon. Hopefully you're doing good. Yeah. And Jerry, welcome Jerry, glad you all could join us. Thanks so much everyone for being here with us today for this very festive Easter live stream here at Disney World. We are drawing from a giant golden egg, tiny eggs, that tell us where to go and what to do. Let me ask you this. What's that? They have the fudge over at Yacht Club too. Let's go Would to Yacht Club. Would you rather go there because they have the free sale? Yeah, I'd rather go there like for that. the free sale. Do we want to go in the store here? Let's or? stop in the store, yeah, yeah. we're not in a rush. So the golden egg is telling us what to do, and it has told us to come here and get carrot fudge. Which we don't know, like we'll look at it in here, but like it could be orange, 
Yeah. It could resemble a carrot. Yeah. I don't know. It could just look like. I wouldn't be surprised fudge. if it's at least carrot shaped. Or it could just be like normal fudge with a little carrot on top. Yeah, it could be. Oh yeah, we should go get a kitchen sink. That would be. Fun. Oh, we could. Yeah. So somebody was asking yesterday. Uh huh. Do you know when tickets go on sale for Mickey's Halloween? Um, I always seems forget. like usually around July, maybe. That's what I was thinking. June or July. Everyone always asks me every year, and I'm always like, oh, I don't know. And then it happens, and I just never really take I'll have to look it. back at my email and see. Look at all this beach club merchandise. That's pretty cool. I don't think it's new. I haven't seen it before. I feel like I've seen it's it. It's like a beach bag. That's Seaside fun. is yeah. where it belongs. Yeah, that's nice. The beach is in cream. Oh, they have the lounge flat, too. Oh, that's cool. Oh, ears, I like that. The ears, I think, are scented, which is pretty cool. They smell like ice cream. You wanna... They do? Yeah. It smells like an ice cream cone, like a waffle cone. Oh, that's fun. Oh, there we go. Steph, our travel agent expert, has said July. There you go. Perfect. Thank you, Steph. Oh, look at this. That's pretty cool. It's for kids, but... Yeah. I wonder if it's from... Um, I don't know. It seems like every time we get something interesting like this, it's from Disneyland. Probably. The kids' hoodie thing looks pretty yeah. cool, too. <coughs> oh, is this it? No. No, it's like a... That's a carrot. Yeah, carrot fudge garland, it says. Oh. Okay. So that's what it's going to look like. It just looks like... So it's just chocolate fudge with a carrot on top. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's not, not bad. bad. Okay. I'm good with that. Well, um, I like some good fudge. Oh, look at this luggage tag. That's cool. Oh, the DVC it's one. It's kind of like the Disney World. Mm-hmm. That's a cool luggage tag. Let's go look at what other snacks they have for, um... Oh, look, they have... Are these ones pre-packaged? Nah, these are, yeah, these are yeah. just pre-made. Those are pretty cool, though. Oh, that one has a cookbook in it. This is cool. Oh, that's what I was looking so for. So I didn't put this on the wheel mm -hmm. because first of all, it wasn't on the list. Second of all, it's kind of big. How much is it? $25. $25. They have one over at Grand Floridian called the Grand Egg. Mm -hmm. It has all kinds of candy inside. This kind of is like a, a cool pinata. one. But um, I didn't want to put either of those on because I didn't really want to commit to mm -hmm. carrying this thing around. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. Here, it's $25.99 and it's just a chocolate Easter egg decorated as Mickey Mouse. So, so it's, it's, it's fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, there's that um, drawstring bag you like. Oh, yeah. I'll get it at some point, probably. Yep. Not today. Okay, you want to head on to... Yep, let's head to... Yacht Club. You can see over here there's a station where cast members building. Yeah. Different things. The Easter baskets. So I talked to a cast member yesterday mm -hmm. at Fort Wilderness, and I asked, like, oh, are there any... Like, you can make yourself, or do you know if there's any other resorts that are specifically doing this? Uh -huh. And she said, well, we did it last year, but this year there was a supply issue and we couldn't do it. Oh, interesting. So I don't know why certain resorts are doing it and they can't do it. So it's kind of a mystery as of now. But um, for sure, Wilderness Launch, you can build your basket there. Mm -hmm. That's the only one I've encountered. I'd be curious to check Boardwalk, though. <laughs> yeah. Because Boardwalk used to always do that. We can pop over there on our way to Hollywood Studios. Mm -hmm. This is the Flower Garden Easter Egg Display, created by the Yacht Club Easter Easter Yacht Club Pastry Team. Oh, so these are all themed like um, the Flower Garden Festival from. Yeah. You have Epcot. the dragon. Mm -hmm. You have Chip and Dale. Mickey and Minnie Tokyo. That one's cool. I this like that one. This is one of our last chances of seeing these two because we're mm -hmm. all going to be gone soon. But I noticed um, a lot of the Grand Cottage stuff was ending like April 4th or April 3rd. Oh. So I don't know if that means those are gonna stay that long or if it means what, but. I don't know. If I'm not mistaken, aren't doing that 12 days away from 1900 Park Fair. 
Is that only oh, 12 days away? I guess it is only 12 we days. We should have a countdown yeah. on our Good Enjoyment TV. Mm -hmm. That'll be fun. We'll be there on um, April 10th for breakfast and dinner. Breakfast at 8 a.m., dinner at 4 p.m. And we'll have videos of both of those on the video channel for you guys to see. Oh, that's um, awesome, Jimmy. Experience. Have a great rest of your day. Happy Easter. Yeah, thanks so much for coming in. Enjoy the carrot cake. This place, Cape May, smells good. Smells good. I could have a good meal from there right now. I want to go back for breakfast one day. Yeah, they have I a know, character it's breakfast. It's a character meal, so it's a little pricier. But every time, like, one morning I came by here and I was walking by and, like, the characters were out. It looked fun. It looked like a good meal. I really want to go and make the mosaic of the five-legged goat. Yeah, we got to do that someday at um, Contemporary. Thank you. Thank you. Did they have a special shake here? They did. It's in the eggs. Ah. Uh, um, I think it's a carrot cake shake. Yeah, carrot cake milkshake. That's kind of fun. I like that as like a cupcake on top of the carrot cake. Mm hmm I think it's about fifteen dollars, but you get to keep the cup. And yeah, it's the like souvenir a huge cup. Carrot cake milkshake with a giant. But it's not a special Easter cup. It's the same yeah. cup that they have all the time, which is um. Interesting. That would be, that would be neat if they did have like a special cup for each of the. Oh, that's disappointing. Jeff did Cape May for dinner, and it wasn't as good as before. Oh, nice. Yeah, I really enjoyed it when we went for the buffet. So ever since they got rid of the the what are the crab legs? Yeah. Most people either love or hate it. Mm-hmm. And I know it kind of. I feel like it's one of those ones that's a little bit inconsistent too. Like where you could go one day. Everything's really fresh. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's tough. We need to go back and see. Yeah. Oh, welcome, Melanie. Hello, I'm new. I gave you a thumbs up and subscribe. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Melanie. We're so glad we could bring you along here today. Hopefully, you're having a great Friday so far. Yeah. Thanks for coming along. It's been great. We're having a very festive day here today. This smells good. We need to I come need to the Yonsman. I want to go to Crew Cup. Yeah. It's a really cool atmosphere in there. I love. It's kind of like a, um, kind of like almost log cabiny. Mm-hmm. Well, it's like a cruise quarters, like yeah. if you're on a ship. It's kind of well, dark and kind of. Mm-hmm. Let's see. They have. What was the thing? Oh yeah, the prime rib sliders. Yeah. Those so sound when good. Crew. Cruise Cup first reopened, they had purely the menu of the Yachtsman. Yachtsman had. And people were upset because yeah. Crew Cup always had a, they were known for their menu. Oh, can we stop here for a second? Yeah. Are you going to look at their Easter thing? I'll look at their Easter stuff. Oh, they're playing Wish. Oh, gosh. That's fun. So is everything like Wish themed? Experience the warm glow of campfire with complimentary oh, marshmallows. This. Themed games, photo ops, and a candy buffet. I'm sure. We we just stay here. Yeah. On oh, Sunday. Oh, that's so cool. All right then, and you when, can make your own wishing star. When are you off Sunday? I I work from like three thirty to or three fifteen to twelve or something. Uh, so. Well, you, I could save you some candy for the candy buffet. Thanks. Well, I mean the candy buffet starts at ten. Oh, that's true. So, ten a.m. Yeah. So technically, we could stay tomorrow night. I guess so, but I work late tomorrow night. Okay. I work 7 p.m. to 1 a.m. I want to, I mean, seriously, a candy buffet, that's like intriguing. Mm -hmm. Like, what, what does that look like? Sean, welcome, Sean. Staying at the Swan in December. How long does it take to walk from Ep to Epcot? Um, I would say... From there to Epcon, it's going to be a little bit... Well, it depends on how fast you walk. Yeah, I would say 15, 
10 to 15. Depends yeah. how fast. There is a boat though, so if you there don't is, want to yeah. walk. And there's a stomp at the um, Swan. You're kind of in the middle point though. Like if you wanted to get to Hollywood Studios, it's probably going to be the same distance to each park. Mm -hmm. So that's really nice because sometimes if you stay at Beach Club to get to Hollywood Studios, you have yeah. to walk a little bit. Or like longer. Boardwalk. Yeah. Let's go to the gift shop and get the um, fudge and then we'll decide from there what to do. Tom, welcome, Tom. Happy Easter. Oh, welcome. Welcome to the strand. That's the other problem. If you, ooh, I'm gonna grab this. Get this. Oh, is that the Easter, Easter stuff? stuff? Ah. That's so fun. I love when these resorts do something like this. Maybe I should come and watch Wish. Yeah, you could. Yeah. Do you want a drink? Oh, uh, I do. Yeah. Okay. So I'll get two drinks. Uh, I guess I could probably just get water. I don't care. You Look at all drink. the new food things that Blizzard yeah, is I want to go there. We could do a stream. Yeah, we could. Yeah, give me a drink, I guess. But from 10.30 to 12.30 here at the Yacht Club and Beach Club, for that matter, they're having a candy buffet, which I, I don't know. I, I just want to see what that is. I don't really, I mean, honestly, I could probably just, I probably don't need to have a candy buffet. I just want to see what it is. Like, that's intriguing. But Select Wish merchandise is now 40% off. So they, they made so much merchandise for this movie. And I guess this Magic Band, along with most of the other um, collections, are 40% off. The only exclusions are the Dooney and Burke, the limited edition pins, and all those, Alex and Annie, all those other things. So, for the most part, like, main Wish merchandise is 40% off at this point. Try and go this way. Oh, look at those ears. Oh, that's really fun. These are so cool. This is awesome. So these are ears for the Yacht Club. And they're like little, um, where is Matt? He needs to come see this. Come here. here grab your microphone. Here, I'll, I'll take this. I'm sorry. Okay, I put your microphone on. Look at these ears. Gosh. They're like the, um, whatever you call them. Like the life savers yeah. or life preservers. That's, so, or... that's great. That's good quality merchandise right there. Those are new. I haven't yeah. seen those before. We need a hat like that. That's very cool. Okay. Oh, the lounge fly matches too. That's great. That's nice. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. So now I made Matt hold everything. Let's go get a table. Okay. And then we can get drinks and... There's the carrot fudge itself. They do sell like little mini Easter bunnies you can buy too. So if you happen to want to kind of buy some Easter stuff, you can do so. I'm going to grab my cup and I'm going to go get a drink. Okay. Okay. Let me try and find some like really outrageous flavor. Something. They have mellow yellow zero. Oh, they have so many different things here. Let's see what flavors they have. Okay, that. There we go. 
Okay. Let's try to animate. Minute made zero sugar orange. Let's try that. And when you do buy a cup, you do get three refills in an hour. I got my drink. I'll get mine and I'll get okay. a um, fork or something. Okay. Doris, welcome, Doris. Let me see, I think a couple more people came in the chat. Podcast. Welcome. Hopefully you guys are doing good so far. Hopefully you're having a good day so far. And Space Your Birth. Welcome Space Your Birth. Hopefully you're doing good. Okay. Well, I'm going to try my drink. Matt is going to do whatever. For those of you coming in, here's a look at the snack we're going to try. We'll talk more about it in a second once Matt gets back. But as of now, if you guys are joining us, we are celebrating Easter by going around trying some Easter snacks. So Matt will be back in a second. Be sure. Stay tuned. Lots of Easter stuff. There we go. It's upside down and crinkled up, but still. Epcot for me. Welcome Epcot for me. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a good day so far. Matt went to go get his drink, and when he comes back, he's going to try out one of the things for us. What do you get? Yep. Your snack. Yep. Okay. I think it's different per resort. What? Like when they, whenever, sometimes it says three refills per hour. Sometimes it says nothing. Sometimes it says oh. Sometimes it'll give you like a time. Yeah. It never, it never makes sense. It seems like whenever I try a different one, they always change it on me. Mm-hmm. But for those of you joining us here, we do have our special Easter celebration food item which is the chocolate fudge it is chocolate fudge or carrot fudge sorry it is chocolate fudge with a carrot cookie on top yeah so i don't know it's not like carrot flavored i think it's just more carrot inspired with like a carrot on top of it yeah, carrot on top of it pretty much i don't know it's like a sugar cookie with like decorated yeah, I like, like a cookies. carrot. It looks I don't like. really like fudge, but I don't know. Can open it. What so, drink did you get? I got cherry vanilla pib zero. Hmm. Is it good? Yeah. What'd you get? Um Minute Made Zero Sugar Orange. Gosh. You know like um McDonald's, they mm -hmm. have like the orange high seat. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like that. All right. Do you want me to flip it on you? Yeah, let me. Yeah. There we go. That's better. Let me try to pick it up so I can give you guys a good look at it. So it's literally just a chunk of fudge <laughs> with a. Um, carrot shaped sugar cookie. Well this will be top. a good one to take home though too. Because yeah. Like, it's just fudge. Let me try and cut a piece off of yeah. it. It's hard because you have to cut through the cookie and then the fudge too. This cookie doesn't want to be cut through. I don't, I, I guess maybe I'll just take a bite of it. Oh now the cookie's coming off. There you go. Let me see oh, yeah. if I can... Like, cut off a piece of the fudge and then, like, maybe break off a piece of the cookie and just eat them together. 
Because I feel like you have to get both of them. Like, it's what it is. Is it hard? The fudge is hard to cut. Not as hard as the cookie, but... Now I got fudge all over me. All right. Yep, so this is called the Market at Own Compass. So it's like the quick service restaurant here at the Yacht Club. So we have your cookie, you have your fudge. kind of weird together. Does it have any like carrot cake flavor? Like carrot flavor? I don't think so, no. No? The fudge just tastes like chocolate fudge. And the cookie tastes like the cookie? Uh-huh. Okay. I don't love it. Is the fudge itself good? Yeah, I mean, it's just fudge. fudge. Yeah. I don't okay. eat a lot of the fudge. Okay. Well, how would you rank it out of five? I, I wouldn't. I don't think I'd get it again. Yeah. I think it's more of a novelty. Like, they had to get something east around, mm -hmm. and they had fudge, and they said, oh, well, let me put a cookie on top. If you like fudge, you'll probably like this. I don't really care for fudge, so I don't want it. Yeah. So, okay. that's all I have to say about that. Well, for those joining us, do you want to explain the egg for us? As I get it out? So the egg is a very festive go. egg. It's a giant gold egg, and inside of the giant gold egg is a bunch of tiny eggs, and each of the tiny eggs has something on it, some snack, some activity, location, some location, challenge, some goofy different thing things to do. around Disney World, so, so we're just drawing them and seeing where we end up. Our next egg is going to send us over to Hollywood Studios, mm -hmm. but we're kind of drawing ahead so we kind of know what we're going to go to afterwards, so we can have like a plan yeah. in our head of what we're doing. So should I draw this one? Yeah, might as well. Can you draw it? You're better. Okay. You well, better can one? I just draw it from yeah. there? Well, now if I draw a bad one, it's, you're going to blame well, me. I blame you if this is a bad works. one. That's how it works, no. Oh, sounds good, Kenny. Have a good day. So if we redraw one, then we get to choose? Like if we draw something we already drew, then I get to choose what we do. Yeah, yeah. That's how it works. Yeah. I drew the carrot fudge. So there's two Wait. of each of them. Okay. Um, and I drew the other carrot fudge, so. Okay, well that's, that's. That means I get yeah, to choose. Yeah, that's a, um. Easter miracle. And if you get that, it's an Easter miracle, so you get to choose what we do. So mm -hmm. what are we gonna do after that? I don't know, I gotta think about it. Okay. Thanks so, so much for coming in, Kenny. Yeah, thank we'll you, see you so next much, time. Kenny. Have a good day. We're glad we can bring you along here today. I put this in here. Okay. So we'll go to Hollywood Studios. We'll stop at the boardwalk along the way. Mm -hmm. Look at the um, cake bake shop or something, and then, is that good? Yep. Okay. Is there a stream later? There's not another stream later. This is the stream. Yep. The stream will not end. It'll continue however long we decide to continue it. And then there will be another one tomorrow morning. Okay. Well, I will take this. All right. Do you want to package up the fudge? Yeah. Oh, Rick Russell, welcome. Oh, Rick. Welcome, Rick. Hopefully you're doing good today. Welcome to our Easter extravaganza. We're having a great time just going around, enjoying some different things. It's been an awesome night here tonight. Okay, so can you take care of, can you have the egg too? Yeah. Egg? Okay. I might get some more drink real quick. Okay, that's fine. If you want to go look at the egg display or if you want to go back to the store. I'm going to go store, over to the store for a second. Wherever you want to go. Oh, did you see all the Wish merchandise or most of the Wish merchandise is 40% off? 40, yeah. yeah. I, didn't, I heard about it. So you can buy little Easter bunnies. Which I think this, is, this is great. We should have put this on the wheel, on the egg or whatever. But you do have like little chocolate eggs. You have a chocolate Easter bunny. And then, of course, you have the thing we just got, which was the carrot fudge, which 
personally, when you hear carrot fudge, you think, oh, what is this thing? But really what it was, it was just chocolate fudge with a giant carrot on top. Just a cookie. So, that being said, if you are staying here, if you do have like a resort mug or something, they do have all the different coffee and things you can use for along with hot water. So if you want to make hot chocolate, they have Joffrey's hot chocolate. They have tea, which is pretty good. So basically everything you could need here, which works pretty good. Just a cupcake. Just a normal cupcake. Okay. You got your drink? Mm-hmm. All right. Katarina, welcome, Katarina. Oh, welcome. Hopefully you're doing good. Hopefully you're having a good day so far. Welcome to our fun Easter extravaganza. Yeah. It's, it's been, been good. a very We've festive been day. Very festive. Going all over the place. It's truly been a historic day. You want to go outside over here? Yeah, let's go this way. Nicole, welcome, Nicole. Hopefully you're doing good. Let's go outside. I love the smell in this resort. I feel like it does have like a different smell compared to um, Beach Club. Yeah, it does. Like they're both distinct enough. It's similar smell, but yeah, this one's like, um, more potent. Yeah, it's like more... Kind of fresher too, kind of like more. Yeah. Where my dog, where my dog, where my dog. All right. Oh, Katarina said the fudge looked stale. Was it still? It could have been. <laughs> you didn't seem to like it. They all looked the same, so. Disney Kim, welcome Disney Kim. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a good day so far. We are currently, with our next destination being Hollywood Studios, we are currently just walking around, yeah. enjoying some resorts, enjoying some different places. So if you are coming in, please do not forget, make sure you do hit that like button. Enjoy the stream, don't forget to subscribe. And um, yeah, we're just having a great time here tonight. We appreciate you guys coming along. So you want to make a stop at them? Um, you think we could? Yeah. I feel like it's kind of a long. We'll go up the hill. Yeah. We'll go to boardwalk and then we can loop by the pool and then go. Oh, okay. The yeah. Walkway. That works. Might as well. Hatbox Mike, welcome, Mike. Oh, hello. And Helen's here. Welcome, Helen. Hopefully you guys are doing good. Yeah. Thanks so much for being here with Adam us. Adam asks a good question. What's that? Can I bring my yacht to yacht club? I wish so. I wish you could. You can get a boat. I don't, I don't think you can rent these pontoon boats, can you? I think you can. Can you? Let's look at the sign over here. I know you can do a um, firework cruise out of here. Oh, that's awesome, Katarina. Katarina is watching as I'm stuffing 50 plastic eggs with prizes for my kids. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Go over here and um, investigate. Oh, it's like outdoor backyard Easter egg hunt. That sounds fun. Oh, that would be great. Oh, hey, Thomas. Welcome to the stream. You know what we should do? What's that? We should get a room at like All Star. Mm -hmm. And we, you should fill it with Easter eggs and like hide them everywhere. And I should find them all. If I find them all, I get to go get my my mug over at Epcot. I don't know about and that. And that could be a stream. We could take the stream there. We could have an evening stream tomorrow, too. Maybe. I work tomorrow evening. Well, I could do it. That's the point. That's why you're going to um, hide them. Yeah, look, $49 for 30 minutes. That's not that bad. 10 guests maximum. Must be 18 years old to operate. And then you can also do two-hour fishing excursions. You have your boating license. So I do, yeah. You're all set. And then... Firework cruises. The firework cruises, I feel like, aren't that bad of a deal if you can get yeah, a good yeah. amount of people. Four forty-nine divided by ten. I feel like you can definitely um, seat ten people too. Yeah. Like I feel like. Yeah. 
you can definitely get 10 people on it, mm-hmm. which is pretty cool. Yeah. And then um, it includes, like, non-alcoholic, like, Coke, Diet Coke, Sprite, water. And then they'll have, like, chips and cookies and stuff. Rice Krispie treats. Oh, look at I'd like to do that painting. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I feel like that looks pretty simple. Like that. Yeah, yeah. I'm not good at art, but that doesn't look like it would be that hard. Wally. Gosh. Yeah. They were playing Wally at the Contemporary. Though. Yeah. Too. That was fun. It was great. So, um, Jules S. Um, we got to meet up with Jules. And Mark. Mark, Todd, and Michelle from Traveling Around Disney. Mm-hmm. And we all got to meet up and we got to do a firework cruise the other day. Yeah, out um, of um, Contemporary. And it was great. We had just finished a stream and we were trying to make a video. But we were just exhausted. Mm-hmm. So um, we didn't have like a full video on it, but... It was great. We got to do some things. If you guys want to look at it, Todd made a video. Yeah, he did. But it was a very cool experience. And yeah, those, those firework tours are incredible. They're a lot of fun. That was our second one. We did one with um, Ken Weber and his family one time. Yeah, that was, as that well. was fantastic. But it's pretty cool. You, you board the boat. There's snacks, there's drinks. And they kind of give you like a tour of the area first yeah, and yeah. then you kind of eventually make your way for fireworks. You're on the boat for about two hours. And so you get on it a little while before the fireworks. And then if you're going the one at Epcot, they take you under the bridge, over that bridge over by, between France and UK, mm-hmm. they put your, your boat under that bridge and you literally watch fireworks at the foot of World Showcase Lagoon. Mm-hmm. So that's probably like the best like you get everything there, but from what I under, from what I understand, that one's hard to yeah. It sells, get. There's not that many boats. I think really there's quickly. only eight boats that can do it. <coughs> Brian, welcome, Brian. Happy Friday. Hopefully you're doing good. Um. Oh no. What? Brian says to fill the eggs with pickles. Well, let's do that then. No. You could fit a pickle in that giant egg we have. Probably, yeah. Well, Amy, welcome, Amy. Oh, welcome. We are on our way over to um, the Boardwalk Resort. Do you mind if we switch for a minute? Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna grab a water. Okay. I'm gonna make a liquid IV. The drink I got, it was it was fine, but like those drinks don't really quench you very much. Nice. It quenched me just fine. Okay. This hill is kind of steep. It is, yeah. This is the hill that um you almost. Oh, I jumped out of the yeah. ferry bike. We were going, we were about to get up this up to this hill on the Surrey bike. And we had the camera attached to the front of the Surrey bike and it started to fall off and goo jumped off while I was well, still that was, that pedaling. Was just, that was my natural reaction. Why did you keep pedaling when I jumped off? That's my question. Well, I stopped once I saw you jump off, but I don't know. It was a crazy experience. Oh, when we did our St. Patrick's Day stream, it's nice to Swan and Dolphin. Yeah. That was fun. We should look at Swan and Dolphin because they have 30% off for pass holders right now. Oh, interesting. Oh, Greg did the um, Epcot Firework Cruise. Highly recommend. Oh, awesome. We'll have to try to do it sometime. Yeah, I've, I've heard good things about it. Like, apparently it's very hard to get. Like, people yeah. book months out. Mm-hmm. That would be fun to do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> He was drinking water. Here's jelly rolls.
cake bake shop looks like it's coming along nicely. I feel like it's it's looked like this for a while now, though. Yeah, I guess it like, kind of like it went from zero to a hundred, and then, and it, then just it just stopped. slammed on. Maybe they're doing yeah. stuff inside. I don't know. It could be. Now that they have the windows up, that's a pretty big. Like yeah. the doors look like they're up too. Maybe they're waiting for some kind of inspections or something. Yeah. Well, if you guys are joining us here today, welcome to our fun Easter Easter extravaganza. We've been going around. We start off over at Magic Kingdom. We took a boat to Wilderness Lodge. We looked around there. We took a bus to Epcot. We walked through Epcot. Mm -hmm. We walked to Yacht Club, Beach Club, now Boardwalk. And then afterwards, we're going to be heading to Hollywood Studios, too. So be sure to stay tuned. Oh, up here on our right is the site of Big River which nice. is currently closed. I hope they put something there soon. Oh, the dolphin has a better lobby, but the swan just renovated their rooms. So oh. they have wood floor. We need to stay there, that would be Yeah, fun. the swan would be good then. We'll have to look into it. Dolphin is more grand. Yeah. And you have the bigger pool, I think. But you can use the pool. Mm -hmm. Like all, if you're staying at any of the Swan or Dolphin resorts, so even Swan Reserve. Yeah, we stayed at the Swan Reserve. That was nice. You can use all the pools between those, mm -hmm. all the that you ever shared. Including the restaurants, too. So you could, like, just walk across. We're going to pay for our Disneyland hotel before we go booking more extra stays random places are these ears children sized i wish they made these adult i guess are they the same i don't know hold on i'm stand by yeah they're youth i would wear these what do you think of that i like the the tail yeah the tail is fun i think those are the best They're not making Don't custom ones here, are they? Yeah, no, it doesn't look like it. Oh, welcome, Ken Weber. Oh, Ken Weber, welcome, Ken. How have you been doing? Welcome to the stream. Here's all the... So does that mean that basket is all 40% off? I kid? don't know, I guess so. All the Wish stuff is, is now 40% off, and additional discounts apply. So if you're a pass holder at DVC, you'll get an additional 20% off. That's wild. They had so much stuff. Like, I don't know if they were just expecting it to be a huge success or if they really thought, like, oh, this merchandise is going to give it more well, advertising. I feel like but they, they kind of, because I've said it before, and then um, we weren't even talking about it, but Todd said the same thing. All these movies that they keep coming out with, they release them, and then they're huge successes, and then, like... A year later, they'll start like coming out with merchandise and meet and greets and all kinds of things. That's what, that's what they did with Moana and Kanto. So I think they thought that it was going to be a huge success, well, and they wanted to get a jump on it. And well, it to just, be fair with that equation, and Kanto wasn't a huge success at first. Well, none of them really were. But then, that was kind of like... It well, got a lot in of Kanto, I remember Plus. it was pretty big at first. People liked it. People loved the music. That was all I heard about after it came but out then, for a long time was the music. But then it didn't really get too much, and then it went on Disney Plus, and everyone was like, oh, look at this movie. Well, that, that's just because nobody wanted to see things in theaters when they could see it on Disney Plus for free. Yeah, I guess so. Or not for free, but included with their subscription. Look at these Those little solid milk chocolate eggs. Oh, look at this Easter pin. Pin? Oh, that's, that's fun. On. That's cool. Okay. That I is... think I saw a different one, or maybe it's the same one, but hmm. that, one, that one's Yeah, that one's cool. neat. I like the back end. For DVC members, you have a new corksicle mm -hmm. to go with this new thing. Oh, that's pretty look cool. Look at the ornament. That's pretty cool. And the pins. I like this deep. I like the new collection. Oh, look at the, um, it's like the army men. Yeah. 
This is my favorite. I like that Mickey. You also have a lounge fly with like all the different, it's kind of a weird design, but like, I like that it goes into detail showing every single one. Mm -hmm. But that's kind of cool. It's like a map. It has like all the different DVC resorts around yeah. the world. This makes me want to go on a cruise. Yeah. Seeing Mickey sitting there like that. Nice guy. Nice guy. Yeah, that's true. Not yeah. a lot of people were going to theaters when Encanto that's came true. out because yeah. it was still. The ap apples look good. You shocked me. I keep seeing those. Um, like pecan clusters, and um, I get excited because I think oh, a praline sounds good, and then I remember it's not a praline. We need to go to oh, um, look, this, this, the um, movie is sponsored by M and M. I'm sure. I wonder if they're gonna give M and M's to everyone watching See, it. See, that would be cool. That would be, I wouldn't be surprised. I would be happy with that. Yeah, it and there's the campfire. So weird, uh, one of the eggs here says to go get a slice of pizza from the boardwalk. Ma. Which I would, I would gladly try. I know Boardwalk Pizza Window, it's not like five out of five pizza, but it's compar comparatively to all the other pizza on Disney property, mm -hmm. it's like, it's decent. It's decenter. Oh, welcome, Kenneth. Oh, Kenneth, welcome, Kenneth. Hopefully you're doing good. And um, Richard this year as well. Hi, right, Richard. Hope you're doing good as well. Yeah, boardwalk area is incredible. We need to stay at the boardwalk. Yeah, we do. So sometimes being that we're local, like sometimes we're, we're a little bit more flexible with like resort stays. Yeah. And like sometimes we can get very good deals on hotels. Every once in a while we'll Every find once in a while. good last minute deals. So or like... It's always fun to just go and like stay there. Mm -hmm. You have all the transportation kind of like a little mini vacation but i'll say like now that we're in like the heart of spring break everything's kind of pricier yeah even yeah. during um last you know that week when nobody was here mm -hmm. everything was still everything kind of... was still expensive because it technically was during spring break mm -hmm. I was just trying to oh. get to one side. Sorry. Ethan, welcome, Ethan. Hopefully you're doing good. Oh yeah, the, the creepy clown. Yeah. At the boardwalk. I missed the creepy clown. Yeah. I wish it would have been at um the Lakeland Antique Mall so we could have gotten it. <laughs> What would you do with it? I you always know. get mad at me. One time I was at the Lakeland Antique Mall and they had a chair from the wave. And I was like, oh, I need this chair. It's only $20. Well, and they you said, do where it? are you going to put it? Where yeah, you where would you it? put that? I don't know. You can always use a good chair. If we could have gotten the creepy clown at the Lakeland Antique Mall, I yeah. would have gotten a storage unit to keep it in. I'm, sure. I'm not going to get a storage unit for one chair. Well, one of the things that at the Antique Mall, if anyone's ever been to the Wave or remembers the Wave, it was a strange restaurant. It was at the like, Contemporary um, yeah. where Steakhouse 71 is right now. They had like all the art, like all the art on the wall was like zoomed in pictures of like fruit. Mm -hmm. Like grainy, yeah, there was, blurry pictures. It was fun, like it was great. They had like a giant pomegranate on the wall. Mm -hmm. You had like all these different things, like a tomato. And it was great, like it was really cool. Like I see that, I'm like, oh, this is the wave. Steakhouse 71 comes, they replace it with more logical um, art, like the monorail. Yeah. But I was in the antique mall one time and they had 
one of the um, arts, one of the vegetables or fruits or whatever it was on the mm -hmm. wall. And I wanted to get in and Matt got mad at me. I think it was on one of our videos, actually. I think we filmed it. The one time we found something at one of those places that makes sense was the um, at the Forever Vintage. We got that barrel. Yeah, that was cool. Um, so if you ever stayed in one of the pirate rooms or you saw pictures or videos of one of the pirate rooms at Caribbean Beach, it's not there anymore. Now there's some bland looking Little Mermaid. It's not that bad. It is. It's, it's blander. Um, well, either way, it was very cool. Everything was like wood and like looked pirate shippy. It was and cool. There yeah, was, the, the side were tables cool. were like barrels. And they had one of those at Forever Vintage like the for $100. Yeah, yeah, the nightstand. So we so got we one of those. So we bought one for our apartment, which is mm -hmm. pretty cool. But yeah, apparently, it, like the Lakeland Antique Mall gets everything. Or the Forever Vintage gets everything. Yeah, Forever Vintage gets good stuff. They got some of the cabins from <laughs> Fort Wilderness. I always said, like, if I could get one of those cabins, I would live in that cabin. Mm -hmm. Like, that's all I need. Ken said he was going to get one and retire in it. Yeah. Lucille, welcome. Welcome. Hopefully you're doing good here today. Welcome to the walkway over to Hollywood Studios. Watch Connection. Is the tennis courts. Yeah, I'm it, watching is it. Is it good? It's, Should we buffer it? Uh, I think it's too late to buffer if we're okay. going to buffer because it's like fluctuating right now, but it's not bad. Okay. The frame rate's dropping a little bit, but we're once we cross the bridge, we'll be good. Yeah. So I if think we do have any connection issues, it's yeah. normally right here between here and the bridge. So if it dips a little bit, just bear with us. We will be back. I don't we'll think we'll like lose it completely, soon. but it might get a little bit more. Yeah. Like cutty. Yeah. You know what I think we should do? What's that? We should go to Hollywood Studios. It's your choice, like the next choice once mm -hmm. we get there is your choice. But I think what we should do, I should hand you the stabilizer mm -hmm. and I go get to watch One Man's Dream. And then after I'm done, I take the stabilizer and you get to go Not watch sure. One Man's Dream. Maybe. Because they refurbish the seats. Yeah. I don't think you can film in there. I don't but think like, so. Welcome, Dr. Random. Oh, Dr. Random. Welcome, Dr. Random. Welcome. Hopefully you're doing good. Glad you could join us on our fun park hopping, resort hopping, whatever this day is. Festive extravaganza. It's been yeah. a good day so far. Very festive Easter stream here. With festive eggs and festive necklaces and festive treats. Disappointing carrot fudge. <laughs> One of these days we're gonna be walking here and I'm just gonna make a hard left and go up there and just walk and see where it takes me. <laughs> I know where it goes, but I wanna like actually You're just walk not gonna up there. tell me we're gonna be walking to the boardwalk and yeah. you're just gonna take the hard left and Well for walking to the boardwalk that would be a hard right, but Okay. Well Okay, whatever same, you're saying. Same difference. Yeah, same difference, same. What's the, what's the opposite of difference? Probably. Similarity? I, I don't guess know. so. Did you eat anything? We ate before the stream. Yeah, we ate a little bit before the stream. Like, I'm open to eating food. If the wheel wills it so, yeah. or if the egg wills it. We went to contemporary. And we got some snacks before the stream started. I find personally for me, I'm in a better mood during the stream if I eat before the stream. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should wake up early tomorrow and make eggs. You should. Before our rope drop stream. Mm -hmm. What should we rope drop tomorrow? That's a good question. We normally rope drop Magic Kingdom on Saturdays. Well, I mean, like, what ride should we rope oh. drop? Oh, I don't know. Um, it'll probably have to be something 
Frontierland, Adventureland, Liberty yeah, Square. Yeah, because, because all the other area. Um, if you don't know, if you don't have a resort so reservation. At Magic Kingdom, at all the parks, you get, if you're staying in a Disney resort, you get an early entry half an hour before everyone else into the parks. Um, but at Magic Kingdom, it's only half the park. Tomorrow Lane and Fantasy Lane. So by the time the normal non-Disney resort stayers get in, the lines are already too long for that. Yeah. Like, so if you are trying to rope drop Magic Kingdom, it is very wise to try and do something in Liberty Square, Frontierland, or Adventureland. So I know Jungle Cruise is a popular one, Pirates. Um, I feel like anything would be a good choice tomorrow just because it's gonna be so busy. Yeah. I was gonna, at first I was thinking we should get Genie Plus tomorrow, but then I remember that's probably gonna be $39 well, a one person. one of us could get Genie Plus. Yeah. And if we, we talked hand about, the stabilizer off. we have two stabilizers. Oh, and we talked right, yeah. about, we'll go and one, one of us, of us and the other one can walk around. And then um, once, whoever's waiting in line, once they get to like where they're gonna get on the ride, we can just end the stream on, pause the stream on the one phone and restart yeah, like it on the other. Yeah, send it over to him. Because I know personally for me, and I think I speak for you guys too, waiting in line during streams isn't the top thing to do. Yeah. <coughs> Ever seen a gator in the water while walking? Not here. You'd think I would. Yeah. There's signs everywhere, but no. Oh, welcome, Megan. Oh, Megan, welcome, Megan. Hopefully you're doing good. Hopefully you're having a good day so far. Also, welcome to Gary. Welcome, Gary. Oh, hello. No, we don't need turkey legs. Diana will be staying at Contemporary later this year, and they'll try the newer Steakhouse 71. They remember when it was Concourse Steakhouse years oh. ago. Oh, that's awesome. I guess that's before fun. the wave, even. And before that, it was an arcade. Yeah. Or a movie theater or yeah, something. Yeah, something like that. Karen, welcome, Karen. Oh, hello. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the walkway to Hollywood Studios. Hopefully you're doing good. Yeah, that is true. So if you are early entering, the best way to do it is kind of double dip. Mm -hmm. So like get Peter Pan or one of those, and then right when it turns seven or whatever, eight or nine yeah. or whatever it opens, you run to Haunted Mansion because it's right there. <coughs> but you gotta get there early to do that because the other day we did early entry and even with early entry, we still waited however long for um, Mine Train. Yeah. Well, Peter Pan was also closed, so I don't know if that would have changed. baby ducks. Gosh. Those are small. Yeah, very small. Nice duck. kind of Easter themed. <laughs> yeah, so that's Tower of Terror over there. I can't see because the sun's right yeah, there. Yeah, I can't see anything over there, but Tower of Terror is <coughs> to our right, along with the um, Phantasmic Theater. Sometime if you're walking this the way. The Hollywood Hills Amphitheater, get it yeah. right. Well, yeah. you can, sometimes during the day, you can hear them playing the music, you can hear them practicing. Yeah, when they, oh, that, that's always fun. I remember before Phantasmic came back. Yeah, we could hear I them. I was walking through here and they were doing one of their rehearsals. Mm -hmm. The Hollywood Hills Amphitheater. Want a snack? Oh, they have cookies. Oh, the mini sandwich cream cookies. Those oh, are pretty the, good. Um, oh, the class. That's a good cookie. Yeah. I've, I've gotten that before, not from this <laughs> vending machine, but Should like I get one? when I'm working. I wonder how much it is. Is it 505? No, that's the. I know, but five. Yeah, that's the number. Four dollars. It's okay. But yeah, if you want a cookie and you don't want to go in the park, <laughs> that's a decent cookie. 
Say you don't have a perk ticket and you, you just want to get a cookie. You still want a Disney snack. You could come park here and then get a cookie from the vending machine. There you go. Technically, I've, I've never seen that cookie anywhere not Disney, so I would consider it a Disney snack. Yeah. I think I found them on Amazon one time. Remember the cookies they have for the Halloween party or the Christmas party parties? Mm -hmm. And they're like um, a brand, so you can like order them online. Yeah, yeah. Those cookies. Good. I, I like, like those the chocolate cookies. chip ones. I think I found them online, and I did the math for how many cookies you have to gather at the Halloween party or at the Christmas party to get your money's worth just in cookies. Yeah. And it wasn't that many. I think it was like seventy. Yeah, that would be fun. Yeah. We should try and do it. We'll have to go to the whole, or the Christmas party this year. We didn't do it last year. We just did Halloween. Oh, so when Rhonda did Peter Pan and Haunted Mansion, mm -hmm. we did 20 minutes for Peter Pan and then walked on to Haunted Mansion. So it was about, or kind of walked on. Yeah. In total, it was 30 minutes for both rides, oh, okay. which is pretty good. Early entry does sound fun. I like early entry. It's kind of chaotic though. Mm -hmm. You have to be up early though. Remember extra magic hours? Yeah. Those were the... You used to, so they do extended the evening hours days. now. And it only works for if you're staying at the deluxe resort. But it used to be extra magic hours and it was for everyone staying at Disney resorts. It was the same exact thing, it was just... So extra magic hours could happen in the morning, they could happen at night. Oh, that's true, so, so you didn't always have early entry. Yeah. So now every single day there's early entry if you're staying at any resort regardless. But only deluxe resorts so get. So it's kind of a different format, but... Mm -hmm. You still get something, which is... I think it's good. So when we get up here to security, we will have to put the Be Right Back screen on because we cannot film security. But we will get through. We'll be right back, as the screen will say. And we'll be in Hollywood Studios. You want to put the screen on now? Yeah, I can put it on right now. And then we should probably switch this phone soon. It's on red. OK. Yeah, that's the other thing. If you did extra magic hours, you also got, it was more than 30 minutes. It was like an hour. Mm -hmm. Thirty minutes isn't enough time. Yeah, I agree. But at um, Tokyo Disneyland, it's only fifteen minutes. Thank you. Yeah. Tokyo Disneyland is strange, though. Like, every single time... Well, I think the appeal there is also you go in a different entrance. So yeah. you don't have to wait in the big crowd. But Tokyo is every... Like, you think, oh, maybe it's a little bit less crowded than Disney World. Mm -hmm. Every video or everything I see of Tokyo, everyone's saying, oh, it's so busy. Mm -hmm. But they also have, like... Um, it seemed like they're... Like, lightning lanes are kind of different there. Like, if you book a vacation package, you can get, like, entry to certain rides without having a lightning lane. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Well, welcome to Hollywood Studios, everybody. It's been a good day. Let's go over here for a second. Let's kind of go maybe one of these trash cans. And let's draw another egg. Okay. So we can go. Let's go over there. Up there by the trash cans. Yeah. That's my always my area to go at Hollywood Studios. This can right here, maybe? Yep, that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to draw this one just because it occurred to me. 
if you draw it and it says get useless junk, uh -huh. you get to get the useless junk. So I need to make it fair. So I need to draw a good one. Okay. I don't think it's going to be a carrot fudge. So if you don't know what we're doing, um, we have this giant golden egg and it is full of a bunch of a hundred little paper eggs and they each have something different on them. Get this snack, go to this place, do this thing. And so whatever it tells us to do. Tell me what to stop. Stop. <laughs> I'm sure. Buy useless junk. This there is great. Go. Okay. So you get to do your first thing first because mm -hmm. it's your, but I get to put this thing. Hold on. And these are stickers so we can take them out and like put them on the egg to show like all the different things we did all day. Yeah. So. Yeah, there, there you, go. you go. Awesome. Well, I got my useless junk and I did not cheat. I did not look. I think you did. No, I didn't. Five shots of Beverly for cheating. What? Should we go in the dark room? Yep. Yeah, let's go over there. Oh, look at Minnie. Oh, hi, Minnie. Welcome back. Oh, wait, 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 come back here. Uh, let's buffer before we go in. Okay. Oh, hold on. We're at 13. Oh. Should we switch? Yeah, let's switch. Should we yeah. just go right here? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So we are gonna take a second. Um, the phone that we're streaming on currently, the battery is getting low. Not to worry, we have a second phone we can switch to that is fully charged. It'll just take us a second to, um, to switch. Look at the gas station. Gosh. Go look at it. Are you gonna go get some gas? Is that gonna be your useless junk? No. No, I take my useless junk very seriously. Okay. So let me make sure the Wi-Fi is off because we can't afford for that to happen. Oh, welcome, TL. Oh, welcome. How are you doing today? I just turned the Wi-Fi off and it turned back on. Okay. Nice. Do you want to put the B-Rite back on really yeah. quick? And then we'll do it very quickly. Okay, everyone, we will be right back, as the sign says. Stay tuned. Go. All right. Let me hold it and see. Yeah, I think that looks Yeah, I think fine. that looks good. Okay. You take that. The sign's off. You turned it off. I turned it off, yeah. Okay, do you want a buffer before we go in the store? Come on. Let me see. That's better, okay. Okay. All right, we're, we're going to turn the buffer on. This store is kind of laggy, so we just want to give a little bit of extra support. Okay. Should okay. be good. Fig five, welcome. We're having a lot of fun here today. We're so glad we can bring you all along for yeah. all the fun. Oh, Nilo is here. Welcome, Nilo. Hello, Nilo. Let Hello. us know if we have lag. Just say the word lag, and we will evacuate. See much new over here. I like this phone case. I wish they made it for my phone. They don't make any cases for my phone. I have a weird phone. I want to look at the hats. Okay. I'm looking for the new um, small world ears too, if we see those. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Oh, look at these. Um... Oh, yeah, I've seen those. Those are fun. You know that um, bag that um, Chomps gave away during the 20th yeah, year yeah. 
they matched that, so it's like the same style. Well, those weren't, there was a different one that matched them, but it was the same idea. Those are nice. Okay. Not too much new over here. Oh, look at the Sorcerer Mickey. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. All these ones are cool. The goofy one. I like this over here. These are all like Hollywood themed. So there's Chip and Dale. Oh, yeah, that's pretty fingers. cool. Fingers, Sorcerer Mickey with the dragon. Director Mickey. Yeah. Is that Donald with a bird on this? Yeah, it looks like Donald with a parrot. Okay. I don't know why, but... Maybe it's Tiki Room. Maybe that's what I'm saying. Is this a candle? I guess so. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's a, um, oh, coconut scented, pineapple coconut scented. It smells, oh, it smells pretty good. good. I yeah. like that. It's a nice candle. That is going to set you back. Jordan, welcome, Jordan. $34.99. So I did not see it on the wall then, but I know there is one, so I'm not sure if they have it right now. What do you say? Um, Jordan was asking if there was the Donald Magic Band. I didn't oh, see it, no, but I, I know there it. is one around. Here's the... Oh, that's, that's 40% cool, off. That's a cool ornament. Yeah. 40% off. That's cool. Yeah, all this is all the Disney Eats stuff over there. I do really like this plate set, though. Like, this looks like something you'd have. Yeah. You know, like a kid's plate set? Mm -hmm. Like, you know where it'd have, like, the thing for the... It looks like, like you side. would go to, like, a Disney restaurant, and yeah, that's, like, the yeah. kid's plate that they would have. Like, that's cool. It's $35 for four of them. I'm, yeah. I would love to eat my meals off of that. Okay. Not too much else in here. You can turn the buffer off. Okay. Give me one second. Exactly, Megan. If we were at Epcot, I could buy my orange juice squeezer thing. Yeah. Well, that's why we came to Epcot. Or we went to Epcot first. So that there would be less of a chance. Yeah, that's true. I saw those. So... Three Cabarros. Mm -hmm. They have ears over at Disneyland, and yeah. they light up. Yeah, I saw those, those? Yeah. yeah. They look cool. Can we go in the um, Keystone Club here? Yeah. After a second. There we go. Maybe my useless junk I should buy should be that $100 um, Indiana Jones. I'm sure. <laughs> no, I'm not going to buy it. That's cool though, it's like the, um, the golden idol. Mm -hmm. Dan, welcome, Dan. Oh, welcome. Here, let me show you the merchandise in question. That's pretty cool. You got a discount on it. Yeah. Pretty fun, I'm glad it's still here, I know. When it first came out, I was like, oh, that's cool. But, like, maybe it'll eventually be in the outlet. Like, if it goes to the outlet, that'd be a pretty cool thing to have. It's, like, full detail weighted. Pretty cool. I do like this hat. Didn't you get it? Yeah, I have it, which is very cool. Welcome in, Jordan. Jeff says, any rides, alien saucers? I don't know. Let's let's go look at some wait times. Let me look at, yeah, let yeah. me check the wait times. Oh, Jeff is full of wisdom. What's that? Goo needs a lightsaber. Gosh. Well, you have a lightsaber. I built a lightsaber years back. I kind of wish I got the other one. Um, they have a really cool one. It's like wooden, mm -hmm. and you can build so we'll it. Go this way, and yeah, let's go. Pay look respects at Gertie. to Gertie. The but lightsaber experience is expensive. Yeah, it's expensive, but it's cool. Like it's a really cool experience. Oh, um, that's right. Hongu and Vine got a new menu. I like their outfits. Yeah, their spring the new, outfits. Yeah, their spring outfits. Let me see wait times. But one of the. Um, so when you build your lightsaber, mm -hmm. you're given like an option between different types of yeah. like material you can choose. And one of them is like more 
it's like a wooden lightsaber. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of cool. So with the exception of all like the shows and things that we can't see, um, the shortest wait time is Runaway Railway at 45 minutes. Okay. And then, I don't know why that's so low. Maybe they were closed Wait, and they about, reopened. Um, I'm just curious about Star Tours. Well, Star Tours is 10 minutes, but okay, we can't. Yeah, we can't. They say no know. filming. Star Tours is weird because, okay, so here's the problem. I've never been on it where they said, oh, put that away. Yeah. But one time I've been on it and the cast member just said, oh, everyone, don't forget, no filming, no do this. And at that point, I said, okay, well, I, I just want to just want to don't want to do anything wrong here so i just left and i asked the cast member and they said oh i mean technically it's in the spiel none of us really care you can yeah. go ahead like no one's gonna yeah. stop you but you're not supposed to but then i kind of thought okay well i'll just respect their policy i won't film it that being said one time i went a couple of years later and i asked them and they said oh yeah you can film no problem hmm. so i don't really know for sure on that one well but i will say i feel like they could change it anytime <coughs> Yeah. Because the one at Disneyland. They're very strict. If you start filming, they will stop the ride. Um, and also, I would be especially careful with, like, the um, the new shows that are going to be coming to it. Yeah. Because that could be, like, what if that's, like, one of those... Um, they could have, like, a strict ...wish copyright. scenarios where it takes the stream down completely. That's true. Yeah. I don't know, it's just a little bit of a mystery. We can go meet Olaf. Oh, he's done for the day. Nice. Yeah, most character meet and greets around here seem to end around five. Well, it is your choice. Nice. So you get to choose what we do. Let's go back to Galaxy's Edge. Okay. And then I'm see what, what, what do you want to eat? I don't know. I love the walker. Yeah. Why can't they bring back the Jedi training? I don't know. Why can't they bring back that goofy photo op with the thing that you sit on the... Well, they had to put a bathroom there, even though there's a bathroom right here. Well, they could put another... They, they put... could move the photo op or somewhere. Or did they put this bathroom here? Or where was it? It was are right there... over here, I think. Are these bathrooms connected? Or is it like the... I don't know. Regardless. It was somewhere over here. Yeah. And it then probably it, was here. Like, right? some sort of character would meet over here, too. We don't get our Star Wars weekends anymore. You have to go to Disneyland for that. Uh -huh. Everyone has one of those Mike Wazowski bagels. They're gonna get one. I don't really actually want one. Oh, welcome, Becca. Happy Friday. Oh, Becca, welcome, Becca. Hopefully, you're having a good day so far. Sorry. A little crowd there. Go in the store here. I want to go in here. They brought back the um, build your own lightsaber. But oh, it's like yeah. the cheap one, like the not $300 one. I remember I did that when it was at um, Disney Springs when I was younger. Oh, sorry. Over in the toy store. What? The toy store they Yeah, I was it. in the toy store. They'd have a build your own Mr. Potato Head, too. Mm -hmm. I, I did that, too. Oh, welcome, Will. Oh, well, welcome, Will. Glad well, you could join us here today. Hopefully, you're having a good day so far. How much is it? You want to look? You're going to do it? I'm curious how much it is. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so if you want a single lightsaber. Oh. Hmm? Single lightsaber is 30. If you want a double, it's 45. It's not that bad. No. Maybe you should get these, um... Like the gauntlet thing? Yeah, that you can shoot stuff out of. I like this backpack. It is like pretty Yoda neat. It seems controller. like we have one somewhere around in Ohio, maybe. We had something like this. Yeah. It's kind of left over. Like, we had a lot of good merchandise. The meal croissant is pretty fun. The meal croissant, oh sorry. A meal was a nice rat. I feel like that that's more of a fun one than the Mike Wazowski. Oh, let me check Kevin. Kevin was asking about these lightsabers over here. Um, 
So they are currently 250, so I don't see any sales signs. I'll keep an eye out, Kevin, though. If I see anything, I'll let you know. What are you looking for? I was just looking at the lightsaber over there. Those uh, ones right there in the box. 139. Um, or is that the helmet? I think that's the helmet. I think it's 250. Uh, but oh, yeah, 249 Maybe we should get one of the helmets. I would do that. I don't know, $100. I'm probably never going to wear a helmet. Yeah, the meal croissant is a fun shape, too. Like, it's kind of... It's cushioned, too. Like, it's kind of nice. It's the closest I've gotten to getting one of those munchlings before. Oh yeah, you remember those those ears? It was a helmet, and it looked like Darth Vader's helmet, but it had Mickey ears on it. Yeah, I remember that. Those were great. It was just the back of the helmet. There yeah. wasn't any like face to it. Is that what you're talking about? I think that's it. Okay. Sci-fi looks inviting. You want to go there? I do. I like a good pretzel at baseline. Yeah, they have a good pretzel and the um, beer cheese that they give you with it. You know, I really like Hollywood Studios. We just don't make it here very often because I feel like whenever we come here... It's always so busy. It's either too busy or we're too late. Yeah. And, like, if we come too late, you don't get to see the shows. The shows are some good things to kind of enjoy some things but also get things done without waiting three mm -hmm. hours. There's ice cold hydraulics. It was fun. We were some of the first people ever to eat here. Yeah. Try their new food. I didn't really like much of them, but I thought the sauce on the churros were good. They were okay. The sauce was good, but like the churros themselves, they were okay. I thought the combination was kind of weird. Can you hold the egg? Yeah. Thank you. So it is your choice. Are you, what's your choice then? Do you have a... Do you want to make Galaxy's Edge your choice? Do you want to... Uh, let's pull another egg. Or no, wait, you still have your shopping, so we need to yeah. do one of them before we can pull another one. I don't know, I feel like if we pull another one, maybe it'll tell us to go to a specific place and we could do the shopping and my thing there. I don't know. I mean, that's, that's true. Should we? It's up to you. It's your choice. We do have uh, reservations for May 4th. We do, yeah. Yeah, we will be here. Whether that's a live stream or a video or oh. what have you. Frig Swa wants to see the monkey lizards. Oh, we could go look at the monkey yeah, let's lizards. let's go look at the monkey lizards. Awesome, D-Lo. D -Lo came in right when I got the useless junk egg. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's a good way to enter. That's awesome. Immaculate timing, if I do say so myself. So here's the thing. Maybe I'll make my yeah. thing to get one of these little grenade pokes. You could. They're $7. Yeah, they're, they're expensive, but they're just kind of neat. But I never get them because they're expensive. I wish they would make those ears again. Like, if they sold those Darth Vader ears. Yeah. They would well, sell out. There's People a lot would. of things like that that they used to make that if they would bring back. Like, if they easily, it'd be an easy thing, like, for mm -hmm. the most part. Or, like, remember those um, figment hats? Like, that, that's just like a ball cap. Yeah, yeah. But it has, like, the wings out of it and it says mm -hmm. figment on it, the purple one. I wonder if the Star Wars ears were hard to store because you been. can't really stack them. Yeah. Because of the ears. I don't know. Oh, they can get hot in this, aren't they? They used oh. to have, like, an air conditioning unit. Right? Yeah. Like, fans or something? I don't know. Well, they could probably put some sort of, like, um, hidden slits in the back. Yeah, yeah.
Oh, D'Lo wants a picture with me holding the egg. There you go. We'll, okay. we'll have to get yeah. one. We'll have to take the egg out at least a couple more times. Yeah, we'll definitely be drawing some more. Does it ever shine in one milk out? I don't know. It's, it's kind of a mystery. I kind of feel like I have a lot of pressure. Like, I have to choose the good thing. Yeah. It's not every If you choose thing. a bad thing. Because this is your one chance. Yeah. And, like, whatever I get, Matt has to be okay with it. Mm -hmm. Because the egg said so. Oh, interesting. So, the Cokes here are, mm -hmm. like, colder. Somehow. The thermal detonator Cokes are the coldest. They have a purpose. Interesting. Here's the Quonky and Monkey Lizards. These were at the outlet at one point. $60. Gosh, scary. Yeah. So, $60? Yeah. That's what Francois was asking. $59.99. Okay. And then it has a magnet and you can it put it on It sits on your shoulder, shoulder, yeah. And then it has a handle so you can make it talk do different or yeah, speak talk or, or move. yell or whatever. You can make its, arm, or its head move back and forth and its mouth move. I have one of these in Ohio somewhere. I don't know where it is. You have one of these? Yeah. Like the puppet? Yeah. It's cool. Like, you put your hand in it and you can, like, control it. Yeah, that's so cool. That's fun. And then if you do the other, its mouth moves and it talks. Isn't that? That's fun. I think that's oh, fun. and it makes sound, too. Yeah. What do you have to say for yourself? Well, very nice of you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Let's see if they have any of those Star Cruiser stuff. Pop in the clothes store over here. You should buy a Jedi robe. I'm sure. Make that my thing that... Yeah, that's whatever you want to do. $70 so for a Jedi robe. let me try robe. and get in here. So these are from the Star Cruiser. And these are the original costumes they sold. This is like the Star Cruiser. 150. Yeah. So I think you wear that with this. Ah, okay. And that's like one of the outfits you can wear if you were yeah. going on the Star Cruiser. So that's wow. pretty cool. This is like the, um, it's a replica of the cloak from one of the movies. So they got the actual cloak yeah. and they... They talked about D23, Destination yeah. D23 were there for it. They used and the actual cloak to So this is apparently like it. a replica. Mm -hmm. Look at the gloves. They're like Star Wars some. gloves, you know, like all the characters mm -hmm. wear like gloves. There's long gloves. You can get that as your useless no, junk. What am I going to do? Just wear the gloves? Yeah. Princess Jamie, welcome. Also, welcome to Orlando. Welcome, Orlando. Oh, hello. Princess Jamie, can't wait for the epic golf tournament tomorrow. Yeah, it'll That'll be, be exciting. Fun. We're looking forward to it. Yeah, I should, I should, um, I should get a lightsaber. A lightsaber umbrella is pretty fun. We wear the apple one of those. Know. The problem is, if Matt buys anything, I can't rebuy it because he gets mad at me because it's his apartment. Even though it's my own thing, it's yours, it's not mine. Well, where are you going to put it at? I don't know. That's the only issue. We just don't have room stuff. for stuff. We have nowhere to put anything that we already have. We need to get like a storage unit or a second apartment just for all the stuff we have. Or how about you just say, okay, you can't fill up more than this and like put a line in the ground. I already did and it's already filled past okay. there. So this is another Star Cruiser outfit. They also have the um, Star Cruiser shield. Which, oh, when you yeah. did the Jedi training, they couldn't really give both people lightsabers. So, so they, they gave one, one person a shield. shield. And the other one a lightsaber. So that's kind of like the shield. 
Um, I would have been much. disappointed if I got a shield. Well, you switch. You broke it. Oh, okay. You Everyone get to do both of them. got to do it. It's pretty cool. Oh, it's like a. That's kind of cool. It's like a cup. Okay. Not too much other than lightsabers to be seen in here. Plug my phone in. I like the lightsaber stand you can buy. What time is the tournament tomorrow? That's a good question. So, we're going to go after we finish our rope drop stream. So, I guess we should decide that. Um, how long are we going tomorrow? I I don't want to do the regular stream too long. Because I don't want to be too exhausted. Like, I don't want to yeah. go to the point where of exhaustion where I can't... I don't have energy for the mini golf. So I'm going to say, let's do um, four hours of the... So, I don't know for sure when we're starting tomorrow, though, so that's my only... Well, should we just set a time for the, like... Well, I guess we could set a time and we could, like, wait. Yeah. Like, we wait might have to wait anyway for the... You don't know what time um, or so, like how long the wait is going to be for mini golf. If we go at eight tomorrow. Yeah. Four hours. That would be two. Two. That's like. Oh, uh, six no, hours. Noon. Should we say we'll do the mini golf at one? How about one thirty? Okay, that works. Is that good? Yeah. Okay, one thirty for mini golf. That way we can get there and figure out like if there's a wait mm -hmm. and figure out all the details before we start the stream. So we'll t I'll schedule it tonight. I don't have a thumbnail ready. I've been working on one. Oh, I was gonna. Oh, that's oh, all right. You want to go back? That's all right. You, get a coke. I'm I'll get a too. Um, blue milk. Okay. Ross, welcome, Ross. On the boat. <laughs> yeah. See, that's the problem. If I'm tired. It could work in your advantage. Oh, well, yeah, sure. So how much is the blue milk? Should we go look at it? Yeah, let's go look. It's been like years since I tried it, so I feel like a, another tasting is in order. Oh, maybe I should get the one with the, um, it has like nerds in it. Oh, you could, that might be good. So how much is it? Ten dollars. That's not that bad. I guess not. I can't get over paying nine dollars for it. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're good. Oh, Brownsburg Kevin changed his name oh. to Eggsburg Kevin. <laughs> everyone funny. has their festive names Everyone's today. Festive. What am I? I don't know what I am. Yeah, I should have taken my greens so that yeah, I'll be ready yeah, for tomorrow. Sure. It doesn't okay. help you if I to... take them not from there. They don't have the Cokes, do they? Uh, I don't think no. they do. It's all right. They have it at that place over there, though. Okay. It doesn't help if I take my greens the same day. I have to you take have to them take the day like before. A days before. Build up the. Yeah, endurance. I have to start taking them. A okay, few I'm going to get this goofy nerd one. You're going to mobile order it? Yeah. And then. You want to get one of. These things. What do they have here? I think it's gold. Oh, it's, oh, beer. it's beer. Oh, I don't like beer. Gold squadron. It's intriguing though. I haven't seen it before. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, For those wondering. Oh, uh, just this week. Yep. That'll be six twenty five. All right.
Thank you. All right. Okay. I got my Coke. I'm going to go get my mobile order. Is it ready? Not yet, but nice. There's not many people. Oh, it's ready here. No, okay. it's not ready. Should we go stand by that plant? Yeah, the plant. It's an interesting looking plant. There we go. Interesting plant with an interesting coke. It's like a grenade or something. Yeah. There's ice falling off of it. It is cold, it is. Colder does it than taste any different? No. Yeah. Tastes like Coke. But it does taste colder. I remember when Galaxy Edge first opened, I got one of those and I was like, oh, I was so proud of it. I drank it and I brought it home with me. You probably still have it somewhere. I probably do. Somewhere in your piles of. That thing's making noise. It's kind of Gosh. scary. It's spooky. I'm going to hand this to you. And I'm going to go get my milk whenever right. it's ready. Just waiting a second until it's done. There's the mountains of Batu. They have another Batu in Disneyland, but it's exactly like a carbon copy. It's exactly the same here. This is actually an entrance. So you can go through this, this will take you to Fantasyland. Yeah. And if you go through that way, it'll take you to Frontierland. Mm -hmm. By Splash Tiana's. Uh, no, Tiana's is on the other side. Is no. it by Pooh? No. Pooh is on the other corner. You enter Pooh by going by Oh, Rise it's of by Big Thunder Mountain, isn't it? Yeah, that takes you to like Big Thunder yeah, Mountain. Yeah, yeah. Probably just confused everyone much more than AA. I, I'm still but, confused. Who yeah. knows? It's That park is a weird park. Oh, it's ready. The layout is weird. There's Goo going to get his blue milk. I wonder if he got in one of the um, weird cups. Hi, is this for mobile order? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. There it is. Okay. So. You want if, to tell us about it? If blue milk isn't exciting enough, you can get this, which is like the newer version. And it has like a raspberry syrup on the side and mm -hmm. they put like nerds. Yeah, and then more and then nerds, more on, nerds on, top. on top. So they don't call them nerds, but that's what they are. So. Yeah. I love blue milk itself. It's blue milk. It tastes like Galaxy's Edge. That's what I always say it tastes like. It's not particularly a good flavor, but it's like a, um, it feels like something Star Wars. It feels like other world bean flavor. So we got to try the one they're going to have um, in grocery stores, the mm -hmm. True Moo or whatever it is. That looks good, though. That looks like real milk. Yeah. yeah I've oh. said it many times. Some people hate blue milk. Some people hate green milk. I'm not to that extreme. I'll drink it. What's the green one taste like? Grass. Oh, pretty much, yeah. yeah. There you go. All right. It just has the blue milk taste and you get kind of a um, sweetness from that. Mm -hmm. It's not much different. Uh, the gaming ham has heard that it tastes like fabric softener. 
<laughs> Pretty much. Well, thanks so much, everyone, for joining us for this very festive Easter stream here at Disney World. We've been all over the place. This is our third park of the day. We will not be making it to Animal Kingdom, but we've made it to three parks. We made it to Wilderness Lodge, Boardwalk, Beach Club, Yacht Club, lots of different places, and we're not done yet. We're gonna, should we pull another egg? Yeah. So you just made your choice. You got that thing. Yeah. I still you got your my, useless junk. This isn't my useless junk. Uh, I thought it was. No, I need to get my useless junk. Yeah, whatever the next one is, I could probably get my useless junk there. Yeah, okay. Well, do you want to hold it for mm -hmm. a second? And I will get the egg out. So for those of you that have recently joined us and don't know what's happening, this is our big golden egg. It's full of smaller eggs, and each of the smaller eggs has something on it from around Disney World, a snack, a destination, something to do, something to eat. And so we are drawing them. Goo buys sunglasses. That could be my useless job. It could be, yeah. Okay. Goo does not have any sunglasses, yeah. and he's been looking for sunglasses for some time now. You want to draw another one? That can count as my useless chunk. Should I stick? I'll just put that there, for, that now. there for now. So cargo, welcome so cargo. What? <laughs> what is that? What is it? It says ride a boat. So I had another repeat. So I get to choose again. What? Just draw another one. We need to have some more. Oh no, Disney Daddy O is here. Oh good, no. just in time. Well, I'm glad you're here, Disney Daddy O, but we need to buy the egg right. set, so. You wanna know what I pulled now? Yeah. Hollywood Studios. Now I get to draw. choose twice. Okay, draw another one. Go ahead. I'm not doing this on purpose. I'm not like, they're all turned upside down, so I can't see what they say. All right, get a Mickey bar. Okay. I'm just gonna put all these in my pocket. I don't yeah, feel just, like sticking yeah. them to the outside of the egg. Okay. So I'll go get sunglasses, you'll get a Mickey bar. And then we'll do two other things we'll that I want to do. Things. No. I'd like no. to turn in my two coupons to counteract your useless junk. I can't get sunglasses? Oh, okay, never mind. Okay. That's your welcome, Ed. Oh, welcome. Ed says to go to the Speedway for sunglasses because Disney's will break. Yeah, that's true. Doesn't seem very busy. No. Should put Fantasmic on the thing. Wait times weren't particularly long. It's been so long since I've done Fantasmic. Well, you gotta do it. What time is Fantasmic? 8.30? I think. If you see what he tell him, I need you back. Hold on a second. Okay. I wish there was a way to like mix this in. Like, yeah. Mix this in the raspberry in. That's true. Sunglasses are pretty important. There's the lunchbox. Yeah, maybe. Might as well say maybe, right? 
I'll say the raspberry does give it flavor. You can see we are indeed in Andy's backyard. Yeah. And Andy, you can see in the distance, that is Andy's new toy. The Twilight oh, Zone it? Tower of Terror. Wow. In the distance. It's a cool toy. Mm -hmm. I'll say, how do you? Yeah, it's just. How are you supposed to drink that? Let me toss this real quick. Okay. I should have mixed it. Like before. Because it wasn't bad, like mixed with the raspberry flavor. Uh -huh. But now it's just all um, sent to the bottom. Yeah, nice, nice grilled cheese. For, that's true. If you can ever get it. That's true. It's very hard to get. The line to get up there takes long, and mobile order takes even longer. I do like this toy here. The Slinky Dog one? This one... It's like the roller coaster, it's like one of those pullback toys. Yeah, launching so Slinky Dog Dash yeah. attraction vehicle with spinning frames. So these spin? Or no, I think the flames. Spinning, spinning, oh, spinning flames. flames. You know the okay. flames spin oh, okay, yeah. on the right? Hmm, $20. That is pretty neat. <coughs> oh. Look, it's lots of. Oh, gosh. Scary. Does it smell good? It does. Yeah. I like that like throughout all the different merchandise they've had, mm -hmm. they've kept that. I remember when the movie came out, I was always shocked that like the merchandise all smelled. Mm -hmm. But like, I'm glad they kept that. They could have been like, oh, we don't need to keep adding the scent. Round up rodeo smells good. It does. I don't know. Every time I go there, it's a different meal. Maybe we should go. Yeah, it's it's crazy like the capacity of that that restaurant there. Mm -hmm. I wish they had some sort of way to fix that. I don't know what they would do. There's just not a lot of space, I guess. Mm -hmm. They need more seating. They need a bigger kitchen. I don't know what they need to do. They could just add another restaurant in the other corner. I guess so. But there's not really any space to do that either. I could go for a roundup rodeo right now. I could too. It smells really good. Is there a walk up? I don't think so. <laughs> okay, let's go here. I'm gonna throw away my raspberry sauce in a cup. There we go. I threw it away. What? Disney Daddy, I went back and listened. The clown from the slide at the boardwalk is quality merchandise. See? To be stored in a storage unit would be okay. Matt is a scholar. Exactly. What? Wise words from Disney daddy -O himself. I couldn't have said it better myself. No, that's not true. I haven't seen One's Man's Dream in like 20 years. I want to go see it. Maybe we should come over here after mini golf tomorrow and I would do that. Watch it. Yeah, they removed a lot of the sides at Roundup, too. That's true. The we, what? The sides are all gone at Roundup Rodeo. Half of them yeah, are gone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but they had a lot of sides. <laughs> uh, it was fun, though. Like, you went, you sat down, you got to choose your sides. It was kind of a fun novelty. Like, oh, 
and they said, oh, reach for the sides, grab yeah. the figures. It was fun. Like, I don't know if that energy is still there. I haven't been there in, like, Do they still two. have the slinky doll, yeah. the mac and like, cheese? Like, all the cast members there were so into it. It was so mm -hmm. fun, like, the opening week. I was kind of worried, like, eventually that's going to fade, but I don't know. I don't know. I, there was like an area there. I've heard a lot of rumors. About I what? I don't know for sure. Like, you know, there was some construction over there. Oh, and, that building yeah. that looked like. Where are we going? I don't know. I'm just walking. A Little Mermaid's going to open later this year, apparently. That's true, yeah. That's, that's fun. Stupid that. What? What are you trying? I'm. I clicked to sign in, and it asked me for. Um, what are you trying to do? I was just trying to. Well, I clicked check dining availability, and it told me to sign in. So I signed in, and then it asked me for a um, like a code for my email. So I had to go to my email and get the code, and I put it in, and then I clicked. I put in the code and I clicked OK, and it just sent me back to like the main page of the app. So I figured, okay, maybe it signed me in now. So I went yeah, and I clicked check dining availability again. And now it um There's a ten minute walk code again. Hollywood and Vine. <laughs> yeah, right. You can see all the characters in their spring outfits. I wasn't a big fan of Hollywood and Vine. I didn't mind Hollywood and Vine. There's Joe. Nice guy. Oh he's the music is playing. Nice guy. That's a, I feel like the statue's fun. Like the keyboards on his, mm -hmm. it looks cool. That's a cool. One of the cooler statues. Weather is look a mark. Weather is pretty, not bad. It's 73 right now. Yeah, it feels pretty cool. So they moved the sign. The sign is off of the starring rolls. Mm-hmm. Wonder what they're gonna do with it. Probably nothing. There was talk um, some years ago about adding a candy store again somewhere here in this area. Yeah. They could put it there. I mean, they could, but I don't really see it happening. I don't know. Can I give this to you for a little bit? Yeah. I'll take the egg. Okay. Um, let's go in the store over here. We're right. spending a lot of time here because we never make it to Hollywood Studios these yeah. days. Let's pop in this store because they have some new Toy Story merchandise. And then we'll pop over to the store over there where I can look for some sunglasses. Look at the shirt with the Pizza Planet truck on it. I like the Pizza Planet button up. That's cool. That's a nice one. So this is what they showed when Disneyland showed their, um, oh, this is the cool thing I was talking about. That's, that's oh, a pretty that nice Oh, that is nice. Backpack. Yeah, it's Loungefly. It's Loungefly, so it's like decent quality. I wish Loungefly would make more like this. Yeah. $58, that's not it's terrible. It's not bad. It's a decent size bag. What's the inside look like? I'm curious. Oh, it's oh, like it's, checkered. Oh, that's yeah. fun. Lots of good. Is there like a laptop? Thing. Let me... I don't think so. Yeah, there is like oh, a laptop is? thing. It's not like very... a sleeve on the back. It's kind of small. Yeah. Like... That's cool. It's hmm. fun. Yeah, if they That's made more of those. Cool. I love seeing I would get one. new merchandise. But a lot of this stuff, a lot of the um, Pizza Planet stuff mm -hmm. is all for Disneyland for their Pixar. Yeah, Pixar Fest or yeah. something like that, which is going to be happening this collection over here. April. End of April to um, well, look at the water bottle. August fourth. There's a water bottle. Who will be chosen? Eternally grateful. I want to go to Hollywood Vine for breakfast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mark says breakfast is good. Yeah.
Look at the little remote See, control. See, that would only. be great. Hollywood Studios needs another land. I need this. Can yeah, bulldoze the launch bay. Can I get this? I Is that this. your useless junk? $35, yeah. We could go to back to Epcot and you could get the um, Orange Bird. test track. Oh, or the dinosaur one over at Animal Kingdom mm -hmm. on a different day. I don't know. I like Wally. This is cool. There you go. Yeah. Wally is a nice robot. So this store that we just came out of, that used to be a candy store, kind of like the confectionery. And they closed it when they opened Toy Story Land because there's no room in Toy Story Land for an actual gift shop. So that became the gift shop. And then Toy Story Land did kind of find room for a gift shop, but it's not like a, it's at the exit of Toy Story Mania. And you can't really, it's like not, you can get to it if you don't ride Toy Story Mania, but it's not really. No one knows about it. No yeah. one's like going there purely for the gift shop. So they need to keep it somewhere, I guess. But it's just kind of weird to me. I know like the idea of having a Toy Story Land, like a toy, mm -hmm. toy, land, toy themed land and not having a gift shop was always kind of shocking to me. Yeah, it's strange. But I mean, it, it wouldn't really fit with the theming that well, because it's Andy's backyard. Why would, I guess maybe Andy is trying to make some extra money to pay off his student loans or something. Sorry. Um, <laughs> look at this. <coughs> I know the storyline's a little bit different at the other Toy Story lines. Yeah, I think this is Animal Kingdom thing. This one's kind of cool. It's very subtly Disney. Storyline's a little bit different at other ones. Mm -hmm. But um, they have a little, it's themed to like a toy set of Al's Toy Barn. Ah. And like the toy set is where. That would be kind of yeah. cool. Also, they do have like that pop-up stand. You know that stand where we saw that mm -hmm. saucer toy? Yeah. Why would Andy have that? I don't know. Like I said, he's trying to pay off his student loans he's not in college yet he's trying to buy back woody from what's her face that girl that he gave yeah buy back woody yeah, woody is a collector's item well didn't he run away i don't know i don't know he's a collector's item that's right, isn't Woody worth a lot of money? Yeah. Remember that was the premise of what the second one when Al yeah. was trying to get them? Um they don't have the one I want. Which one did you want? The The Haunted Mansion one? That was it was kinda goofy, but like I thought it was kinda fun. We could go somewhere else. We could go to um Magic Kingdom. I would do that. Sorry. Sure. Well, I see either two options here. Number one, you're gonna obey the egg and get your Mickey bar. Mm -hmm. Or number two, I'm gonna go over to Tower of Terror and get the Tower of Terror cookie. Let's go look at the cookie if nothing yeah. else, because the cookie looks very good. Look at this. To the, yeah, the arms. Oh, it's posable. That's pretty cool. Okay. We're gonna go investigate. They have a new um, cookie at the Joffrey's by Tower of Terror. Oh, look at this plush Goofy. I feel like you don't really see plushes of I Goofy feel like, like they that. I just don't really look very much, but I love the Donald. The is Donald. Cool, yeah. Oh, and since it is an Easter stream, I like just the plain Mickey. Easter. I feel like you don't Mickey. see enough just yeah, that plain is Mickey. That's cool. No, no Disney. Yeah, I was you. keeping a close no. eye on Goo in there. When we went in, you probably didn't know this, but I took your wallet and I put it back before we came out. Yeah, I'm sure you did. Yeah, Hollywood Studios has a lot of potential. I feel mm -hmm. like when they put Star Wars here, they, they said, oh, that's good enough. Purely for capacity, they need another area here. All these people waiting for Phantasmic. I don't know. What else would they be waiting for? There's no more Beauty and the Beast shows today. 
I like Tower of Terror. Mm -hmm. The first day that Phantasmic came back, this whole area here was just yeah. full of people. Oh, and they gosh. kept telling people they can't stand here. So finally they just like told everyone, you have to leave. We were like over here on this bench and they, that was okay. Like they didn't care if you were yeah. right there. So we just hung out right there. And then I saw them starting to bring out like ropes and like the poles. And I said, all right, they're about to open the line. Let's go. And we walked over there and we got lucky. We were probably they like- They opened it literally seconds when we walked. Yeah. We were probably one of the first hundred people in there. And we had to wait a while, probably what, like three or four hours. We didn't really wait like in a queue. We were just waiting for it to start. What? We didn't really have to wait in like a queue or anything. We just purely yeah, had to wait for it It was just waiting for them to yeah. open the um, theater and for the show <coughs> to start. We weren't waiting to get in. I'm surprised they didn't do a virtual queue. Yeah, or wristbands or something. Yeah. We were hanging around all day because we thought they were going to do wristbands. Yeah, you keep forgetting your shoulder, pal. Well, everyone wants a cookie. Do they have it? I don't see oh, it in that no. case. Oh, they must be out. Nice. You know, it's one thing when something happens to me that's horrifying. Mm -hmm. And when the cookie is taken from me. Ripped from your hands. That's sad. Sad, you. Yeah. There you go. Sunglass Hut has good sunglasses, but uh, I think we're looking for cheaper ones. I don't. I and don't also, like they won't let us um, film in Sunglass Hut. Yeah, I don't like sunglasses because they make things dark. That's the point. I know. When it's too bright, they make things not I too like, bright. I like it with like a brighter filter. I don't like everything to be. I don't know. So I'm kind of, I probably need sunglasses, but I don't want to, I don't really, I'm not going to invest a lot of money in them because I know that I won't wear them enough. Yeah. I'll probably just end up taking them as my backup. Yeah. Which way should we go? Um, let's walk this way first, I guess. Okay. Oh, that's a good idea. Maybe the cookie would have been the useless junk. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing I didn't get it. Oh, dinner time would be good. I don't know what to eat, though. Yeah, the ratatouille hat is fun. Oh, yeah. That's part of the new collection. Is it straight? Yeah. Yeah, straight enough. Oh. I like the um, the like guitar going through here. I hope this they never fun, get rid yeah. of that. I'm sure at this point, the days are numbered yeah. for this attraction. I don't know, no, no, like, no reason for that. I just think that. Well, it doesn't work half the time. Yeah, that's one issue. They have corn dog nuggets over here, tortilla chips with cheese. Oh, they have a cookie. Mini churros. You want a cookie? I don't know. It might be good, like the um, like um, golden, golden oak, oak one. Yeah. I'm gonna wait for now. Okay. That looks pretty cool. Oh, let's look and see if you have. They have your sunglasses here. Oh yeah, good point. Oh, apparently they have good pretzels, huh? Wow. Oh, Diane's here. Welcome, Diane. Oh, hello. Hopefully you're having a good day so far. Welcome to our fun, exciting day here today. Nope. Oh. Okay. Nice. Oh, you know what I need to get? What's that? In Ohio, I have one of those hats, like the bellhop hat from mm -hmm. Tower of Terror. Oh, yeah. I need to bring that and wear it whenever I go to Hollywood Studios. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should put on the thumbnails. Yeah. Maybe I should get like the full outfit and like. Yeah. 
Yeah, so Rock and Roller Coaster is down until, I don't know. I think like June or something, like June yeah. or July. First half of the year, pretty much. They had issues with it last year? Or they, last year they did it. Like last year it was also plant. closed for like half the year and then they reopened then it. People say, oh, there was something they fixed, but apparently it didn't fix the problem. Mm -hmm. So they, I don't know. You never really know with these things. We need to, I want to get, I want to come on a very busy day and get the Fantasmic Dining Package and see yeah. how, how much good that does. Maybe one of us should get it <laughs> and one of us should not and like see. Why would you come to the door? Well, that, that was another time. But that time, this is how I So, for Women's History Month. Uh-huh. They extended the beignets at Golden Oak Outpost. Yeah. Oh, Women's History Month is almost over. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to keep them or what's going to happen. They we haven't got an said anything yet. Today that there's new snacks for Earth Month. Oh, I'm sure. I thought, oh, maybe they'll somehow make beignets Earth related, but they didn't. So. Interesting. I don't know. It's kind of a mystery. Oh, we got to remember Earth Day. Oh, what day yeah. of the month is, or what day of the week is Earth Day on? We don't really have many Earth Day snacks this year. Oh, it's on Monday, so. I'm gonna probably make people mad here. I think Rock and Roller Coaster is kind of boring. I enjoy it. It's short. It's it's fun, but like, it's kind of bumpy. It's definitely showing its age these days. I think I like Rock and Roller Coaster, but well, so the overall experience I think the ride itself, like once you're on the ride and you're riding it, the track, the theming, all that, I like that better than Tron. It's hard to beat the overall package of Tron, like the pa the pre-show, the queue, the I, outside, I get, I get that people the lead like up the to it. I the length of Tron, but I like Tron. I, think I don't it's really fun. care for the ride itself. I understand why people don't like it, but like, I mean, it's a fun ride. It's themed pretty cool. Like, you get the full, I mean, yeah. as you said, the full experience. Now, I think if anything, like, even if it's a mediocre ride, to have that thing, that giant thing, whatever you call it. Yeah, it's kind of, like, um, that lights interesting, up like, you see it off in the horizon. Yeah, it's just a cool visual thing that looks good. Crowds haven't been too bad today, Hannah. Um, Definitely busier. We're not, like... Probably about medium. Not nearly as bad as yesterday. Yesterday, yesterday was, was terrible. Horrendous. Well, yeah, Mama Melrose is getting a new menu. Yeah. yeah. I forgot about that. April 1st. Well, I will. Oh, yeah. Put in like an credit coaster type thing. Mm hmm. Where a uh, rock and roll coaster is. That could be fun. So, did you see that the. Um, you probably saw over in Paris, mm -hmm. their Avengers area, they redid their rock and roller coaster yeah. to uh, Iron Man roller coaster. That would be kind of cool. Oh, well. But um, I don't know, some people said it was kind of a little underwhelming. I, I think it just goes so fast, it's hard to, with a ride that fast with that launch, yeah. to kind of like tell a story with such a short, short ride. Excuse me? Oh, Grace, welcome back, Grace. Oh, welcome. You're doing good. Okay, yeah. I like Tron. Okay. That's the other thing with Tron. You do the virtual queue, the and virtual that takes queue forever. Is my enemy. I and then like the virtual queue. you wait another 90 minutes once you get called. Depends on the day, but yeah, pretty much. If you rope drop it, it's good, but yeah. don't. I'm never up early enough to rope drop You're it. You're gonna draw another egg? So, you have to get your Mickey bar. Yeah. I have to get my junk. Your sunglasses. And then I'm gonna draw one more just to kind of guide us. Maybe it'll give us a location. Mm hmm Okay, tell me when to stop. Stop. Easter cookie? Easter basket panna cotta. Is that at, um, I'm guessing Grand Floridian? Grand Amaretz. Oh, Amaretz. Okay, I'd do that. So we could go to Springs. Yeah. We could get your Mickey bar. Yeah. I could get my junk. Mm-hmm. 
and then we'll see what yeah that works. we'll see what time it is I we'll see what we we'll want to do after that is that okay with you yeah i think that's good that makes sense that's a location that's like something to send us somewhere put that in there okay disney springs it is awesome let me double check i think it is amaretz so yeah over there across from the dockside diner they still do the frozen cokes, but I think they do them over at Ice Cold Hydraulics now, too. Yeah. So that's also a good one. That's true. They can't really bring many Marvel characters here. But I kind of like that, because I don't, like... I hate when they just build something at one park and then copy and paste it into another one. And yeah, I feel like I if they could true. bring Marvel here, it would just be a lot of that. This kind of forces them to get a little more creative with, like Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. We might not have gotten that if they could have just copy and pasted That's all their true. Marvel yeah. stuff. If they could have just taken the Spider-Man ride from um, California Adventure yeah. and copy California and pasted Adventure's that here. California Adventure's Adventure Campus, the characters make it. I guarantee you if they brought it here, there wouldn't be characters either. Yeah. They get new characters literally every week there. Mm -hmm which kind of adds to it, builds up more excitement. No. I like the shirt with Mickey. They could do like a um, random obscure superheroes that nobody knows area. Yeah. And they could put like, because apparently like, very obscure characters. Oh no. What? Oh, that's pretty cool. They're gonna get that? That's a cool shirt. Is that gonna be your I don't item? Know. Hmm. It's $30. It's a cool shirt. I don't know, let me know. Will It'll probably be at, um... Yeah. There's not any sizes left. Mm -hmm. Welcome, Baron. Oh, welcome. Hopefully you're doing good so And, far. um, Doug Paws as well. Oh, Doug Paws. Welcome, Doug Paws. Hopefully you're having a good day so far. We're glad we can bring you along on our adventure Easter extravaganza do you want to get your mickey bar here or do you want to get it i'll wait okay so we are currently juggling three different challenges from the egg mm -hmm. matt has to get a mickey bar i have to buy some useless junk and we have to get the panna cotta easter basket panna cotta which if i can pull up the description right here layers of passion fruit coconut and strawberry panna cotta amaretz I love that kind of thing, so that's perfect for me. The wheel, or the egg's been nice to us, it's been good. Basically everything lives. Well, so it depends on the shirt, I would say. Yeah. I think I technically should be able to get useless junk and the sunglasses because I we got both of them. You know what I mean? That's what I said. What'd you say? I think I should be able to get the junk and the sunglasses. I didn't say not to. You were the one that said you okay. wanted your junk to be well, the sunglasses. Well, if I can't find any junk, we'll save it for another day and just get the sunglasses. Okay, so to get to Springs. Saratoga takes a long time because it stops at like 20 stops. Mm -hmm. Should we take a Skyliner to um, Riviera? Is that going to take shorter than... It could. I don't think it'll be any shorter because then we have to walk well, at least to the there, bus stop. There'll be better sights. If you want to, I'll leave it up to you. I feel like we always go on the bus and we sit there and we're, we get kind of tired and we kind of lose all our energy because we're staying there because they have to go to 500 different stops. Welcome, Joseph. Happy Easter. Oh, Joseph. Welcome, Joseph. And um, James. James, how welcome, long, James. How long is this stream going till? That's a good question. I don't know. 
So we don't really have any specific. We're not going to go super, super late because <coughs> we've got to be up early tomorrow because we will be um, rope dropping. Hello. Oh, hey, just, just a guy who watches. Oh, nice, nice, nice to, meet to meet you. you. Yeah. How are you guys doing? Doing pretty yeah. good. How are you doing? Good. No, it's, it's good to see you. It's ironic. I know it closed. I loved your Pittsburgh video. Yeah. We were in Pittsburgh the week before and we stayed at the same hotel. Oh, oh really? My wife and I, who's right there. How oh, very cool. <laughs> yeah. That's no, awesome. we really like enjoying watching your stuff. We're yeah. from uh, Rochester, New York. Oh, very cool. Great. Well, so it's awesome. just, uh, we appreciate what you guys do. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah, we just like the fact that you kind of do your thing, good attitudes, and don't try to push any garbage on everyone. Yeah, yeah we just try to have fun have and just fun. hang out. So and it is, let, we do appreciate it. Yeah, yeah we appreciate you guys. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, I have subscribed, I have liked. Awesome, well thank you so right. much. He's Matt, he's Goo. You're yeah, you. you're you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was great meeting you guys. Yeah, it was so good yeah. to Enjoy see you guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah. Have a great right. day. Thanks guys. Thanks for saying hi. hi. I should ask if they wanted to say hi. Oh, yeah. Well, that was fun. Yeah. All right. You want to go for the Skyliner? Yeah. Is that okay? Sure. Okay. We'll get a little bit of Skyliner in between our adventure. Okay. Very, very nice. Okay. Bad will. I don't know how they would fit at um, Disney. Especially Deadpool, that probably wouldn't um, appeal to a good portion of the audience that comes here. Another Skyliner, we're not going to talk about uh, two. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's always weird getting into them. We're in the Wreck-It Ralph Skyliner. <coughs> All right. Big John, welcome, Big John. Hopefully you're doing oh, good welcome. so far. Have a good day so far, or hopefully you're having a good day so far. Yeah. We are getting on the Skyliner, heading towards whichever resort it takes us to. Um, Caribbean, and then I guess we'll transfer. Well, should we just get off at Caribbean and take a bus from there? Yeah, I guess we could, yeah. I guess unless there's no line for the other... Yeah, uh, yeah, we'll ultim see. Our ultimate destination is um, Disney, Disney Springs. Springs, yeah. Oh, the Skyliner Disney voice Skyliner. loves to interrupt me. Welcome nice. aboard the Disney Skyliner at Disney's Hollywood Studios. We are on our way to Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort with connecting flights to Epcot International Gateway. Disney's Pop Century Resort, and Disney's Art of Animation Resort. You're gonna wave we to hope your you adoring enjoyed your visit below. to Hollywood mm -hmm. today. Now wave goodbye to your adoring fans below. Bye!
by. The problem is this side is like tinted, so yeah, we like can't see us. Yeah. Oh, what's what's gonna happen? They're not gonna be waving to us. It's a disaster. Mm-hmm. That's a other thing. Caribbean has multiple stops, so. Yeah. I don't know. We don't really have a plan. We'll just do what happens. We'll see what the lines look yep. like when we get to um, Caribbean. Because we'll have to get off either way. I wish they would just bring back the um, Parks to Springs buses. Yeah. Alyssa, welcome, Alyssa. Oh, hello. Just a few moments. We will be traveling over the headwaters of the Everglades. Oh, it's awesome. The water that flows from the protected wetlands around Walt Disney World Resort travels all the way to the Everglades, the Atlantic Ocean, and the Gulf of Mexico. And welcome to Disney Mom as well. Oh, hey, Disney Mom. Welcome to the stream. Happy yeah. Easter. We're on the Skyliner going to wherever we're going. I don't know. It's kind of a... A mystery to us all. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, we need to do. So we're doing the five k, the wine and dine five k. Yeah, Goo was doing it. You don't want to do it with me. I didn't want to spend the money on yeah. it, and it was a good thing I didn't. Did you know that the I'll entire Walt Disney World Resort is over forty square miles? That's about the same size as the city of San Francisco, and double the mm -hmm. island of Manhattan. Close enough. Okay. You I didn't. Help. Because, well, it's a, I didn't because I didn't want to spend the money, and it's a good thing I didn't, because immediately after, I used the money to book a trip to Disneyland. Okay. So, yeah. we wouldn't be going to Disneyland if it wasn't for me not booking the That's true. 5K. Well, regardless, I'm doing the 5K. I want to do some training. Mm-hmm. I know, 5Ks, you can kind of walk it, but I want to walk it with... With, um, what do you call oh, it? Gusto. Gusto. We will so. be arriving at Disney's oh, Gusto, Beach since it's the yeah. wine and dine. All yeah. must disembark and transfer at this station. Cool, Paul. Thank Welcome, you. Paul. Oh, and hello. You How are you doing the today? Most magical flight on Earth. So, usually on the 5Ks, they say you can walk it at any speed. Mm -hmm. They did say in the five, fine print that, like, you still need... It, it said all races require 16 okay. minutes. Uh oh. Yeah. Okay. That must be a new thing because it stops a lot. Yeah. And, and we're still moving. Okay. Okay. So it said that there is a 16 minute mile pace requirement. Mm -hmm. But from what I've heard, everyone always tells me you can't walk the. I That being said, I feel like I can walk 16 minutes a mile. Most people walk it. Yeah. And um, I walk pretty fast. If you haven't noticed already. Please remain seated until the doors automatically open. When exiting the cabin, please supervise children, collect your belongings, and watch your step. Thank you for flying with us. Por favor, permanezcan sentados hasta que las puertas se abran automáticamente. Al salir de la cabina, por favor, cuide a sus pequeñitos, reúna sus pertenencias y observe sus pasos. Gracias por volar con nosotros. Gosh. Oh, there's Tigger. Nice guy. Nice guy. Too bad it's not Rabbit. Yeah. It's probably somewhere on there. Oh, welcome, Bo Peep. Oh, Bo Peep. Welcome, Bo Peep. Hopefully you're having a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. There's a cruise. Cruise line. We can go we to, go to pop. Animation or Pop Century. Okay, let's do that. Is that okay? Yeah. I kind of want to pop in the gift shop at Pop. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. I like that gift shop. Stay left, I think. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess. I would walk the 5K in 10 minutes. Yeah, exactly. Probably. Oh. Hello. Yep. yep. 
Magoo should do the 5K as Sunny Eclipse. That would be good. Yep. Thank you Thank so you. much. You could do it as Sunny Eclipse as a chef. Well, I mean, Sunny Eclipse is kind of like a chef or like a food inspired mm -hmm. character. That is true, yeah. So, like, it would make sense for wine and dine. People dress up. They do, yeah. So, I don't know. <laughs> You'd have to figure out how to do it. Yeah. Well, I need a wig. I need an astral organ. Yeah. The race starts at 5 a.m.? You didn't know that? Oh, no. Gosh, the lights turned off. I don't know what's going on. I knew it was early, but I guess I didn't really, like, acknowledge it. Now, that time know. sounded a little bit more... I'm glad we're, like, close. not... We're pretty yeah. close. But that was like, like you could hear it powering down, like it went, and then the lights went out. It went, it like, oh. Don't start it up. Thank you for your patience. We are now resuming the journey. I will take flight momentarily. Thank you. What? Did you understand that? Yeah. Oh, I have to be there? Like, <laughs> really? Oh, no. If you don't want to, I could probably go and pretend no, you to be. Can't, no. Welcome aboard I could just shave Disney's and I'll probably look close enough. Disney's Caribbean Wear a hat. Resort. Now get ready to travel back in time and enter the animated worlds of Disney. We are on our way to Disney's Pop Century Resort and Disney's Art of Animation Resort. Very cool. Should, I, should we fill your water bottle with Beverly? No, no, th that would be terrible. That's not hydration. If you were trapped in here all night, would you be willing to eat a Cuban hot dog and drink a Dasani? No, and Dasani maybe. Dasani, I can, I can handle Dasani when it's not like oh, like when it's not like I'm thirsty and I just want to drink. Yeah. Like if I'm about to fall over from heat exhaustion and I need water, mm -hmm. I can drink Dasani. But um, it's not like something I can't like handle at all. I just don't prefer it. Just ahead and to the right is Disney's Art of Animation Resort, a larger than life resort that celebrates the creative magic that goes into crafting Disney animated films from sketches to reality. On your left is Disney's Pop Century Resort, a memorable resort that celebrates the way we lived, played, and communicated with each other throughout the 20th century. I like, I, Pop Century is fun. Yeah. The problem is, ever since the Skyliner was added, mm -hmm. I kind of predicted this. Prices went up. Yeah. And it's still a value resort. I guess also, like... All the prices went up, but we are now instead of being like a ninety-nine dollar resort, now it's like break. a Please sometimes two or three hundred, yeah, uh, which is kind of crazy. The most magical flight on Earth. Yeah, because you used to get popped for like a hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, but you used to get All Star for moments, like under a hundred. That's true. And now it's like one fifty. At Walt Disney World Resort. Passengers can disembark here for Disney's yeah. I could just stream for 24 hours and go into the race. Thank you for flying mm -hmm. to Disney Skyliner. Bon voyage. That would be like a test to like see if I could survive. At the end of that 23 hour stream, it was, oh, I was about to fall over. It was yeah. terrible. Remain seated until the doors automatically open. When exiting the cabin, please supervise children, collect your belongings, oh, oh, and watch your steps. Thank okay. you for flying I'm glad we're done with the Skyliner for the night. Too unpredictable. I'm not very good at getting off the Skyliner. Yeah.
Thank you. Oh, there's the Encanto Skyliner. Oh, yeah. That one, remember when it debuted? We were trying to find pictures of it, and it just mm -hmm. never came. And there's Pooh. When's the next 24 hour stream? I don't know. I don't have a plan. Yeah, let's do Pop. Okay. Pop has the better gift shop, I think. Skyline or chili? <laughs> I would like some Skyline chili right now. It's very really heavy. Like, I don't want to eat it before I do anything. Mm -hmm. I just want to like lay down after I eat it. We are headed to Disney Springs. We have three missions. We have to get the Panna Cotta from Emirates. Which if you don't know, Panna Cotta is kind of like a mousse, but instead of like chocolate, it's like fruit. Like gel, yeah. So think of the texture of a mousse, but kind of fruity instead of heavy like And more chocolate. like jello-y. Excuse me. More gelatinous. Yeah. Sky, I'll say one thing. The Skyliner has only, has never had issues where people weren't able to get out other than once. Mm -hmm. And that only happened once, and that only happened like the first week it started. So, in conclusion, the chances of it happening are extremely low. Yeah. Um, and even if it does, they'll take care of you. It's It's safe. So let me ask you this. Uh huh. Was Pop Century and Art of Animation always connected, like before the Skyliner was here? I don't know. Was there a walkway between the I two? I don't know if the bridge was always there. I just, that's what I'm wondering. I don't know. The Skyliner has been around for a good amount of time at this point. I don't, I don't really remember, like, pre Skyliner. I was very excited because when the Skyliner came out, I was like, oh, I gotta go ride this thing. And we booked a trip like a week after it came out. Mm -hmm. And that's when they had the issue where it broke down. And um, after that happened, they closed it for like indefinitely until they like, yeah. could figure it out. And that was the time I was coming to town. And I was sad because I didn't get to ride it. And then the last day of the vacation, I went back up and I got to ride it. So it's fine. Oh, the bridge has always been there, yeah. Okay, good. I didn't know. Excuse me. <coughs> I swallowed wrong. Okay, I'm good. All right. Welcome everyone to the Pop Century, Disney's Pop Century Resort. We're gonna go in, we'll take a look at the gift shop, walk around a little bit, and then hop on a bus over to um, Disney Springs. So the adventures are just, just beginning. Yeah. Feel free, subscribe, don't forget to hit that like button. Enjoy the stream, everyone, it's been great. I hope there's not too many people waiting for the bus there to Disney Springs. are. That's why I like to do Saratoga, because no one there's knows always, to later at night, there's always a ton of people waiting for the bus to Disney Springs, and sometimes you even have to fight for a spot on the bus, because there will be so many people lined up, and it'll just be chaos. Hotel WWE fan. It is, and the arcade is great. I like the arcade. It's big. Oh, 
Look at this shirt. Yeah, it's Pop Century. Is it children's? Probably. Yeah, it looks like it. Yep. So the only resort I see where they you can like build your own Easter basket is Wilderness Lodge. Yep. I was curious if they were doing it over here because I know they did in previous years. That's interesting. Okay. I like this ornament. Yeah, that is cool. The giant Mickey phone. Okay. Well, I just wanted to pop in and see that. Yeah. I guess we could walk this way, go to the buses. See what the situation is. Oh, this is kind of a nice Pop Century shirt, though. Oh, that's fun, yeah. Yeah. Look at the... Um, oh, that's pretty cool. That's Pop cool Century. Basket. Yeah. You Easter get a Skyliner. Basket. little Sky yeah. Desk Skyliner. Hmm. It's 119 total. Oh, okay. You get the basket, you get everything. With the discount supplying, I think. So, it's not bad. Interesting. anybody really really likes munchlings there's a oh disney springs oh there was i'll catch a up with you prepaid munchling or pre-made munchling basket i'll take the figment one stand by while we try to catch this bus Oh, nice. All right. I think we're good. Oh, welcome, Norm. I dropped my phone. There's goo. Crazy Lizzie are here. Yeah. Welcome. Hopefully you guys are doing good. Welcome to our Easter celebration. We're so glad you can come along on our very adventurous adventure. Hello. Thank you. Just go here for an hour. Okay, yeah, that's fine. We need to move we can. Okay. I am pretty tired. You are? I'm getting a little tired. I'm just hungry. We could eat something at Disney Springs. Yeah. We could get um chicken guy or blaze or something. Or if there's something on mobile order. Get eat. We're good. Go get a pizza there. Look at the um, Rubik's cube ball yeah. going That's cool. We are on our way to the source of inspiration itself. Disney the Springs. The bubbling springs that yeah. attracted the settlers. Mm -hmm. um, so many years ago. Oh, Summer House. Yeah, I want a cookie. Yeah, oh, that's true. We'll have to go get cookies. I tried their um, cinnamon roll cookie the other day. It was good. It was pretty good. Oh, you tried it? Yeah. yeah. You left some of it for me. I tried it. It was good. It was, um, yeah, it was, it was pretty good. It was like this, kind of like a snicker roll cookie, but it had a glaze on it, like a cinnamon roll. Excuse me. Can I hold it? Yeah. 
so dark. I'm trying to find some way to make it all look brighter. Any better? Oh, Pizza Ponte sounds good too. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. Oh, that, that's true. I mean, I've taken cookies or pictures of most of the cookies. I didn't take one of the cinnamon roll, but I'm sure that'll be easy fix if we need it. So when is the 30th anniversary of Lion King? Like, what is the actual day? Let me see. Lion King, 1994. Oh, June 24th. Oh, okay. We should go on the 24th and, like, make a full video of it. You know, ever since Summer House opened, I haven't really been going to Gideon's very much. Mm -hmm. I like Gideon's more, but I think it's just not worth waiting. It's hard to justify yeah. waiting and... <coughs> Excuse me. They play over by World of Disney, the marketplace area, I think. It's kind of like a, I don't know, like a shopping version of classic Disney music. It's weird. So over in Disneyland, they play this music in Tomorrowland, which I think is kind of an odd choice, but I don't know. They have like a Tomorrowland stage, and they play all this music, which I find kind of strange. Remember that? Huh? They play this music in Tomorrowland at Disneyland. Yeah, yeah. The music choices at Disneyland were just weird all around. Like, That's, I don't know. I think it's just not what we're used to. Downtown Disney was kind of weird too. Yeah. Like in the world of Disney, they were playing like um, the music that they play outside of Hollywood Studios, mm -hmm. like that orchestra, jazzy type thing. heading over to Disney Springs, so feel free to stay tuned, we will be getting there very soon. And once we do, we have a lot to discuss. Lots to eat, a lot to discuss, a lot to shop. It'll be a good time, it's been a great night tonight. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the stream. Uh, as we said earlier, we'll be live again tomorrow, probably early. So feel free to join us. That will be tomorrow. If you remember, join us around 1.30 for our member mini golf competition. And then, um, no, we're on Easter. We might have an Easter stream. If we do have one, it'll be smaller, probably in the evening. I'm not sure yet. Matt will probably not be with me. Yeah, I want to go to Typhoon again. One of these days. Apparently they got like a new menu at most of their restaurants. They have a lot of fun like Thai food, Lagoon, exclusive foods. It was great. One day we went to Blizzard Beach. It was off camera, but we went, I think it might have been after a stream or something. We were hungry when we went over there and we got lunch. We got, um, one of the places had a basket. It was a bucket and the bucket was themed to like water parks and we got a bucket full of wings. And it was good. We, we shared the bucket. We shared the wings. Matt, let me keep the bucket as a souvenir. I mean, what more could he want? That was incredible. And then afterwards, we got to just hang around the Wizard Beach. I love the water parks. I've been to them multiple times. I've rarely ever swam. 
I just go to enjoy the atmosphere because I like walking around, which is kind of weird. But it's you know, one of these days I'm planning. I just want to go and just relax and go in the water. But it takes a lot for me to like pack clothes and do all the different things. So I don't know. It takes a little bit of dedication. Oh, good question, Jeff. Me, personally, I love Blizzard Beach more just because I feel like it's, it's more themed. But I think if you're looking for more, like, rides... I, I'm not an expert by any means. I haven't really been on too many of the rides. I've only been on one of the rides over at Typhoon Lagoon, which is pretty cool. But if you want theming, I think theming definitely goes to Blizzard Beach. But I think if you want rides and, like, actual water, I think Typhoon Lagoon is a good one. I like just walking around Pleasure Beach. I also like the mini golf next door. I think that's really cool. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, if anyone else has any like stronger opinions on any of the water parks, but I think that's a pretty good analysis. Yeah, so starting in 2025, if you book a Disney Resort, the first day of your resort stay, you get a free water park ticket. Everyone in the package, right? Do what? So if you book a Disney Resort in 2025, you get the water park on the first day for yeah. everyone? Yeah, yeah. Everyone in your party? It's everyone not packages either. Reservation. You don't have to get like a full package. You I just need to, no, yeah. Just a okay. Resort. But it's only the day you check in, so you kind of have to be strategic if you want to take advantage of it. And look at man. Glad he could join us here today. Hopefully, you're having a good day so far. We are very close to Disney Springs. at Disney Springs very soon. We're about to um, turn left into the bus loop area. Oh, that's awesome, Lisa. Yeah, Tiana's is coming by, coming along very nicely. It's very cool though, because literally every single day, there's something different going on over there. Same with Epcot, like, they're moving ahead, like, rapidly on Communicore Hall. So those two things, it's kind of fun to watch some progress. But we'll see. I think it's gonna be uh, interesting to see if they end up keeping beignets around for their attraction. Alright, perfect. Well, 
welcome everyone to Disney Springs. I can say I am indeed very inspired. Oh, man. I haven't even gotten inside yet. The source of inspiration mm -hmm. is that's, that's the nickname Disney Springs has. And truly, the self. it is the source of inspiration. Like, mm -hmm. I'm inspired. I don't know what I'm inspired to do, but I'm inspired, which is pretty exciting. So, enjoy all the fun, all the Disney Springs. I gotta use the restroom. All the cookies. Point. It'll be pretty fun. I have to as well. Okay. Well, let's go over by Amaretz. Okay. And. Yeah, sorry for the lag, everyone. It wasn't that bad, I don't think. It was oh, just a couple we had seconds. lag? Yeah, but it was just right when we were, right, right when the bus was like getting in the parking lot. Oh. And it was giving the thing where it said, wait 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. So, so we're back. We're good. All the people waiting outside of support. <coughs> Is this a coincidence or like... Maybe it's a big group. Inspire us with a Goo and Matt intro. Or like no. the I'm I'm Goo. I guess so. Well, if you guys are watching, we'll get a little flip here. <laughs> Hold on, I need to switch my hand. Here we go. I'm Goo. That's I'm Matt. Matt. And you're you. And we're bringing you guys along on a fun night here tonight. We're glad you all could come along. I'm wearing my cheese hat. Because it's such a rare occasion. It's such, such a fancy, fun night here tonight. So White pig smells very good. It does. I don't like barbecue. I'm very, very particular with these things. You don't like what? Barbecue food. Uh, but white pig does smell good. You like Whispering Canyon. I like Whispering Canyon because it's all you can eat barbecue. But that being said, thank you guys for coming along. It has been a good day today. And um, yeah, feel free. If there's anything you guys want to see, if there's any store, if there's any shop, if there's any other than the Beverly float or something, um, for the most part, we'll do our best to do it tonight. So enjoy the stream. I'm Goo, for those who don't know. And have a good, have a nice night. Enjoy the stream, whatever I'm saying. Little flip. There we go. What are you looking forward to seeing Disneyland? First of all, where we came in at? the food. I want to go to the San Francisco area yeah. and get the food there. I want to go to Tiana's and get the food there. Maybe I'll get that goofy plate you can buy. Uh oh. Um, we'll have to consult with Disney Daddy. I want to go. About no, that no. I want to get the. Um, I want a corn dog. I want some churro toffee. I want a churro. I want. To go to the Adventureland Treehouse, I want to. Um, I don't know. You really just need to eat when you're there. Yeah, it's the number one priority. Well, here's the thing. I don't like barbecue. But to have a restaurant like Whispering Canyon where you can go and get like a feast lay before you, it's kind of a novelty. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't, and also at the same time. Do you want to look at the panna cotta real quick and I'll use the restroom yeah, and then yeah. you can go after that? Yeah. You can get it if you want to. Yeah, let's go inside. Oh, Cars Land is great. I want to ride. Yeah, I want to ride. Here, I'll tell you my challenge. Oh, look at the Easter cake. We should get one of those. Twenty dollars. Yeah, so, um, Play Pig is still good. Like, if you don't like barbecue, it's still pretty. You can find something good there. I recommend if you feel like me, try it out. But, um, 
Disneyland, it's fun. So over at Disneyland, at the Avengers area, they have like a little thing you can get. It's like a sandwich. And it's kind of like a slice of a sandwich, but if you, I think you can buy like the full sandwich and the sandwich is meant to look, it's meant to look like it's like a slice of a giant sandwich because it's like Ant-Man themed. So it's supposedly like a, um, a grown sandwich that's too big. So I wanted to do, I wanted to go get the giant sandwich and try and eat the sandwich with some people and then go ride the Ferris wheel that swings around and like see if we can survive it without, I don't know, just enjoying it and it would be fun. Beth Roper, welcome Beth Roper, hopefully you're doing good today. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a great Friday so far. We're starting the weekend off right with some fun Easter celebrations. So we're having a good time. Hopefully you guys are all doing good. Hopefully you all are having a great day so far. Matt is running to the restroom. We were starting to get a little bit of lag, but it's been, it's been pretty good, I think, for the most part. I think one of us is going to run and get it once we find that. So let's look at the cake. This one looks really good too. This is for um, Women's History Month. It's a Tiana cake. It's layer vanilla, cinnamon cream, cheese mousse, bourbon, caramel mousse, salted praline crunch. That, that looks, looks good. good. Yeah. And then on the back, which is the one we saw when we were inside, is the bunny cake, which is vanilla, berry compote, and cream cheese mousse. That sounds good too. It looks very fun. It's a very fun design. But that's not what we're here for. I know. So, um, remember Disney, Disneyland? We yeah. should get that giant sandwich from the um, oh, Avengers. From, yeah. And then go on the um, swingy carousel and see if we can survive without like getting sick or anything. Yeah. That would be fun. Okay, so I was starting to get a little bit of lag in there. It wasn't anything major. Okay. But um, maybe one of us should go pick it up. Uh, you can go if you want. Or I can go. I don't care. Let me see if they have mobile order. Yeah. There's the poutine place. I like the poutine. What? I like the poutine place. You want to get some poutine? Oh. You said you were hungry. So the Easter petite cake is 22. Mm-hmm. And what we're Canada getting, let me see. It doesn't look like it. Nice. I hope they have it. They could be out of it. Okay, do you mind if I go look? Yeah, that's fine. We'll clip I'll this hang around here. out here. Talk about I'm going to go look at the poutine and see what kind of poutine they have. Oh, you know what else we need to do at Disneyland? we got to go to the sit-down Earl of Sandwich. They have like a um, sit-down restaurant now. I think, yeah, somewhere there they have a sit-down. And then the Tortilla Joe's is closing soon, so I don't know if that'll be replaced by then. That'll be interesting to see. Buffalo chicken poutine, Italian, Canadian. The butter chicken poutine is good, 1049. Korean barbecue. Lots of good-looking poutines. Amaretz cake or Gideon's cake. Goo would probably choose a Gideon's cake. I would probably choose an Amaretz cake. I I haven't really had a Gideon's cake that I liked that much. I don't know. Maybe I just had a bad one, but... Amaretz actually did offer mobile order, but the, what you call, just wasn't on there, the panna cotta or whatever it is we're getting. Poutine is just um, fries or chips or whatever you call them with cheese curds and sauce. And then you can put other toppings on there as well. Yeah, 
I haven't had the boutine at um La Cellier, so I don't I don't know. I don't think I've even had it at the refreshment port. So I really couldn't tell you. I had it one time, but I don't remember it. But I do enjoy the poutine here. It's usually pretty good. Oh, the Mexican restaurant already closed. I thought that they were having some kind of... Yeah, that's true. They, they were having like a celebration for their last day. And it was a few days ago, I think. Or it was at some point. Yeah, I'll be interested to see if they replace the Tortilla Joe's by the time we get there. We ate that Tortilla Joe's when we were there last time. I don't think we filmed it. And it was it was decent. Like, I would have eaten there again. It wasn't anything unique. But it was good enough. Your typical Mexican restaurant that you would expect to see in, like, um, a shopping mall, I guess. Probably around the quality of like other chain ones like Choi's or ones like that. Yeah, Francois sent us some um, some mix to make poutine sauce. Gu ruined one of them, I think. It seems like he burned one of them. And then, or maybe he didn't, I don't remember. We might have some more around the turkey poutine. I don't think we ended up having that. They had a poutine that sounded good for this festival. The, oh, the um, buffalo chicken poutine. But it was with impossible buffalo chicken tenders. But um, we heard it was not good. There's goo with his panna cotta. With the panna cotta itself. Taking a microphone. Right. You want that table there? Or? Uh, yeah, I guess so. You want to go somewhere else? We can go. We could see if one of those tables. There's not are a lot of bright areas around here. That's so the problem. I was looking for somewhere where you can see what you're. Go over by Earl of Sandwich, maybe. Let's go by this wall over here and see if we can just sit on the okay. brick because it's lit up over there. Yeah. Wait, where? By um. I'm talking about right here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is a little bit better. Oh, I forgot a spoon. Nice. You want to go get uh, one? Or you I'll want get me? one from the poutine. Oh yeah, place. the poutine place should have them. Yeah. Okay. So, somebody was asking who has better poutine. Yeah. Here or La Cellier? I haven't been to La Cellier. Well, what about the refreshment port? The refreshment port, I think it's better here. I haven't tried refreshment port in a while. Yeah, that's what I was saying. You want to go to this game or you want to sit here? Sure. Let me get my spoon. Oh, oh yeah. I'm going the wrong way. Okay. They only have forks. Nice. I um, need the proper utensils for panna cotta. It'll work. Okay. So let me stop here. I'll say one thing. If you ever go to Emirates, no matter what you get, if you get it to go, it comes in a fancy box, fancy bag with a wrapping. We're going to open this box. We'll show everything. I know lighting isn't the greatest, but just stay with us. We'll see. That's good enough see. for now. So it comes in the box. And then, there it is. Hold on. It has, oh, look at it. Oh, like, looks um, kind of interesting. That's kind of fun. It yeah. has like, um, like a jelly bean on it. So you can yeah. see it looks like the Easter Bunny hmm. is jumping into it. Looks pretty good. I'm going to read the description just so we know what we're getting into. But this was like $8. I know a little bit pricier, but it is panna cotta, which is a little bit of a... Um, Interesting. There are layers of passion fruit, coconut, and strawberry panna cotta, and a little thing with a little Easter bunny on it. So, I'm gonna get into this. We'll see how it turns out. fresh and when I say fresh I don't mean like fresh like they just made it I mean like fresh flavors 
I love panna cotta because it's light and it's not too like horrifying or like too too heavy. Oh, there you go. There might be a little bit much coconut, but it goes nicely with the um, passion fruit. There's a world of Disney itself. I hope they have um, a better selection of merchandise at Disneyland this time. I remember last time we were there, well, everyone was having um, like supply issues. Here they were having it too. But everything I wanted was sold out in my size. I remember being in World of Disney there. I couldn't find anything. You want to go look in there while I finish this? Look at what? World of Disney. Yeah. Can I leave the egg? Mm -hmm. Don't forget the button. Oh. Um. All right. Let's see. Before we head in, we are going to buffer it because we sometimes have a little bit of lag in there. Well, give me one second. I gotta pull the chat up on my phone because I haven't looked at it in a little bit. And I gotta turn it off on here. Alrighty. If we had, if we do have any lag, just let me know in the chat. Say lag. Because I might not be, usually when we buffer, we can't tell if there's lag or not. It doesn't tell us. Good amount of people in here. Not overly busy, but pretty busy. All right, let me get this chat. Oh, membership giveaway coming out. 400 likes. Make sure your settings are set to allow gifts. That's awesome. Sorry. Are you good? I like this bucket hat. It's spear jersey. Is that a sticker or is that like permanently on there? That's kind of weird, but like the rest of it is nice. Look at this one. I wonder if this is the one Drew saw earlier. What's it? Oh, it says the first Avenger. And then is this? Is that also Captain America? I guess so. It has the wings. That one's kind of neat. This one is Iron Man and it glows in the dark. I haven't seen any of these before. They must all be new. Spider-Man one. There's goo. You want to take your microphone? Yeah. There we go. So there's all the... That was a... Oh, that's the one. The one with the A is the one I was talking about. Yeah, and then that one's Captain America too. The oh, one above it. Okay. That one's pretty cool. And then there's a um, Iron Man one that... Yeah. And that one glows in the dark. Oh, that's the Iron cool. Man one. Yeah. yeah. A lot of Marvel stuff for sure. Yeah. There's my. And it looks pack. like um, Mama Goo gifted five memberships. Oh great! Thank, Thank you, you so much, Mama Goo. Congratulations to all the new members. If you guys don't know, Mama Goo is actually our mom. Yeah. And she is one of um, she's the chat boss. Yeah. As we call her. So. Thank you, Mama Goo. We Look, they have the um everything. The cheese bucket hat. Yeah. So those are still around. Excuse me. Did they have your sunglasses? Oh, sorry. I don't it's see so them. tight in here. Yeah, it is tight. It's busy right now. 
Every single place had them. I don't know where they all yeah, went. Yeah, they're all, it's like sold out everywhere now. I'm tempted to get out of here. Yeah. I'm tempted to agree with you. And make a beeline for the exit. Okay. We can go to um, co-op. Yeah, co-op and the pin store. But this is too much here. So I liked my panna cotta. Very nice. So I was wondering. I thought it was good. Um, yeah, flavors were good. I, the more I got into it, the more I realized why there was so much coconut. It kind of countered the um, intensity of the passion fruit. So it was a pretty nice, good flavors together. I love the creativity, though. It works really cool uh, when you get... First of all, something that looks really cool, but also something that tastes pretty good, too. So good, this one over here. I liked it. It was $8, but as far as flavor and quality, it was pretty decent. Oh, they have all the parks, um, these cups, the Starbucks ones. Yeah. Look at the Animal Kingdom one. I like that. Yeah. Oh, it's got Mickey on it. Oh, nice guy. Oh, and Dinosaur. Oh, that's fun, yeah. And Safari. That's a cool one. you were showing okay let's go in co-op okay. and then I'm hungry so I need to find my food yeah <coughs> I don't really like chicken guy very much well do you want to go to it's um, all right I'll eat it, it if I I don't hate it or anything. eat eat would be my choice but it's up to you As much as I like eat, they probably don't have a line. So. Yeah, that's true. Wait, what? As I, I like them, but they probably don't have a line, so I'd probably walk right up. Look at this. That's fun. Yeah. Look over here. I want to show something. Hold on, they have Tigger too. So. And Piglet. What's this one? I don't know Eeyore. what's going on. What? Oh, why are these numbered? This, makes, this is confusing. It's different, but... Look, it says six, and that's six. I feel like you'd be able to know what it is. I don't, I don't know. know. Some of them, not really. It makes it easier, I think. No? That's fun. I wish it squeezed. Mm-hmm. Um, Look at the wallet. Yeah, this is cool. Oh, it's like a chain wallet. Wow. Well, yeah. Yeah. There you go. If you like Pizza Planet and you mm -hmm. like wallets, what more could you want? It's the perfect combo, I guess. Oh, welcome, Jungle Juice. Oh, Jungle Juice. Oh, welcome, Jungle, Jungle Juice will be here in seven days. Oh, that's awesome. That's great. Well, hopefully you have a good time. Yeah. Thanks for coming in today. Hopefully you enjoy a little bit of Disney Springs and whatever else we've been doing. All the nonsense we've been getting into.
Remember when this was a Croc store for a second? The what? It was a Croc store for a couple days. Yeah, for a little while it was just Crocs over here. Hmm. Maybe they'll start making this shirt in adult size someday. And then Goo can get one. That's yeah, interesting. Now this is like a pin store. It's kind of the... This, um... It just seems like whatever merchandise they want to put. That's those, um... Oh, it's a Nuimo Nuimo thing. I was curious, because I saw it, like, they have it on display attached to <coughs> um, like, bag. So I didn't know if, um... It was we're, supposed to somehow... What? You are losing it? So oh, we're fine right now. Yeah, we're fine now. A lot of stitch stuff for sure. Let's, um, I want to look at these design, the tech things. We this haven't been to Drawn to Life. I really want to go. Oh, yeah, it's on my list of things. Oh, hi, James. Oh, James. Hi, James. Hopefully you're doing good. Okay, Magic Band. Okay, you have a couple other ones. I'm always looking for new ones. You have a Haunted Mansion one that's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Now that I'm trying to show it, but like the stabilizer's acting up. Oh, that one's pretty cool. Okay, not too much new. Alright. The problem is with Drawn to Life, we can't film it. Yeah. And it's, it's a little pricier, so like, if, if we're gonna spend a lot of money on something, we think that'd be better if we could film it. So we could bring you guys along. <coughs> oh, hi, Captain Tuttle. Oh, Captain Tuttle. Welcome. And wishes Hopefully forever. You're doing good. Hi, wishes forever. Welcome to the Disney Spring Stream thing. I'm still, I'm still have to get my useless junk, which is good. Yeah. It's not every day this happens. Who has better churros? The Sunshine Churro here or Nomad Lounge? I don't think I've, I, ha I've actually had either of them. I haven't, I've had the Sunshine Churro here, it was fine. Um, but I've heard some, I haven't tried Nomad Lounge, but I've heard so many good things. Mm -hmm. So I think the, the answer that I can't say anything towards, but I think is true, would be Nomad Lounge. Probably. I think. Any new pins? I like the test track one on the second, the last yeah, room. Yeah, yeah. And the um, River Rapids River one. Rapids, yeah. yeah. Those are cool. I like this one. Animal it's a, a um, puzzle one. Puzzle, yeah. It's puzzle pieces, and but they're random, so. That's the problem. You can't like get all the yeah. pieces. You have to know peop other people who are collecting and yeah, trade with to them. Yeah, trade. All right, this is new. I, I think it's Wreck It Ralph. That's interesting. Okay. Always like the mystery pins. Those are always really fun. Oh, what characters do I like? I don't know. I guess Mickey Mouse. Of what? Or just in general? Yeah. Um, I like Cha Cha at the oh, Rainforest. Oh, Cha Cha. Yeah, Cha Cha is a one. nice guy. Yeah, Cha Cha is a nice guy. Mickey Mouse. Donald is my, my one of my yeah, favorites. Donald's a nice guy, too. I like Donald. I like Cha Cha. Um, I don't know. That's a good question. One time we went to a character breakfast at um, Universal, and Squidward was there. Oh, Squidward was And that was, was one of my favorite character interactions I've ever had. You can meet him, but like I don't, I don't have the patience to wait in a line yeah. to meet people, even when it's short. But um, I remember I told Squidward something about Squilliam, because Squilliam is Squidward's nemesis, mm -hmm. and Squidward got really mad, and he mm -hmm. like it was fun. So do you want to go to eat? Uh, I'm fine with it. If you're, I'm That's fine. To you. I'm fine either way. I'm hungry and okay. I like eat, so okay, that works good for me. I feel like we eat there every stream, but it's it's good. 
I haven't eaten here in a long time. Yeah. I ate here on my um, stream where I talked about, oh, look look how busy it is. Yeah. Oh, it smells so good. Hello. Just, two. Just two, yep. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, there's a pretty, more people here than I expected. That's nice to see. Do you know what you want? Um, I don't know. What do you want? I'll probably get the pizza. Okay. Are you gonna? Do you want me to? Or are you doing your clipping your microphone? Well, if you want to go get the table, okay. I can order if you know what you want. I guess I'll take. Uh, I either want the pizza or the poutine. What do you think? Well, I can get a poutine, and okay. then we can have a little bit of. Okay, like share it. Yeah. Yeah, that works. Okay. Um, I don't want to drink. I don't think to you. No drink at all. All right. Um. I want to look at their special menu. Don't they have like a seasonal menu? I don't know. What's that one say? They're kind of welcome. So. The Christmas stores next door, they have Christmas stuff year-round, which is pretty fun. I'm going to try the um, lemon pomegranate cardamom drink. Huh. No, oh, maybe I won't. I'll see. Sounds good. It's um, like the can that I got before. So is it alcoholic or no, yeah, it's not? No, it's just a... I guess I'll take that too. Uh, chicken tikka naan. I'll take one of these too. Okay. Do you have the gift card? Yes. Grab some napkins. Oh yeah, Pluto is a good, nice dog. Earl, I like the um, the holiday sandwich is pretty good. I don't know. I haven't been there in a while, honestly. But I always used to get that one a lot. Keep running shy, welcome. Yeah, so that's where you get on the boat to go to Saratoga, Port Orleans, and Old Key West, I believe. Oh, no, you're good in Canada. Yeah, it's, it's always fun. I love Disney Springs. It's always fun to have the store over there. But yeah, they keep everything up. It's kind of disorienting sometimes. But this is where they make the food. It's kind of like a almost semi open kitchen concept over here. And uh, it's kind of more like if you've been to Plate Pig where you kind of, sorry, where you order and then they kind of bring you your food and they kind of almost serve you. So you kind of do want to kind of tip too. So. Oh, I wanted that goofy thing. What okay, it's fine. Oh, uh, whatever. O orange, whatever. You got the cookie, though, right? Yeah, the cookie I got. Okay, good. I just didn't get any That's drinks. The, you got the important stuff. Okay, let's go get a table. Oh, over there's fine. It's up to you. I would go outside. These are all reserved. No reason. Yep. I got some napkins. There. <coughs> oh, 
I'm excited for my cookie. Do you see it was a um, carrot cake cookie for Easter? Yeah, yeah. Tara, Tara, welcome, Tara. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully, you're having a good day so far. We are currently here at Eat, getting a very nice meal. So, you didn't get any drinks at all? No. Okay, I'll have to go get a water in a minute. Okay. There we go. Yeah, lighting is very weird when you come here at night, like when we're filming. Um, the light you're seeing behind me is security, so that's why there's so much light over there. Let me try and open my phone, get the chat going. Matt's doing something. Oh yeah, the turkey sandwich, a holiday turkey. Mm -hmm. That Earl is always pretty decent. Look at that photo on. Oh, that's pretty cool. Was I wonder. I don't think. I wonder if we should. I guess it's a bigger table. I want to pick it up. Yeah, that's all right. All right. Lighting's kind of weird over here because of that thing. Uh, we'll go to one of the round tables, maybe. Oh yeah, that's not bad. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna flip it. We're gonna get to a better table. That's true. I'm gonna come back for my back. But yeah, they have like a little photo op here, which is pretty cool. There's the elephant, the eat elephant itself. Oh, you got my back, thank you. I think preserve just means it's been clean. Okay. I think. Oh, you never brought, got your microphone back. You never took your microphone after you ordered? Okay, we're good. Well, thanks again for joining us, everyone. We are currently the only people sitting outside here at EAT. And EAT always brings the good enjoyment, so it'll be good to see how it turns out today. Um, okay, we're good. A little bit darker here, but it's not perfect. We'll, we'll be good. You was playing musical tables. I know. Musical tables. Well, you keep wanting to jump from table. Look, to I'm table. sitting in front of the photo op, which is pretty cool. Well, do you have a receipt or something? I don't think so. Okay. Why? I was gonna go over what we got. I think we just got the pizza. We got the poutine and the, the pizza poutine. and the cookie. Okay. And I'm gonna go get a water. Okay. Is that okay? Do you want one? I think I'm okay. Okay. I'll be back. Put it on you. It was about forty dollars, which I don't think is terrible. I mean, anywhere you go here, it's gonna be that much. A roll, I guess, is like eight bucks, which isn't that bad for a sandwich. Um, but I don't even know how much the cookie was. I think the flatbreads like. 15 or something, 12 or 15, and the poutine's probably about the same. Fairly affordable for what it is. It's good food too, it's not like that weird or different. I think a lot of people are kind of afraid of it because it seems like it's, like, oh, it's Indian food, it's different or strange, but it's not. It's, they have something that can appeal to everyone, I think. The pizza is very good. The pizza is my personal favorite. Yeah. Um, I'll say sometimes I come here and I'm like, oh, I'm going to get the pizza. And it's not as good as it was before. But, but it's always still, like, like good. Even in its worst, it's always like very good. It's one of my favorite things to get here. So trim this stuff. There we go. We got a little bit more brightness there. Okay. We're good. Put it like, yeah, I guess that works. Well, if you guys are coming in, we are here at Eat. And yeah, so if you guys don't know, the chef is named Manit. And Eat yep. is kind of a play on words because it's you're eating. 
and also her name is Eat. Her name is Manit. Manit, which, I mean, works out pretty good. So if you guys haven't been here, this is one of my favorite spots here at Disney Springs. I love coming here. So it's, it's a pretty good experience. We'll show you guys all the food. As I said earlier, it is more like a um, polite pig style restaurant where you order, they give you a pager, and then they kind of serve you. They kind of come out, they bring you things, they bring yeah, you your better food. better make room, I think. That's... Yeah, it looks like our food is coming. So. Hello. What do you got? Yes. Yep. Perfect. Yep. Sounds good. Yes. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Okay. Do you want to flip it and show everything first? Yeah. Oops. Is it gonna flip? There we go. Okay. So that is the um, butter chicken poutine. I think is what it is. And it's pretty good. Um, yeah. The one complaint that everyone had was. They said there wasn't enough chicken on it, which I can kind of see, but we'll see as we get into it. This is the chicken something non- Chicken tikka non pizza. That, yeah. Yeah. This is really good. This is my favorite. That doesn't- You can see it's on- Names. Non. And then that is a um, carrot cake cookie. Yep. Something like that. When I was paying the lady that was up there recognized me. Remember? Uh, oh, from when we were here the first time? Yep. Oh. Every time we come in here, someone recognizes us because we were the first people ever <laughs> to um, <coughs> eat at this place. We were first in line the day that they opened, and we ordered, like, one of everything. <laughs> that was a fun day. Yeah. That was like a day before the walls came down to Epcot. Yeah. So we were like, we staying on property and it was great. It's good. Oh, Megan, welcome, Megan. Happy Easter. Glad oh, you could join us here tonight. So the, um, Oh, so far. Very Great. good. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Thank you. Oh, I see you got the cookie. Cookie's best part. We're good. Oh, oh yeah. we're excited. Did they tell you that one of our managers made them all? No. Yeah, the oh, guy that's running, running the kitchen line, he makes all of the cookies that we do for our specials. Oh, oh nice. nice. Cool. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It's promising. Yeah. Emily, welcome, Emily. Oh, welcome. So here's my thing. I'm not a big cilantro person. Mm -hmm. And they, I, I guess Indian food is very reliant on cilantro. I guess so, because they put it on everything. They put it on everything. I don't really get it. Everyone says it tastes like soap. I don't really get the soap, but I kind of get the idea of soap behind it, but it's not like fully soap for me. Mm -hmm. It's just a weird flavor that I don't really like. So... That's my biggest complaint. Other than that, the poutine is full of, the sauce is good. Even the sauce with the fries is good enough for me, even if there, there wasn't a lot of chicken. Mm, it looks really good. You want some? Maybe I'll have some in a little bit. I'm enjoying the pizza. Pickles, welcome pickles. There's the cheese. <clears throat> oh, and LP Disney's here. Welcome, LP Disney. Hopefully, oh, you're having a good day so far. We were here at Eat by Manit at Disney Springs, one of our favorite restaurants. It's Getting good. some dinner. Yeah. I have the um, chicken tikka non flatbread pizza. Chicken tikka non pizza. The menu said flatbread. Did they change the name of it? I don't know, but it's I remember said when the menu came out, like I, I, when I tried it, I was like, oh, this is good. And I like memorized the name. Oh. Because I didn't remember what it was called when I was ordering. And so I was looking at the menu and it said flatbread. It's 
but it's got chicken, it's got cheese, it's got tikka sauce, I guess. I think so, James, but I think it's going to depend what kind of poutine you're looking for. This is definitely not your traditional poutine, I would say. I really think some there's something here that almost anyone can enjoy. They have a lot of options and it's not really that like different or bizarre or unique. It's good food. I know Mama Goo is not a big fan of like the spicy. She just doesn't flavors. like yeah, the flavors. Yeah. So if you're that type of person you might not find something. But if you're trying to get into Indian food, or if you've never tried it before, this is a good place to come. Mm -hmm. A little bit more tamer, but also having some good flavor. I don't think this is something like um, Stev would normally eat, Yeah. but he enjoyed it. The only thing I can complain about is the cilantro, but even then, I always say, like, oh, maybe next time I'll see if they can get no cilantro. They probably they I would. Do it. I always forget that there's cilantro and really like i don't think the the flavor of the cilantro on this doesn't bother me the texture, texture yeah. a little bit okay let me get another right oh see he called it the chicken digging pizza they must have changed it he's gonna need some correctional training okay can I have a slice of pizza if you have mm -hmm. some of this? I'm going to take some of that cilantro you can just take. So how is the texture of the naan? Is it crispy? Is it... The what? The texture of the naan. Sometimes I come it's here... It's not super crispy. And sometimes it's like the perfect everything. Mm -hmm. That's why I came one time. It was like wonderful. Mm -hmm. And then every time I get it, like it may not be perfect, but it still tastes really good. It's not really spicy at all, actually. It has a little bit of spice to it, but it's not overly spicy. This was spicy, wasn't it? Something Here, we had this. was really spicy. I don't remember what it was. John, welcome, John. Oh, hello. Hopefully you're doing good. Did you eat all the chicken? No, sir. So. Must be invisible. It kind of tastes like the uh, the sauce on the pizza is a little bit tamer. Like, I don't really taste it very much. Maybe. It seems like sometimes I come here, and the flavor is not as strong as it usually is, which I feel like is a weird thing, weird consistency thing. Mm-hmm. This is good. Mm -hmm. The poutine is really nice. I haven't had anything um, since it, the day it reopened, we had everything, mm -hmm. or the day it opened. <laughs> but since then, all I've had is the um, flatbread, and um, we actually came here on Christmas, and I got, I share the walking taco with Stev. Was that good when you got it again? Yeah, it was as good as the first time. I didn't really, the walking taco had um, some stuff on it that I didn't care for, like, um, I think it had, like, onions and like it had a Indian um, pico de gallo and I don't really like onions and tomatoes so I didn't like that but that I think was spicy I think that was the thing that was yeah really that had spicy. a good spice to it mm -hmm. Susan, welcome, Susan. Oh, Pickles is saying, where are you guys? We are here at Disney Springs at Eat by Manit. 
one of our favorite places to dine at Disney Springs. There's an elephant right there. Mm -hmm. That's their mascot. You can kind of see him. Okay. Who is older out of y'all? I am. Yeah, he's old. Yep. Older and wiser as someone says, Disney Daddy O or um, Jeff. Jeff, I think, is the one that usually says that. Um, okay. For me, the poutine was better this time. Uh, it's just inconsistent, I think. But even then, like, I think the pizza was pretty, still pretty solid. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just disappointing that I, I guess it's just, it, it's not realistic to expect it to be the same every single time. Yeah. But um, I'll just say I had it one time and it was, like, perfect, and that set the expectations so high for me. That being said, I still here think this is, is really the good. cookie. Yeah, I still think it's very, good. It's very, very The poutine was very good, too. I like that. But here's the cookie. Are. This is a carrot cake cookie, and it is personally made by the manager. Oh, this is heavy. Gosh. Feel this. It looks thick. Mm-hmm. This it's is like dense. a Gideon's cookie. How much was this? I'd say it's more like a crumble. It's kind of crumble style. Do you mind if I just like take a bite? Yeah, go ahead. Ooh. Is it good? You want to take a bite of that side? I'm going to investigate it to see if it has any sign of carrots. Looks if like it it's does, safe. it's very... Matt should be known as the wise man. Mm-hmm. It's not wise. It has some, like, spice to it. Like a it weird... is good. It's almost like... That cream cheese, or this cream cheese on top is extremely rich and flavorful. Mm. Um, that was your bite, right? I don't think so. I think the other, oh. that was, yeah, that's your bite. It's extremely thick and dense, but it's also extremely soft. It is good. Um, I think that's like sweet potato on top. Yeah, like there's some really cool, like really good spices in the middle of this thing. Like it's not your average cookie. I know the other day they had a um, white chocolate cookie. Should have tried that. That would probably have been good. Welcome, Randy. Oh, we are Randy. we are indeed back at eat again. They're gonna have me back every week if they keep yeah. doing these cookies. We need to come to the um, event that they do. <laughs> if they keep doing it, maybe we'll come eventually. But they, so it's a. Uh, like, I don't remember how many courses. It's like a meal, like an actual sit-down meal Monique hosted comes, by Monique. She, she cooks, comes, you the she meal. cooks the food, yeah. Um, and she comes and she does a meet and greet. And I'm sure she, like, comes out and walks you through each course, like, talks about it. Um, it's $250 a person. Which I don't, like, for that type of thing. Like, when I think they have an event at Morimoto Asia, where Morimoto comes and cooks a meal. And that's like five thousand um, dollars, so it's not an unreasonable amount of money for what you're getting, for like what the expectation is for that price of that type of experience. It's just a lot of money. Oh, welcome, Martin. Hmm. How often does that happen? I think it. They do it every like. I don't know. They have a few scheduled right now. And I'm hoping they'll add more. I love that it's not your traditional carrot cake. Yep. It has some spice to it. Mm -hmm. Here's some more for you. I don't want to eat too much of it. <coughs> I'll it's say it's, ex it's the... extremely rich. I'm going to leave some more water. Okay. Will you get me some? Yeah. Mm. Clean up some of this stuff. Oops. Overall, I consider that a winner. I think it's a very good meal. I would, I'll keep coming back over and over again.
Thank you. This one's mine. Okay, yep. Are you done? Yeah. You done with everything? Yep. Are you? Yeah, there's a little bit of the cookie left, but I think it's it's extremely rich, and I don't think I can take any more at this yeah. point, honestly. So, sadly. It's a good cookie, but I would it's love good to share. to see a good cookie like this, but, like, I know they had, like, a white chocolate one. That one was yeah, really yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, that sounded good. Um, yeah, like, if they do a more traditional, I mean, I, of course, it's kind of like a, there's a lot of spins here. Like, they spin some traditional stuff with some um, different Indian style food. But um, it'd be cool to see like what other cookies they make. I guess their manager is very passionate about it too, so that's great. Yeah, I think the food was plenty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it was a good, good selection. Um, and the pizza is pretty filling for the most part, I would say. Yeah. Got to the trash. Thank you. Yep. Alright. Oops, I'm gonna flip that. Get things organized to get going. microphone on so you probably hear me. Uh. I'll say the cilantro if you don't like it, it can be very annoying. I'm gonna like write down somewhere. Yeah. To remind me next time to. I'm sure they can do it without, right? Yeah. Why wouldn't they just put it on top when yeah. it? Finish it. <coughs> Thank you. Oh, see, here we go. Those are the dates they're doing it at, as of now. I'm hoping they'll add more dates, but that's what huh. we're working with for now. Oops, sorry. It's getting attention, which is good. I think people are gonna come here, they're gonna like it. I hope so. <coughs> I like the shirts. I like the cookbook. Yeah, they have a cookbook, they have a bandana. The pin is really cool. Yeah. The pin of their mascot, the elephant. Did you see the... Um, Easter cocktail. Yeah, I was looking yeah, at it. There's a little, um, what do you, a peep in it. They had another one, um, like a chocolate cake cocktail. Oh, interesting. That sounded really good. Yeah. There's like a little With peep on vodka, it. Vodka, cherry vodka, coconut rum, heavy cream. Can we hold this for a second? I'm going to take a yeah. picture of the other drink they have. Okay. What do you think the best cookie at Summer House and best cookie at Gideon's? Okay. This is gonna get, um, okay. this is gonna get <coughs> interesting. So. What is the best cookie, or go ahead, you go first. No, nah, go ahead. I have a speech to say, oh, okay. tell your um, thing first. So it's the ultimate chocolate cake is what it's called. And it's a drink. It's cake vodka, white chocolate liqueur, half and half chocolate sauce and whipped cream. It looks really good. I almost got it, but um, I don't know how much it is. I didn't get that in the picture. Probably not cheap, though. Okay. Can you hold this? Yeah. I have to answer a very important question. Paula says, what do you think is the best cookie at Summer House and the best cookie at Gideon's? Gosh. It's a good question. Summer House, I think you have to go simpler the better. That's my experience that the more fancier ones can be good, but it's better to stay with the simpler one because the simpler ones are fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, go with the sea salt chocolate chip. Either the sea salt chocolate chip. I've really developed a liking for the chocolate walnut, I think it is. That one's very good too. That one is 
I like the M&M &M one too. That one's also pretty yeah. good. But the M&M &M one is just like a normal M&M <coughs> cookie. When it comes to Gideon's, I would say the more crazier you get, it's going to get better, I think. Sometimes. It depends. But I would say Gideon's, I would go for more adventurous ones. That being said, Gideon's chocolate chip is wonderful. I like their banana bread. Banana bread is great. Cookies and, and cream is one of my favorites. If you like Oreos or cookies and cream, I'm not a big Oreo person, but I love that flavor. Like cookies and cream ice cream is one of my favorites. The thing so. about Gideon's, though, it changes every month. So they have like their standard cookies that they have all the time, but <coughs> um, they have a new cookie every month. So it kind of fluctuates depending on the season. Oh, good question. Where is the drone show? The, the drone, drone show, show is going to be over oh, there. Put the graphic on the screen. Put the graphic on the screen. Okay, hold on. I have the so, graphic scene from here. Uh, drone. Well, hold on. Let me talk about okay, it. Okay, talk about well, it. Well, let's move a little bit because the speaker is right there. So I'm coming, not going to hug Tracy Tree. We don't need to not? go. No, we're not going. Coming well, either this year, what, May 22nd or something? They're going to have a new drone show out here over the water. Um, so I think it's more around the corner. Yeah, it's going to be more around well, the corner. Well, I have the from what I graphic on it, so I don't know how big it is. Oh. I don't know if it's covering the screen. Let me look. But that's the... It's loading. I'll take a second. Yeah. Um, well, it's going to be over on the west side. So if you don't wear um, Circus Soleil is... We'll walk over there. Yeah. We'll go over there and show. Maybe it didn't go up. I don't know if it ever... Oh, there we go. It just went oh, in the okay. corner. So you yeah. can see what I was... Yeah, yeah, that's the logo. So I think it's more like around the corner more kind of by summer house but it's going to be a drone show over the water i have a feeling you could probably see it from multiple different locations because it's going to be high in the sky but yeah at this point i don't know if you could see it from here because paddlefish is so tall mm -hmm. so it's going to be interesting to see like what's the best areas it's really going to depend we really don't know where it's yeah. gonna and i'm curious to see in the coming months um are we going to see testing of it I feel yeah. like we're going to have to. People are going to be seeing it from Saratoga Springs. Somebody told me that people are making a big deal. Like before this, before the drone show was announced, somebody saw a drone over here by Disney Springs. Interesting. And people were like, oh, what's going on? Is this mean there's drones coming? And then following afterwards is when, I guess like one drone flew up. Oh, and wow. they were like testing it. So I don't know how accurate that is, but that'll be pretty interesting. Like, it'll be interesting to see how much testing they'll do. Mm -hmm. I hope it's the same company that does the Disneyland Paris one because they opened an um, office in Orlando. Oh, it probably is then. Which, if it is, they do good quality work. Yeah. Let's go over this direction, because if nothing else, maybe we'll go to um, Summer House. I can't, and I check can't out get the... any more cookies at this point. Well, you don't need to eat it right now. You still need to get your Mickey bar. Nice. I guess we could delay those two to the next stream. I don't know, I feel like I could eat a Mickey bar right now. Well, I feel like both of those things can happen anytime, so like, yeah. we could always kind of delay it for now. And then you can sleep on the, the horror that I could buy whatever I want on any of these streams. I don't know about that. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much to Greg for the um, $9.99 Super Chat. Amazing stream. Thank you. Well, We're so glad we could bring you along. It's been a very fun night. Thank you so much. It's been awesome. Yeah. We're so glad to have you along with us. We've been going for... Like five and a half five hours? Five and a half, almost six hours, yeah. yeah. Trying to keep... If we can make six hours, like the new normal stream length... Mm -hmm. I mean, not every stream is going to be six hours, but like... If the majority of them could be, like... One or two, or maybe three six-hour streams a week. Mm -hmm. Plus... A couple three-hour, four-hour ones. I think that's a pretty good number.
So lately, oh, I, I don't remember what. Um, Kenny heard they were testing the other day at 1 a.m. Oh, interesting. So I don't know if they're getting new items or if I just now started seeing it, but I feel like lately on um, Instagram, Cooks of Dublin <coughs> has been posting pictures of all their menu items, and they all look really good. Look, cake be here. Homemade cheesecake. Oh, it's like a trio. That's fun. That looks good. The, um, oh, the bang, really good. bang bang chicken loaded chip sounds really good. Like, I feel kind of like, I don't know why, like, that meal filled me up. Like, I feel kind of full. Like, yeah, I'm pretty full. Walking in there, maybe I just drank too much. We'll have to come there sometime soon. Yeah. Maybe next time we do a shrimp at Disney Springs, we'll give a break for me. Well, we're so glad we could bring you along the list. We have yeah. so much fun on them. And we're glad you enjoy them. We've had so much fun with... Like today, Like it's, it's always fun to think of ideas like this with the egg... What do you think? I think the egg worked out uh, pretty well. I mean, it's fun to go to Magic Kingdom. But I like to kind of do different things. So it's always good. I like to get a little bit of a balance. Having your classic streams, having your historic streams. Whatever we may be doing, we just have fun. So we're glad we can bring you all along. Like to come to Morimoto. Mm -hmm. The thing about Morimoto, though, I feel like it's a place where you go and you order a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And those types of restaurants, the it just adds up so quickly. Like the Shiki Sai. That's true, yeah. I don't remember how much we spent there, like two or three hundred dollars. Well, we got the huge. We got the, we got the sushi bridge. The bridge, not the boat. And um, a bunch of other stuff. Homecoming is great. I love Homecoming. Yeah, Homecoming is nice. It's um, another one of those restaurants you go to and you kind of leave feeling kind of miserable because mm -hmm. it's it's a place you'll never leave full or never, never leave hungry. Mm -hmm. You'll always leave full. <coughs> It's a good value for the dining plan. Yeah. If you have it's a good point. Dining plan. It's a good good call. We went there when we had the dining plan like the um, the second day. We didn't film the second day because we spent the whole day editing. And then when we were finally done, we had an, another table service credit. So, so we went to homecoming. Is there a bar at the top of STK? A what? A bar? I know they have up, upstairs seating. Well, there's something up there. <coughs> I don't I'm going to go over this way real okay. quick. Not... Okay, I guess I'm not going to go over there. I was going to go check out Enzo's Hideaway, but connection started dropping like crazy. Are we good now? Yeah. Yeah, the ribs at Morimoto are really good. You can go through, get those at um, Morimoto Street Food, too. But that's another thing. that It's like $20 for three ribs or something like that. I want to try this place. Yeah. It looks pretty good. They have, like, um, build your own bowl, and they have bao buns. Different things that look used pretty to have good. a pizza bao bun, which looked kind of good. Ah. But it's gone now. Nice. Oh, welcome, Tony. Oh, Tony. Welcome, Tony. 
no 4K today, just 1080. So I find that like, I would rather have connection be a little bit lower and just more- You mean quality? Or quality be a little bit lower and more just have a more enjoyable time than having to just tap things all the time. So personally for me, I like to not really worry about that much, so we don't do 4K very much. It's just not worth it with the connection the way it is. We'll do a 4K stream every so often. Yeah. But, um, I don't know. The balloon is up. Oh, that's fun. So I saw, I think if you go before, it was either before 9 a.m. or I think before 10 a.m. It's half price, the hot air balloon. Is it still like that? Yeah. It, I looked on the website the other day to see. Oh, welcome, Laura. Laura, welcome, Laura. Oh, that's interesting. Tony's TV is setting it at 2180. Hmm. Well, does it look good? Sometimes it'll do the wrong setting automatically and um, you have to go in and adjust it, but if it looks good, then I'll just leave it alone. <laughs> yeah, I remember the cigar place was um, right over here. Bose. Yeah, Bose. I remember when Bose first opened, you'd walk in there and you'd it still, still smell. It still smelled like cigars, I don't yeah. know if it still does anymore because they have so many scents. I don't think spraying it. Spraying in there right now, but. Maybe it could have just been us because I talked to people who worked there that said that they didn't know this, the cigar smell. Well, I feel like you, it's, it's not, it wasn't very strong. It was more like. It, it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't like it walking was like into the cigar. It was very subtle, like if you, you could only smell it if you. If you knew what to smell, to yeah. smell you knew for. what it was supposed to be like. Gosh, Cookie Bar is busy today. Let's go further down, and maybe we can come back. Okay. Mm. go see a movie. We could. I want to go to the whole AO. Thirty thousand for our average. What do you mean? We should change it to um, lower. Okay. You know what I mean. Change it to the lowest. The lowest? Yeah, it still looks decent. It's busy tonight. It's kind of All right. going up and down. I'd rather it be less laggy and a little more consistent. Does it look any different? We changed the quality, like that average connection. Does it look any better? Or look any different or worse. We can't turn it down a little bit. Oh, that's interesting. What? So, Tony said that it'll look good at 2160, and Kevin adjusted his to 2160 too. Huh. I don't know. Oh, 
I want to try some stuff at this place sometime. But I feel like every time I come over here, we've already eaten. Oh, slightly grainy. What? Slightly grainy? Yeah. Okay. It's fine. I know, I was just looking at them. Um, they also have walk up over here at City Warp, so you can get buffalo nachos, barbecue pork nachos, Tex Mex fries, some decent stuff. I say we should go to the contemporary. Right now? Yeah. All right. We'll stop by Summer House. We have to get back that way anyway to go home. Mm -hmm. Are you okay with that? Are yeah. you tired? No, it's fine. Okay. Oh, thanks so much for coming in, Courtney. We'll see you next time. Have a good day. Thank you. Oh, Brownsburg Kevin wants to walk through the House of Blues gift shop. You want to? We can do that real quick. Okay. Is this a um, Disney Springs? No, it's just House of Blues. So I've been looking for um, sunglasses for my useless junk. Yeah. But. Yeah, he was trying to buy some sunglasses. Nothing yet as of now. We're going to keep looking, I think. I'd rather take some time to think through mm -hmm. and get some actual good useless junk as he calls so oh look at this look it's a shirt with a bottle opener built into it <laughs> okay i've never seen such a thing charles welcome charles hopefully you're doing good today welcome to the stream hopefully you're doing good you want a mystery trinket bag oh that's cool how much is it i don't know it doesn't say. 15% off. off. That's cool. Coke store used to do that, and that was always fun. We'd always buy mm -hmm. goofy things. That's a cool hat. I wish they had, like, um, Disney Springs branded House of Blues yeah. Disney Springs. It's all either San Diego or Cleveland. What's this? Purvis Young Art. Fourteen hundred dollars. Gosh, Andrew Swan Prince. You want to Andrew Swan print? I don't know who that is, but maybe. Should I know who that is? Do you know who it is? Yeah. Who? That's Andrew Swan. What do you I mean? I don't know who that is. There you go. The House of Blues itself. News. Welcome, Charles and Melinda. <laughs> oh, this is all their um, concerts. There's so many different concerts, and so many people come, and it's mm -hmm. I don't know. It's always so busy around here sometimes, but yeah. Oh, they have happy hour. Chips and guac for $4. Wow. Oh, you can get chips and guac, garlic fries, or a cornbread skillet for $4. Nachos, chicken tenders, or bacon mac and cheese for 6 Weekend brunch. What? Weekend brunch. Bottomless they used to have mimosas. a blues brunch. Or was the gospel brunch? The gospel brunch. Yeah. That's what it was. Bottomless mimosas. They got rid of those at... Um, yeah, they got rid of yeah. them at um, Steakhouse 71. We were eating at Steakhouse 71 a couple weeks ago. 
and the guy told us that they were getting rid of them. He said that Disney didn't know that they had bottomless mimosas there, and they put an end to it. But there's plenty of other places. I guess not Disney-owned places. Yeah. I can't think of anywhere Disney-owned that's left that has them. But they've also been doing them for years there. Like, it was like that when the wave was around. That's true. Chris, welcome, Chris. Yeah, it's been great. Hopefully you've enjoyed all the fun here tonight. Because I remember going to um, the wave brunch, or wave breakfast at the California Grill when the wave was closed to be transitioned oh, yeah, to Steakhouse 71. Yeah. Um, when the wave was closed and Steakhouse 71 hadn't opened yet, they had breakfast. It was the wave breakfast, but it was at California Grill upstairs. That was, yeah, that was fun. I and like so that. we went to that it a few times because it was a pretty decent deal. And I remember one time we went, I got the bottomless mimosas. Remember we went that one time though with um, Beth and Brian, and they said it was it's technically bottomless, but you can only get two or something like that. Oh look! Oh no, wait, that's the wrong entrance. Yeah, I think they said. Um, well, it always said on the menu refillable. It wasn't. Yeah. It used to be bottomless, and then they changed it to refillable and said you could get three maximum. Oh, I would do that, Kevin. What? A Guku bowling competition? Yeah. Do we want to? I'm okay. I'm all right. But there it is for those wondering. That's yeah. the cookie bar. Okay, let's head to Contemporary. Is that okay? Yeah. I've been trying to figure out where we can get custom, like, um... Hold on. Let me navigate through this crowd so I don't bump some... All right. Custom, like, um, race medals, because I want to do oh, a Goo yeah. to You virtual 5K. But I can't find anyone that will let me buy less than, like, 200. Nice. I found one person that would sell me 25, but they wanted, I think, 2250 for each medal or something like that. <coughs> and they were, I was trying to find, remember we did that um, virtual 5K that one time, and they gave us, like, they were like rubber. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. trying to find that because I feel like that would be cheaper. Yeah. It'd be yeah. easier to ship. So I need to keep looking for that. Oh, Chomps wants five cookies. Oh, gosh. Well, we'll get them at some point before you get here. Will we be streaming at Disneyland? Probably. We'll stream at least once, I'll say. Maybe we should stream the D23 day at Disneyland. Oh, that would be fun, yeah. Either then or one day. Yeah. We'll be making a lot of videos as well. Maybe we should go live at the expo. Well, we could, yeah. I wouldn't be opposed to going live like on the expo floor. Showing everything? Yeah. Showing the exhibits. On showing the show the, floor. Yeah, the shopping. Yeah. <coughs> I don't know if I'd want to stream the first day though because I need the to- The first day is going to be kind of chaotic. Who has to get his useless junk? We have to get checked in and acclimated. Welcome, Chick. Happy Easter. Oh, welcome. How are you doing today? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to Disney Springs. It has truly been a historic day. It's been fun. We've gone all over the place. We got to have our Easter extravaganza, which has been awesome. So thanks for coming along. It's been good. Oh, see, Sky likes the idea of streaming our reaction after the panels. Oh. We did that when we went to Destination D23. 
We should go to like um, Blue Bayou or something. Maybe. And just sit in there and like talk about. Well, everything. the problem is it's going to be like nine or ten p.m. Oh, that's true. By the time okay. we like get anywhere. Yeah. Because the panels, well, the big ones are going to be at night at seven p.m. Where they're going to make all you the. See the photo big ops over here. Should we go to it? We could just show it. So this is to cool. kind of advertise for. D for Disney Plus and Hulu. If you have that combining. bundle, if you have that bundle, you get like. No, I thought they like combined into one thing now. So now they're like. You still have to buy them. Separately. I thought they were on the same um, platform now, like on the same. If they're on the same platform, if you purchase them. Oh. I think I think you have to buy like the bundle, from what I understand. Oh, what's happening here? Scan the QR code. Scan this. Okay. You can do a su uh, survey and you could win. Hi, is this just like photo ops or how does this work? Yeah, absolutely. So we're here to celebrate Hulu being on Disney Plus now. Okay, great. Um, so, yeah, you can actually take the photo up. We have future on that. Okay, okay. Golden Rose is on your other side. We also have a survey you can take. Okay, great. Enter the win $100 Disney Plus gift card. Yep. If you do either of those, you get a new Haiti Diddy pin. Oh, awesome. Great. So just scan the QR code? Yep. definitely buy some merchandise at D23. The last D23 event we were at, they had this cool like um, baseball jersey that said Disney on the back and then the number on the, or Disney on the front and then the back, the number was 23. And I really wish I would have bought it. Now on eBay, it's $300 because it was like they only had it at that event. So I'm gonna buy some stuff this time for sure. I think Goo is doing his survey. All right, I did the survey. Awesome, thank you so much. What is it? Pins. Oh, should I do it real yeah, quick? Yeah, if you do the survey or I think do the photo op, you get a pin. Well, do you want to hold this yeah, for a second? Pins. Go look. So, here's the pin. Oh. Yeah, there you go. It's that easy. Very nice. Come over here. There's another QR code. Yeah, so if you if you do this, or I think if you do something else, I wasn't really paying too much attention. I just decided to do this because I, I would love to win a gift card because who else who who wouldn't want to win a hundred dollar Disney Plus gift card? So that's pretty cool. Some fun photo ops over here from a bunch of Hulu things. There's Matt filling out a survey. And yeah, there's two pins, which is great. Pretty fun. There's a look at them. This does not count as my useless junk. That's not right. Yeah, you just show it. So now we're entered to win a hundred dollar gift card. This doesn't too. count as my useless junk. That's what Disney Daddy O tried to say. Nah, yeah, it does. No. I agree, Disney Daddy. A wise words from no, a wise no, man. No, no. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I'll take it. Yeah. And now we're entered to win a um, hundred dollar Disney gift card. I don't know, like Hulu. I don't know. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm just strange. But nothing in Hulu really appeals to me that much. Every once in a while, I'll watch something on Hulu. Oh, is that the? Yeah, there's the contemporary bus. Okay. But there's there we a. Go. Let's see how full it is, because there's a decent yeah. line. 
and there's no line for Grand Floridian and Polynesian. I saw that, Armando. So if you're in the Disney, um, what is it? The Disney Movie Rewards? What do they call? They call something different these days. Disney yeah. Movie Insiders, whatever. Something like that. You can get these pins, I think, for is it 800 points? Oh wow! So that's cool. They're just giving them free if you do the survey. I'm gonna go this way. <coughs> Thank you. Exactly, Sue Dog. Very wise. Hello. Oh, there's man. Thank you. Pins in that light. Yeah, pretty nice. We are on our way over to Contemporary. Stay tuned, everyone. We will be there very soon. Uh, maybe it'll take us to Wilmer's Lodge first. I'm not sure. We'll see. Yeah, the movie rewards, it's crazy, like, I don't buy any movies very much anymore, but like, the amount of free codes they give you, you're able to get, like, a lot. Like, I, I've been able to get, like, nothing major, like, one day I, I said, okay, let me, I, I just wanted to enjoy the novelty, I got one of, like, the mystery movies, where they give you, like, a mystery movie, they sent me some Muppets movie, I think, which is pretty fun. But, um, yeah, I mean, if you have Disney Plus, I think you get, like, 100 points or so every month. And then you can use those points to get different free stuff. <coughs> and then if you buy, like, DVDs or Blu-rays, you also get codes that you can enter to get more points. It's free. We're on our way to Disney's Wilderness Lodge Resort with continued service to Disney's Contemporary Resort at Bay Lake Chopper. For your safety and the safety of others, please remain seated for a moment of just approaching the video as we stand in. We encourage you to use the handrail to move your hand to the side and remain clear of the doors and stairways. We ask that you refrain from eating, drinking, and smoking while on board the carriage. And now we invite you to relax and let us see the driver. You'll be home soon. Yeah, they have a couple pins on there, they have a couple other stuff. Oh yeah, contemporary is great. I love contemporary.
it's fun because um, Contemporary is it's kind of a busy hotel. I prefer the garden one because it's kind of more calmer, but you still have the same amenities. But um, yeah, Contemporary is nice. I like that you can walk to Magic Kingdom from there. I think that's probably one of the biggest benefits for me. Yeah, Contemporary is one of the places where, like, it's easy to get to. If we get there, it's easy to get pretty much anywhere we need to go. So, if you're trying to get to anything in the Magic Kingdom area, it's a pretty good area to get to. If anyone is joining us, we have been going since four. It's been a pretty good day. We are going to be going uh, the contemporary. We're going to just enjoy, relax a couple minutes. But we appreciate you guys coming along. Enjoy the stream. It's been a good day. It's been a pretty good adventure. Yeah. Well, that's awesome, Kevin. Well, glad we were able to show some good enjoyment to everyone.
Go oh, Disney fan, welcome Disney fan. Well, that's, that's awesome, hopefully everything went good. We started at Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom was kind of brief, we just started there for a couple minutes. The first egg told us to take a boat, so we took a boat to Wilderness Launch. Next egg we said told us to go to Dock Club, so we took a bus to Epcot. Walked through Epcot. Went to Yacht Club, walked to Yacht Club. After that we were told to go to Hollywood Studios, so we cut through Beach Club. We went to Boardwalk, we went to Hollywood Studios. We walked around for a while. Uh, that was fun. Didn't really ride anything, but we got to look at some good merchandise. Um, we got the useless junk, we got some blue milk. And afterwards, we got a spin, or a wheel, or an egg to say to go to Emirates. We went to Disney Springs. We did some shopping, we ate at Eat. We got our panna cotta from Amaretz. We walked around Springs for a little bit and now we are heading to Contemporary. Um, well, I guess we'll just keep it going as long as we can. We probably are gonna wrap it up sooner than later since we're probably gonna be up in like eight hours or so, so. It is 10.17. Sounds good, Kenny. Have a good night. Thanks for coming in. How late the gift shop is open. Excuse <coughs> me. Thirty. We probably won't make if we go to Wilderness Lodge. I think the store is open till eleven over at Contemporary. So if we go over to Contemporary, I'll be able to go in a store kit. Yep, Bayview Gifts, Fantasia, Fantasia Market all open till eleven. Awesome. Um, Rope Drop will be Magic Kingdom. It is up. You can like it. It's scheduled for 8. Time may change, though. But we'll see how we're doing. Might be a little bit earlier. Might be a little bit later. Not sure yet. So stay tuned, we will be back, we're gonna have some lag. We will be back, it is 
definitely planned. Stay tuned, everyone. Let me make sure it's all good on my end. Stay tuned, we will be back. Are we okay? Okay, I think we're back. Thanks everyone for your patience. A little bit of lag on the road. I think we are good now. Let me know, make sure. Awesome. Thanks everyone for your patience. We will be at a resort very soon. <coughs> I didn't catch the sign. I thought it maybe it was Wilderness Lodge, but I guess we'll see. Yeah, this is Wilderness Lodge. Okay. So it's gonna first go to Willard's Lodge, and then we'll, we'll wait, we'll probably go to Contemporary. Unless Matt chooses otherwise. Stay tuned. I'm going to try and do a buffer. Probably get a little grainy for a second. Stay tuned, everyone. We will be good. Thanks so much, Jeff. Hopefully you have a good night. Thanks for coming along. It's been a good day.
stay tuned. If we have some lag, we'll be getting there very soon. Welcome, Cup Meal. We're so glad we could have brought you along here today. So glad we could bring a little bit of good enjoyment to your day. Thank you so much.
Is that a Disney Springs? Or? Me? Oh, uh, Contemporary. Contemporary? Yep. Is that the next stop? It is, yep. This is Disney's Contemporary Resort at Bay Lake Tower. Please collect your belongings, watch your head and staff as you disembark, and take small children by the hand. Thanks for riding with us, and welcome home.
Oh, reminder, if you guys are coming in, please do not forget. Make sure you do hit that like button, subscribe. It's been a good day. We're good, right? Mm -hmm. What? We're not good. Stiv texted. Yeah, it looks like we're good to me. Oh, did we lose it again when we came in the lobby, maybe? Maybe. No, we're good now. Okay, well, all we said was I think it lagged again. The app is glitching on us for whatever reason. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're probably, I think we're going to wrap up just because we have to be up early. I'll, I could keep this going all night, but I don't think I should just because I don't want to overdo it. Um, here, you want to sit there? Not really. Okay, you don't have to sit then. Uh, that being said, if you guys are joining us, you guys are thinking to yourselves, this looked like a fun night. I wish I was here to do this. I have some good news for you. If you guys want to book your trip to come here to Walt Disney World, make sure you check out our friends Rob and Trish over at Integrated Travel Solutions. They are your gateway to adventure. Now let me show you. I know you, sometimes you don't believe what I say, but I need, I need to illustrate. They are your gateway to adventure. So if you want to book a cruise, do you want to book anything else? Yeah. What? You want to talk about anything you can do? What? You want to talk about things you can oh, do? I couldn't hear you. Well, you can book everything. I mean, they'll do Disney, not Disney, all over the world, anything. Yeah. The possibilities are limitless. So if you want to book your trip, friends, well, I'll put the link in the chat. Their services are free, so all you have to do is contact them. And it's that easy. So there you go, Rob and Trish, your travel agent experts. That being said... In order for us to stream tomorrow, I think it's it's proper that we wrap up. You need to, like, just sit down. There you go. Up. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I think we'll probably wrap it up from here. Hopefully, you guys have a good night. We'll be live again tomorrow. I don't know when. Early. Yeah. Um, maybe earlier than we said. Maybe later than we said. We don't really know. Could be. Mystery. But we will have a member mini golf stream afterwards, too. So make sure you stay tuned for that. That being said, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe on this stream, and um, yeah, I guess we'll just see you guys tomorrow. But yeah, yep. thank you guys so much for coming along. There we go. And as usual, I'm Goo. I'm Matt. And you're you. And we both wish a Goo to each and one of you. Hopefully, we'll have a great night. We're going to send you guys over to Good Enjoyment TV to keep the enjoyment going. Keep the enjoyment going. So, we'll see you guys later. Thanks, everyone. Have a great night. Have a good night, everyone. See you guys tomorrow.